Gentlemen, to the World Championships for KOF 15. We are back with more action. I am at Abe. I'm here with Colt MX. Yeah. Bro, happy to be here with you, man. Yeah, so happy to be here. Yeah. We, this is La Fiesta del Mundo, the party of the world. We are having a fantastic time right here, live from Los Angeles, California. And we are having such fantastic battles. Every single combat will be streamed. And right now, we have another Battle of Legends. Yeah, man, it's just like you said, a celebration of these players and of the community. The bracket is ridiculous. Already so many matches, nonstop action mm -hmm. so far. Only KOF quality. And it keeps elevating every single time. We're going to see the best of the best today. Yeah, yeah, and of course, we have to recount what's the story so far, how everything has been going. This is the legend that we have been writing today. Of course, CJC has been moving. Uh, in the loser's side uh, of the bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the great upset of the day. And of course, we also have Violent Kane awaiting for a opponent. El Rosa and Chen Chen also delivered some blows and El Rosa came out winning. And of course, uh, Dai is also waiting for a combatant right next. We have no other than uh, Kitsune facing score from Amaterasu. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We still have a... A more story to be told. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we got Toshi sitting in there, Juan KOF, Mok, Taysom X, and man, like they've had the craziest matches today. And, and it's like, what a great example, right? Of yeah. these matchups that we rarely get to see in other tournaments, right? We finally get to bring them together and really to see them test each other out, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, and of course the winner side of the bracket, look at this. Score and Kitsune, as we were saying, are coming next. And then we will see Coferon Eston, Pineapple, Acid against Inferno Kong, Chao Hai against the Geo. That one is going to be fire for sure, as any other. Tamago will fight Soa. And of course, E.T. against M. Dash, Lagia against Cupa de Tijuana. And Paco will be facing Mad KOF to end that winner side of the bracket. This just feels like such a blessing of having all these players playing each other. This oh, is yeah, man. like the names you all named. That was like name after name, name of some of the greatest players we've champion ever had. Against, champion against champion, mm -hmm. legend against legend. These all of these are uh, qualified to win any tournament in the world. And there you go from Japan own uh, Materasu. It's a uh, score facing, of course, from France. Kitsune 971. Yeah, and both of these players, very great accolades over a long period of time at this point, right? Kitsune, I can remember as far back as the 13 era, having ridiculous matches and playing at a really high level and score the same as well, just across so many games in the genre. And it's just, again, very special to see this opportunity to see these two play each other. He has been grinding all weekend long too. Like, yeah. uh, Kitsune, he came here to play and he's, he was gonna be programming the code in that <laughs> hitbox. It's, uh, in my opinion, playing KOF on a hitbox is very hard, mm -hmm. to be honest. So I've it's, heard that. Yeah. it's going to be very interesting how he, he can perform. Of course, Score, who is one of the two qualified from the last chance qualifier yesterday. So he has been gearing up for all of the Friday. Now he is here on the Saturday trying to reach that prophetic Sunday. Yeah, a lot of drama coming from uh, score side, right? Like what so many close games he's had throughout the bracket yesterday in the LCQ. But now is here to put on a show and going to get that opportunity to get past winners top 24. That's completely right. But let's start because Kitsune, of course, is bringing that super unique team of Maxima, Yamazaki, and Miki is a, a score, of course, opening with his Orochi Yashiro, who has been doing so much damage. All of the, this Angel of Death, all dressed in white, has been delivering so much damage during all the tournament. Oh, and here no. we go. Mm. Side Just, aside, he got the bar, and you know he's going to spend it? Yes, of course. Yeah, some of the downsides here is Maxima's got to take a lot of risks here to really beat out the phenomenal neutral that Oyashiro has. On top of that, you get some of the best Oki in the game when you get this knockdown into Super, and it's really taking advantage of all the things that make Oyashiro great. That's the reason why uh, Oyashiro, the Orochi one, is, is so good as an opener, right? Mm -hmm. you, you only need one bar, you will have uh, you will have it super soon, and you will be able to have those Okiseme situations right after you spend it. And the damage is also great. Let's see what Kitsune can do with the always hardly Yakuza. 
uh, Yamazaki. But so far, we are going back into square, square one. You know that scene. You have. You can't even think what is he gonna do. He goes for a church. Great rollout of that right Kitsune. Yeah, man. It's just like rinse and repeat in this situation. You get these knockdowns. You get these touches, and you get to repeat the same pattern again and get a good read on the opponent. Where it's like the opponent is just waiting to get an opportunity here, and that's what it's looking like right now for Kitsune. Completely right, and the tech lands in the perfect way, trying to find some uh, standing with the range. He's gonna leg it, uh, he's gonna land it. Uh, sadly, Kitsune lose his second character right here. The score showing very, very strong performance right here, starting. I want to see this geese, the epitome of manliness. Look at that man trying to do something against this this uh, high school boy possessed <laughs> by Dibble by Dib himself. But I don't know, look at this. Score is even bringing that overhead and landing it with no problem, going for the common grab, and you know what's going to happen next. We are going into the corner, and you oh, have wow. to guess, and you guess wrong. Yeah, you said man, ch this dude is a man child. I mean, look at him being able to take advantage of a grown man like this. I mean, again, rinse and repeat. I mean, Geese is a formidable Ooh. opponent, but it's not going to get that chance. It's going to continue into the super and finish him off. And Score is off to the races. Already a fantastic winner's top 24 for Score, putting one on the board. The future is now, old man, he said. <laughs> and he got mixed score, of course. He's one of those uh, Japanese legends. He's such a... A heavy figure in the KOF community, mm -hmm. right? Watching here for me is a privilege getting Absolutely. the chance to commentate one of his matches. Mm -hmm. He's doing such fine work, but of course, Kitsune is here to represent many uh, European KOF fans. Yeah, one of the best too, man. Like I said, it's great to see quite the legacy of players come from such a long period of time in different eras, come here and do a great job and really get well represented from if it comes from as far back as 98, right, uh -huh, all the way uh -huh. till 13, 14, 15, you know, when things started to really blow up in the competitive and, and scene. Even, even the 15 guys got some uh, representation here with Ures and many others. It, exactly. So it's just a fantastic, fantastic uh, mashup of all of the culture, all of the power that uh, SNK has built around KOF during the year. So shout outs to them for making this happen. Wow. So, wow. So I think here, well, a few adjustments that may help out here is like we're still going to fight for the neutral position here, right? Oh, Yashiro is so dynamic against a lot of characters that we're just going to have to see how Fox can manage that middle space and not get put into a defensive position because Oh, Yashiro, like you said, the Okazemi, and he gets there. the run up throw right out the gate. And here we go. Time to party for it. score. And uh, there is a change of character right here with Ryo Sakasaki. But it's not going to matter. Great anti air over there by Score, who is trying to maintain the harassment over. But he finally gets out of there. He fights his way out in a, in a very way. There is no much of a blood tax to mm. pay to get out of that corner. And now he has it and let go. Here is Kitsune trying to do something. The CD is going to land. The pressure is on. Nice. And he's going to bring damage. No, he didn't believe he went for the cancel. Maybe he could have uh, opened up a little bit more damage there, A. Yeah, and especially the switch from Maximum to Rio, you're going to get a lot more opportunities here to score some damage, but still going to have to battle it out in that neutral. And so far, Scores is doing a little bit less of an advantage here than he did last time. So Kitsune putting in work, and this is going to do some decent damage, could finish it off if he wants to. Yes, he does. Gets rid of the character that caused the main issue in the last mm. matchup. This is what we, he needed. An, an OCB before, now you beat the character. This is the kind of reaction that we were expecting by Kitsune971. Let's go all the way from from Monami. Let's bring <laughs> the pain. Let's bring all that force that is how nice the Gallic power that needs to shine up right now. And with um, with what he has uh, mm. around Rio of health right now, he can deliver some pain. He can get some resources and, of course, make score spend his bar. Of course, score is going to be super careful about that yeah man and you know maybe take some risk here since you're far ahead and and real is that type of character that can really benefit off of a big risk here so the opportunity here is on kitsune to really jump further ahead completely right let's see the sister sister are out takes the boot that boot is so big let's see no patience over here and finally getting but that's a good chip damage the, the, the uh, recovery is not gonna be that much Kitsune will have almost three bars, guaranteed three of them. So he has a good opportunity here to do some damage with Yamasaki. Let's see if this criminal can yeah. do something to the beautiful guardian of the mirror. And I really like uh, this matchup here because you have to be pretty dynamic in how you approach Yamazaki because he has very unique angles that he gets to fight, that he gets to control that forces the opponent to make oh, mistakes. No. But that's a huge whiff on the part of Kitsune. And now score is going to continue 
the ice cold ride he's had before. He's gonna seal the toxicity and from coast to coast, we are not on the west side of the world. And right now the oppression session is on. Score is not allowing Kitsune to play, to do anything, one mistake. This is what these players need, Abe. One mistake and you are out. You cannot give these kind of opportunities to a player like Score. Yeah, man, you're starting to sense a little bit of instability in this ride coming in from Kitsune while Score is firmly fastened in his seat and ready for safety, you know, really controlling a lot of the match. And that's been the way that the match is going so far. And hopefully something needs to change here as Geese has, is a formidable opponent in the neutral as well. Yeah, man. Let's see. There is the throw over there trying to catch the roll, but he's not going to land it. Oh, nice the activation. Big, big button, and we are going to see it. Yes, the raging storm. Sadly, not enough damage, but we're going to go around the world. He's still alive and still fighting, but Kitsune is back into this match. Sadly, he needs to finish Whoa. this, and of course, Kor is going to fight his way out of there. Ooh, going for the advance strike, not going to land it. Finally, yeah, get out of the air. Big button. Kitsune is still alive. Yeah, Kitsune uh, was having to go against a very difficult situation there as Score was afforded to take many risks seeing as he's further ahead. And Kitsune was able to weather the storm. Yeah, man, he's able to survive such a situation and now he has to survive Kaiden who oh! has been giving so much. What a nice hop, neutral hop into all this damage. And of course you are losing that quick mode. Perfect oh. reaction over here by Spy Kitsune, who now has even, and maybe even the advantage. He is really coming back into this match. The pressure is on. Let's watch that guard bar is far away, but of course, Kitsune will be harassing that, will be breaking all that, that guard damage. Look at this. Little by little, he's Ooh. winning it out. Great, great escape over there by uh, Score. Yeah, and you can see like 2D is going to control a lot of this match, has a lot of buttons that really do work against Hyder. So already with the meter advantage here, Great opportunity for Kitsune to really blow it up here. Here's the opportunity, gets the knockdown. Getting Let's the pressure see. into Ooh. the corner. Ooh. Continues to block, backs off for a second, and now throw. that's, that's gonna, gonna hit. hit. Mm. Wow! Mm. Kitsune bringing it back, making a formidable matchup, forcing the self-dab on himself for score, and it's we got a match here, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, this is what we want. Yeah. This is, these are legends. Of course they are not gonna uh, uh, surrender. La Bible la France, he's saying. Bringing it all the way back when it seemed like there was no escape. Geese was able to land that victory. Great stuff over here. That talks a lot about the mental, right? The fortitude they yeah. have in order to adapt, in order to change, in order to face someone who has beaten you so bad. That was an OCB. Yeah. And of course, Kitsune is able to bring it back. And now Score knows that he has a great match in front of him. So at this level, every player is a great player, right? Mm -hmm. I think what you see, the difference between some of the other players from yesterday is the exquisite high level of mental game that they're playing, that they're able to recharge and come back and readjust and adapt, which is like adapt. all these guys have this Evolve. ability. It's just who can peek out at that because everybody plays well. Everybody knows their characters. Most people know these matchups at this point. You're not going to get away with murder. But now it's the mental game. Who's going to play it better? And right now is the best situation, the best example you're going to get so far of who can come out on top one, here. One of the hardest parts of being a tournament player is to be able to play at your best in a scenario, right? Yes. Because you can be the best in your home. You can be the best exactly. at your living room. But having the opportunity, having the, the talent to bring that level of gameplay, even in these kind of situations when the stakes are so high, when you are fighting to be the world champion, Exactly. It's what makes great. It's what separates best from great. Exactly. And two greats going at it right now. Nice whiff punish here from Ketsune. Again, not really giving anything away here to score so far. Playing pretty solid neutral. Nice trade back into the middle. <laughs> keeping it pretty even. Score not taking any chances. Again, very patient so far. Score finally scores the jump in. Oh, let's see, let's see. Kitsune fight, fighting his way out. Okay, Scorch goes in. He has the corner. And he, no, don't touch me. You are not going to get that kind of stuff. Oh, going for very nice. a bait over there, but Kitsune was more than ready. He's listening to his instinct right now. Oh, he here went we go. for it. And here we go. We get the nice Oki here. No punish on the roll. That would have been huge for Score. Usually punishes those attempts. Score is giving gifts, that's for sure. Kitsune delivered a chance at Kit and Score didn't want to take it. Now he has, a, he has the corner, but strangely enough, Kitsune is letting him get all this real state. He's allowing him to get out of the corner without a fight, and that's big for Score. Yeah, 
and we're trying to see right now somebody wants to they're waiting for somebody to make a big mistake because nobody wants to over gamble a situation here and it's so surprising that score has been very oh. patient so far but it's starting to work out almost opportunity to close it out he's gonna steal it confirms and steals the round so far let's see five seconds on the clock there is not gonna be health recuperation wow. oh he jumped out of it and score was ready i'm gonna say he was mashing that button man hey man that's as clear as a final run as you get right you, yeah. you threw all the resources just to clear that out to get that one little advantage and look at this if if kitsune is able to deliver this score is gonna have a good opportunity with chizuru but let's see yamasaki is out to play yes the snake strike the mano cochina coming out from the from the pocket delivering that last hit. This is neck and neck. Of course, score with almost one full bar ahead in terms of resources, in terms of economy. Let's see how the beautiful guardian of the mirror can use all this money. Yeah, right now, Kitsune is going to get a great opportunity to show off what this Yamazaki can do, right? Oh. The different angles, the pressure. It's like something score is going to have to settle down and put on ice. But we may get a different opportunity because we've seen a little bit of apprehension here from score. Yeah, he's uh, he's not willing to take the, uh, the the main character position right here until that hit and the oh, boot. Oh, there's the he's conversion. He's going to complete this. Uh, that was the mistake he was looking for. He worked it. He made the bait. And now Yamazaki seal of that toxicity is sealed in the right side of the stage. Don't touch me anymore, woman. Don't punish. Over there, patience by Kitsune. He knows an overextension here means death. So he is just trying to maintain that this perfect range. Again, the boot so perfectly placed there by score. Yeah, score right now very successfully pretty much put this Yamazaki in the refrigerator to cool off and, you know, just waited that Ooh. patience. But Kitsune is like, hold on, I'll burst right out of here. Put me into the oven. I'm in the heat yeah. and I'm about to explode. Spend everything. Let's go. Look at the evil. Look at all of it coming out. It's going to be a lot of damage. And one more read. He has a chance to make one extra punch right here and he could take the round. Let's see. He goes for wow. He goes for the sweep. Run and sweep. And who makes that? So close. This match is neck and neck on the final match. Uh, opening match was crazy, and now we're down to our final characters here, or at least final for Kitsune here. Very low on life. So Chizuru could take a lot of uh, a lot of risks here that usually they maybe score wouldn't do. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's only going to hit in the anti -air. We're going to blow back some bar in order to place her into the corner. Some bottles are being, are being pressed out of range. Now the pressure comes from Kitsune. Let's get a little bit out, a little bit of line given. Another guard cancel. I, don't, I, know, I am not sure if that's the right decision, Abe. Well, so far, pulling off a decent amount of time to be able to burn that much time off the clock and also still do a little bit of damage here. But this is still in the advantage of Kitsune being able to do that. I think that worked out really great for him. Yeah, yeah. And the score was oh. able to make... Four meters, though. Yeah, four meters. Oh, man. And on, of course, a the score made uh, a perfect gameplay in order to make Kitsune spend all of his resources. Now he's going to take a little bit of extra, extra bar from... Uh, from Geese. While he does have really good buttons to deal with this matchup, it's just not going to make the biggest difference without that meter. So he's going to have to work deep into this match to be able to really convert enough damage that's going to take the win, basically. Oh, oh and that's big mistakes. I, it, I think this could be it. Let's see. We're going for the explosion. Yeah, and of course, he's going to expend everything. We're going to be disciplined, being applied to Geese Howard himself. Burn! <laughs> Yeah, from all angles here. And score once again coming out on top after a, a really scary match there yeah, against Kitsune. That was so close. So close. Both the but Japanese legend is going to keep moving forward. What a fantastic, fantastic matchup that was. Shout mm -hmm. out to Kitsune. He was really fighting up all to the last man. Sadly, today he is unable to uh, deliver everything that he wanted against score. Yeah, but well, again, going back into what we were talking about earlier is that at this level, the mental game really is like a, what, separates what separates ev yes. everybody. And here what you saw was a good example of two great players uh, adapting, right? Mm -hmm. Like at the very end, and Score has been able to do this throughout the entire tournament so far, is like to really calm down those situations where pressure is mounting to a ridiculous extent and still come out on top. And this is why in this tournament, he is one of those people to keep an eye on for potentially winning the entire thing. And the gears are keep moving uh, mm -hmm. for him, right? He was able to win the last chance qualifier yesterday. He is taking down names right here on the winner side of the bracket. So everything is working perfectly right now for score. I hope Japan is saying a gambare score <laughs> because he is making his people proud. 
Yeah, I mean, you got to consider like the LCQ situation where it was like, you, you got to go home, man. Like your, your weekend's over if you were to yeah, lose. Man. And for him to get the placement that he got to qualify, he's already been through all that pressure. He's already seen what it's like there. And for these players, you know, it's just today they're warming up to that feeling, you know, to be able to adapt to that high pressure situation. If something can be said about Scott is that he is a hard worker, but is he a hard, honest worker? Because here we have El Cofero Honesto, the most truth, the most truthful, the most honest of all of the KOF players, no other than Layek Cofero Honesto, who will be fighting no other than Hong Kong's own Pineapple. Yeah, this matchup is it's gonna it's gonna be interesting because you know I've always been a big fan of uh, Keo Fero Honesto. I mean, formerly Layek, and he's like. You know, he's one of the architects of Rio in the past and some of these yeah. more honest characters. So I want to see his type of play style is really kind of like a, a combination of like a, a a very patient, a very control heavy type style, but also very able to make some right? big reads, um, big boy reads mm -hmm. from KOF, KOF Honesto. And maybe that's that's what you got to do when you're playing an honest game, be able to make those big reads because you can't afford from like the top tier to just take total control. Right? Yeah, it's going to be so, so great. Also, shout outs to to uh, Pineapple because of uh, his swag, right? He, he, <laughs> he decided to be supreme today, and he is loving that part of it. Yeah, so, yeah. let's see, of course, we know that uh, Cofero Nesto has been rocking uh, Orochi Chris, uh, Yamasaki, and, uh, and Rio, mm -hmm. but he is uh, a, little bo uh, a, box, a little box of chocolates, right? Mm -hmm. He can come out with many different uh, character selections. And on the side of Pineapple, of course, Goins, or Goinitz, when it mm -hmm. uh, always, always uh, a very explosive character. We know, we saw what he could do before in this tournament. So I am scared for my man. Of course, I want uh, Cofero Nesto to move forward, but only one man will be able to move forward, and that's the winner, the best of these two players. It has to be decided right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have a few characters here in this lineup that maybe people don't really have that much experience against. And if you let them fold you over, man, this could be <laughs> like you getting sent into loser's bracket. There is, in, in Mexico, we have a Perro Sin Lag. Shout outs to Perro mm -hmm. Sin Lag, who is also rocking Gonitz. Oh, so, okay, okay. That's good because he, Gonitz has like a lot of things going for them. And people don't know, this could be a huge issue. Yeah, let's see Cofero Nesto rocking this uh, all gray, all uh, gray Rio. And he's going to start with the big DP, trying to prove that he is not afraid of anything. Now the pressure is on. And look at that guard, but it's going to be nice. very dangerous. He goes for the pressure, tries to break it. Hard let go. And he's going to land um, as much damage as he can. Mm -hmm. That's Rio Sakasaki. That's the hard worker. Yeah, he is like one of the best Rios I've seen since uh, the beginning of 15, man. And now that the character is more than formidable, it's nice to see him continue and really take the character even further. He can really say that meme, like, I, I played him since 1994, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the legacy skill, for sure. Ooh, come here. You are not going to make uh, any empty jumps on me. I, I, am, I am, as you say, those reads, right? He yeah. has that instinct. So let's see. From El Clan del Mal, that the CDM right there, Cofero Nesto moving forward. Now he has to fight one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion, no other than Shune. Yeah, Shune has a huge advantage, especially up close with how, how often the down Ooh. A is positive. But like here, you see the reactions here, and you see the different approaches that Cofero Nesto will offer a matchup like this. Let's see, because that DP was a, not Ooh. only a resource, but a message, a message of beware of what you are doing. Be, beware of the options, because I am more than ready. Look at this, complete control control of the neutral. Yeah. Pineapple, uh, Pineapple, of course, has Shunei, and if you see a Shunei not being offensive, you are doing something right. Yeah, you see that at what point he sits on the screen, uh, KOF Ronesa with Rio, and he's waiting for that, basically that ghost knuckle Ooh. move. Oh, wow, it doesn't come out, but he gets a connection here. But still, the, the control in the middle of the screen so far has been KOF, KOF Ronesa, and Pineapple is working hard to try to neutralize his character. The defense Ooh. from KOF Ronesa is just fantastic. Oh, now he makes the read, bro, you say, and the, bro. The hardest oh of reads. He chased after he, mm. ran, he He did a 40 yard dash to get that punish. And then again, he makes him roll out of there and he was more than ready to deliver that crouching A, that, sorry, that crouching C, mm -hmm. big punch. Yeah. Oh man. 
go for on esto so far is he's looking fantastic he's this is his first character real uh, still has uh, 70 of his life of his health and everything is working fine for the mexican player yeah no sweat so far you know looks very comfortable has been able to to use his mashup knowledge very well of the proper spacing where to be at as real but here may be the x factor for pineapple and we'll see what he'll be able to convert off of this is nice damage how many how many resources is he willing to spend mm. in order to take out real that's also the question oh the cock and they eat the cake into the face let's go forward from side to side now we are oh. conquering the east coast and cofero nesto really working all of this and again again the guard break is gonna be a problem yeah mm. and the tempo keeps on going higher and higher for kofero nesto and you start to see him play at a whole other speed gears have shifted and he is not even close to redlining so oh, far pine pineapple still oh. doing all those rolls out of there and another one trying to stay out it and cofero nesto is going to deliver an ocb Oh, what a performance there. I mean, like I told you, like we haven't even seen him go into fourth gear so far. So it's a very scary performance so far for Keo Ferro Honesto. Desde Culiac, no, sorry, Culiac, and desde Los Mochis, Sinaloa, proud son of the state of Sinaloa, Mexico. This is Cofero Nesto. He's doing fantastic job right here, right now. I am excited, bro. But of course, Pineapple can't make it come back. He just pressed the buttons. He wants He's to. Uh, he wants, he wants to run it back. Yeah, let's run it back. You know, you feel like you got something in the bag here, and you like to challenge. You want to do something a little bit better. You know, and we're starting to see the neutral play out a little bit more. But yes, uh, uh. what the punishes on these rolls are immaculate so far. And, and you are looking at uh, a clinic on how to pair Rio, the, the most fundamental oh. of Rio. He was on the other side, mm. got the full combo. Wow. Que <laughs> Pero Onesto is playing on another level right now. Yeah, he's playing very scary. Refined. He's looking like a clockmaker. He is working his craft so far. Let's see if Pineapple can bring it forward because I want to see a game three with, between these two. But I don't know if Pineapple is in the right mindset to keep it forward, nice. He's going into the offense. He's not letting Coferon Nesto play anymore, but he let it rip. Coferon Nesto spends the bar in a defensive way in order to take the turn, and he is going to win that first match. He's playing these matchups in a very optimal way, being in the perfect spacing to deal with whatever they got to offer. Almost a big punish there, and like just very ready for the punishes, for the mix-ups. Just Even a total control so far. Finally, Pineapple finds the kind of openings that he needs. Chune again trying to bring all this uh, harassment in the offense. Coferon Nesto is going to jump out of there, paying a little bit of tax blood in order to be free. But, of course, Pineapple is going to say no. He finishes with that level one. Finally, Rio is out. That's the wall he needed to climb. Pineapple is coming back. Yeah, and I was mentioning earlier in another match where Yamazaki was present. I mean, I think this is a, 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 an interesting match where it's like the angles can come in a different size from Yushune as well. So how they interact will be really interesting and how KOF Ero Onesto is able to control it. Let's see. Push a little by little now. Yamazaki is against the corner. Oh, but the snake's like perfectly executed. We are going from coast to coast. Let's go. Cofero Nesto gaining a lot of real estate. He oh. owns all of this land. Even if he gets into the corner, he is ready to change sides. We are going to feel the toxicity of Twitter in his in this young body's young boy's body. Oh, he went for the grab. Round of grab. You are poisoned. You are out. Doesn't miss a step here, Kelafero Onesto, man. The beat changes, but he still remains on beat. You know, the RPMs are going up, and I don't know if Pineapple can handle this level of speed that Kelafero Onesto is playing right now. Let's see, because right now, Pineapple has all the advantages in terms of resources. A lot of money over here with three bars, four going in. Let's see if he can deliver something. Kelafero Onesto, for, of course, that's why he's making a lot of um, a lot of empty snakes, right? Trying to the, the get some resources in those. Oh, the the oh he goes for the counter. He lands it. Oh my god, against the corner. Where are you going? You're gonna pay with blood to your escape. So far, masterful play here from KOFRO Onesto. I mean, the options is presented, the way he's thinking outside of the box is something that you're gonna have to see from Pineapple after he knocks this damage in. Let's see. He has still to almost three bars. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of salsa that he can put into this gameplay. Pineapple is gonna find the hit that's gonna be enough. Mm. Yeah, man, and with all those ingredients, you're going to have to get very creative, yes, right? Yes, We're yes, going to yes. have to see some stuff we haven't seen it presented in the matchup at all because so far, KOF Nesto has been ready for everything. But or Orochi Chris is one other very dynamic character, right? Oh. With a complete toolbox in his kit and with two bars, one good impact will be enough to take it out. But of course, Pineapple says, no, stay out of me, evil boy. 
You are all white. I don't wanna wanna be close to you. What a roll! But Coferonesti is more than ready. The pressure is on. Let's see. He has a chance here to deliver some damage. And he's gonna have to execute immediately with the most amount of time that he can to move into the next round because. Oh, he's already on the last character. This is not good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Lajek has to finish wow. his plate, and he's going to do it with a neutral jump pump to the face. Cofero Nesto is going to move forward. He looks so happy, man. Look at that. He's feeling it. He's I mean, feeling it. Masterful play, right? Yeah. Like, like, beautiful. Look like a technician, look complete control, very aware of the matchup, where to be, how to take every advantage that possible could have, and, you know, just looking like a really competitive in this entire tournament so yeah, far. Yeah, he has been looking so solid, not only here, but in many of the friendlies that they, mm -hmm. uh, the tournament players have been have been terrible. Let, we are going to tell you a secret. On the first day of the tournament, during Thursday, they set up in the lobby. They yeah. played their own setups. They were playing, and he was looking so fantastically. Of course, shout-outs to Penny, who is having um, uh, Airbnb close by mm -hmm. when uh, a lot of the players are going there to practice and to have some fun. So... He has been playing so strongly all week long, all weekend long. So that's a that's a guy who I want to see go forward. Of course, represented Mexico. I cannot be more proud of someone. Of course, yeah. And uh, like I said, the, this tournament has the who's who of people to play here. So the fact that they got this opportunity to really get these offline games and really build up that confidence that again. I could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these people. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I am as good as I thought I was. Yes. You know, my I confidence am, I, I is am, accurately at the place I am it believing be. in my own legend, right? Exactly. I am really pushing that forward. I want to believe in myself. So that's what a lot of these uh, players are doing. And that's many times that little sp uh, spite of difference, a spark of difference that makes them separate from each other right because all of them as you were saying all of these guys are specialists on the game they are so dedicated to it mm -hmm. they know everything they that is to know it's about what it's here and what it's here what is pushing them forward exactly man and going into this next match we have you know a really good show for you guys again here we got uh lasted again a like very storied very accomplished uh -huh. player and also Inferno King Kong, who is one of the most exciting players to watch, right, with a phenomenal team. I mean, we got Dinosaur, we got, you know, wrestlers in the mix, you know, yeah. luchadores, you know, it, it's it's pretty exciting to watch uh, what this next matchup is going to play out to be. We have the all the biggest plane in history of the world, of course, Antonov. Mm -hmm. that you, exactly. would, you want him to say, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah. it's so fantastic, of course, Inferno Kong, one of the youngest players in this tournament so far. Uh... Uh, facing one of the, like, another legend uh, from the Korean scene, of course, no other than the always kindest heart in this scene, Lassid. Yeah, Lassid's performance, I mean, no need to explain how great of a player he is. I think we all are aware and need no introductions. We've seen him across the to top eights at EVO, some of the best tournaments ever, and he's always there, if not winning those tournaments. So, again, we're getting to that point where these players are all pretty much gunning for number one. Like, you could possibly see them there. And Lassie also show us the kind of uh, dangerous player he is performing an almost 100% combo with Ash Crimson yeah. in his last match. So he is one of those players that won't drop the combo. Of course... Don't jinx him, man. Don't jinx him. No. We say that all the time, and then something happens right I after. I like, oh, no. I believe in last hit. <laughs> but of me course, too, me too. Inferno Kong is a very dangerous player. Like, mm -hmm. he has Antonov as an anchor. If he has three bars, you know your character is gone. Just needs to touch. touch you. Just needs yeah. to touch. So it's going to be a fantastic, a fantastic chance. Look at last hit. He's all heart, all heart, Lassith. You wouldn't know that this is the killer, right? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like such a nice guy. And, and he, and he almost, you, you almost can feel that he's feeling bad if he's kicking your ass. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but he's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Maiden could, man, this could be one of the best, if not the best Ooh. Maiden con in the world. Look at that. That sleepy boy feels like harassing the, the prohibido Omega Rugal right here is getting against the pressure all all uh, taken into the corner out of court those launch punch are going to be super safe Lassit finding one and he is going to start the party right here with the pressure little by little way great reaction over there by inferno Kong taking it out but of course the pillar of light is going to come out and uh, give inferno Kong a little bit of space to breathe you no know, it's really interesting how this match first started i mean you see Lassit did go on the offensive but very patient left a lot of open gaps just to see 
what Inferno Kong has to offer. And then at a certain point, just turned up the speed and really took that first round. Let's see what the king of the, the dinosaur can do right here. Going with the hit. Oh, that's a big mistake from Lassie. And of course, Inferno Kong is going to confirm it. The boy from Manchester coming all the way from the UK. Oh, oh no punish on the big bait. You gotta hate to see that happen. Inferno Kong had the right idea, but not able to capitalize. Sadly, he, he made it. He really made Lassie make the mistake, but was not able to confirm. But of course, now here we go. Picking him up. The damage is gonna be it. Oh, nice. the bombs. Mix up coming up. Goes for the block. Okay. Not able to get the command grab, and Lassit is out of there with his own combo. Mm. Lassit so strong right now, making Maiden Kun look so unbeatable, like a, oh, barrier, like, wow. a like a complete bastion. Fine load. Oh my again. God! Whipping buttons in front of each other. The footsies are failing over here by Inferno Kong. He had some chances. No, no! punish. Oh. Mm. Lassit saw it coming. Like he said, nope, I'm out of here. Exactly. What a nice placement there from Lassit. Looking really strong. I love this old blue Antonov, man. So, so regal in, in, in that blue. Oh, definitely. Mm. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice. Reading the attempts. Uh, Lassit has been using that move so, uh, uh, so sneaky to mm. make those approaches, to use those frames in order, that, that approach to, to activate those frames uh, with the shattering strike, but this time is not going to work. Look at the big hand. Of course, Lassie, if he is, if his Maiden Kun is scary, man, this Shermie is the stuff of nightmare. Yeah, and this character is just no joke. In, in a lot of people's hands, like, this character can make the craziest comebacks or can just straight up dominate. So, very scary here for Inferno Kong to go against. Lassie's, oh, oh, try to go for a South Strike. Lassie's Shermie. A little bit of uh, failings in Inferno Kong uh, use of the spacing. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can adjust that because so many calls will have been right from the player of the UK. And right now, Lassit has the corner. Let's see wow. if he goes for the shattered strike. He, he is indeed shattering expectations. And if you want some cuddling time, he, that's not the one you are desiring from uh, from <laughs> yeah. Jeremy. That's for sure. Yeah, man. If you consider what just happened there, you know that shattered strike landed. And it's just, he's been making a lot of decisions that he's pay paying attention to what Inferno Kong's offering, right? Like I told you, he opened up the last match really trying to see what Inferno Kong's about, being really patient, leaving a lot of gas. And now towards the end of that match is when he executes the game plan where it's like, okay, now I'm going to give him something to chew on. And, you know, unfortunately, Inferno Kong took a big bite out of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But also, let, let's talk about what Inferno Kong did, right? Because those baits, those, uh, th there were opportunities that, that he created, mm. sadly was unable to land. So if he fixes a little bit of that space, of those footsies in his gameplay, I am sure we can see a game number three from these two. Yeah, man, and a little bit of change up in how the first uh, round goes, like a few more things go in front of Kong's way, maybe he'll finally get that going, you know? Yeah, fantastic. Let's see what comes out from these two fantastic players. You can see, look at Lassit, he's a stoic as a... As he, if he's, he hasn't moved. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's fully, in the same spot. <laughs> fully, concent, uh, fully concentrated, fully committed into this. We're going to start with a repuken to the face or to the feet, whatever you want to call it. Nice. Very nice placement on SDNCD. Not allowing Maiden Kun to feel comfortable. Let's see, but again, okay, that jump back is telling us that Inferno Kong wants to, uh, Lassie to take the uh, the first approach, and now he's against the corner. Let's see he, if he can if he can come out. Okay, oh, nice, nice fireball. Mm, but Lassie is saying, no, I don't care. I will not respect your turn. Very good reflex here, being a little more combative in the neutral for uh, Inferno Kong, looking a lot better in this first round than he did the first time. Yeah, he's changing his, his approach completely. Like, he's allowed Lassie to take the initiative, but he's punishing many of the things. That grab was fantastic from Lassie. Oh, what you gotta expect? take the big risk, and this is how you make a turnaround here. Inferno Kong giving this up the opportunity, no. but the advanced strike pops off here for Lassie. That genocide cutter seems to be that change of momentum, but Lassit says, no, I am here still. There is a lot of damage in this Maiden Kun. Inferno Kong feels way better right now. I hope his King of Dinosaurs can deliver the final blow. Yeah, I really like what I saw so far. Unfortunate uh, taking over from that jump CD there. But so far, Inferno Kong has offered really good situations in the neutral. That's it, that's a nice dark cancel roll. That's going to make a big difference in this match to get all the way to the Shermie versus Dinosaur.
that's a great example of how to do good investment, right? I'm going to spend a bar, yes, mm. but I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to give a nice punish, and the character is out. Now he has to find gra fight grapple against grappler. The king of time is himself against the queen of beauty, of course, Shermie. So popular. Oh, wow. nice, but the advanced strike is not going to land everything to, everything to last <laughs> hey it. Man, let's just use all the resources. Let's just use all the mechanics to get this W so far. Lasset is not afraid to use the system to his advantage. And that's going to be enough. Not yet. Not yet. He has one chance. Let's see if he can do it. And he goes for the challenge. I like it. He is going to deliver a lot right here, picking her up, going into the ground. That's the kind of meter kill the dinosaurs, my friend. Oh, what a oh. fight in the neutral. A little too far to really fully convert. Yeah, the CD, that great button from uh, from Shermie. Just fantastic. When Inferno can see that he was coming back, that CD is going to shut him out. Shermie recovers a lot of health. She's almost at 80%. Let's see if Antonov can take us all the way to Ash. Oh, the cross-up lands conveniently there for Lassit, giving him another opportunity to mix up and continue the pressure. Inferno Kong playing the defense here. Trying to poke out and get back to the middle. Ooh, the big normal from Antonov are gonna get punished. But that shadow strike from Shermi. Let's see, Lassit on the offensive. But the DP is going to save at least Inferno come for a little bit middle more of a fight. We're gonna shake the ground with those big hands. Oh, she didn't make the approach. And Inferno oh, no, the is unable punish. to punish. No, what a mistake. And That's just it. like that, mm. Lassit takes it 2-0. We saw some adaptations, but again, we were talking about was like the composure there yes. from Lassit. Also, the way he utilized the entire system mechanics of the game, it to me would scare a lot of people in this match that don't necessarily <laughs> have to deal with that too often, right? And, and, and Inferno Kong had one chance. Lassit made one mistake, and Inferno Kong sadly was unable to capitalize out of it. Of course, Lassit was not going to give that kind of gift twice, and he is able to move forward. But this is the winner side of the bracket. Still winner side, Inferno yeah. Kong, the, the boy from Manchester, is still here. He's still fighting. So don't get too scared. Of course, Lassit is going to move in the winner side of the bracket. Yeah, it's just so awesome to see somebody have so much to offer in the, in the game and using all the mechanics to where it's like, you know, Lassit has been paying attention a lot to the matchup for player versus player, right? And coming up, I mean, we have one of the best players to Ooh. ever play the game. Ooh. And you're going to see peak level on all the stats. This is 99, 99, 99, 99. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, these, are, these are two players who don't need any kind of introduction. A complete set of titans mm -hmm. breed from one corner to the world to the other. This is from China, of course. Kwamba's own Xiao Hai against Peru's hero, De Gio, who is no stranger to be a, a god slayer. He has mm -hmm. faced some of the brand. Now he's unleashed. He now can travel. He now can come to the States and many other parts of the world. So I want to see this fight. I want to see Gio becoming that legendary god slayer. Yes, of course, if I won an EVO tournament, I'm sh taking my stick everywhere. That's the stick of a champion, really showing uh -huh. it off right there in front of your face. Some people may not even use it, but hey, man, you give me a tool, I'm going to use it, and that's how I really how he plays and how he represents. At Look least, at that, gorgeous. At this, least this who time, else has that here? You know what I mean? At least this time we can see it because last uh, in EVO last year, that's he right. was covering it with a... Dude, you were it, not... You it, were not uh, deserving of watching that steak. Dude, it, it looked like the, the, the boxes that you buy pasteles and you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... They, you were not on the level to even watch my fingers. Exactly. But now we can. <laughs> yeah, and there's no lack of skill. As a matter of fact, the skill level is so high in this matchup. And really, this is one that we, we're going to be on the edge of our seats to, to see what happens again. Because you said Geo's the God Slayer, where here's the opportunity to do it on the biggest stage that they can for KOF and have that opportunity, like we said in this story, that there's players here that despite them being great, we know they're great, we've seen them play, but finally this for the rest of the world, for the crowd, for everybody to see what they can do against a yeah. living god in the game. Yeah, you know that's I mean? right, that's right. Que la familia peruana se prenda, que el ceviche se sirva. Because right now, your boy, Dejio, is here to face China's own Kwamba Shaohai. And let me tell you something, man. If anybody beats Shanghai today, the crowd is going to lose their mind, let alone Gio, right? With somebody that we know is a phenomenal player. Like, this is a very exciting match to watch. Yes, and let's see waiting for who are going to be chosen of course 
Ah, the selection of characters is always so important right here right now. Gio going with his always signature uh, commando sambo queen herself. Uh, no other than Blue Mary, of course, Judy too, and Isla, a full waifu team. I can respect that so much. And uh, this is so exciting, man. Like, I don't know if they had faced before in an, in an official event. Yeah, I, I didn't I, make I my homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. But this is this is going to be but one on of this stage. It hasn't happened like this, yes. this. This level of stage, man. They got finally get to meet up and really show what they're made of. Let's go. Let's go. Ready to go. Signaling they're ready to go. Here we go, folks. Let's get excited for these two champions. These Make two some great noise. players. Make some noise for these champions, boys. Whoa, here we go. It feels like this is the grand final, damn it. This is a very exciting match to say. The crowd is shouting out Gio again, playing against the legend. Here we go, going into the first round. Geese versus Blue Mary. What are they going to offer? Let's see. So far, Chao Hai decides to be the main character of this story, trying to take the first turn in terms of offensive. But Gio says, no, you are oh. not. And he's going to get the first big opening. Mm, break that leg. Getting the combo to build the confidence, but Xiao Hai taking it right back with a nice punish. Gets the jump in, and here we go. We put you on ice. Let's see. You're going back into the corner with the lightning and everything. You are right there. Great anti-air over there by Xiao Hai predicting the jumps from Gio. But he makes it again, and now he's going to turn it around with a magnificent cross-up. Full combo, full damage. Going for an exotic reset. I'm going to land another hit, but unable to punish the full way. This is neck to neck. Come back here. No, no kill. Why? We're going blow for blow here, and finally Gio's able to take it out at the end. They've been both hitting each other back and forth, and we have not seen anybody really come ahead. This is the type of matchup that we're expecting between these two greats. First blood has been drawn. The Gio takes it, and he's going to hit twice, because now oh, Benny Maru is fully open. We're going to see some plasma, yes. Look at how beautiful she is again. I miss uh, uh, an unexpected miss by Gio. Benny Maru is going to throw Shao Hai. Shao Hai is going to throw oh. Gio again. And in opening, he, did, he didn't believe. Well, he didn't believe enough. <laughs> well, the good thing is Gio was able to make a lot of positive advancement in this matchup so far. So he's able to go back into a little bit of confidence, even though you missed that very key combo that Shao Hai was able to take back. Let's see Shao Hai, the legend, the one who can beat all of the world in 98 with one hand. Let's see if he can maintain that kind of status right here. The trades on the air, going for the elegantly oh. dressed Benny Maru. Oh, and he finds it. This has been a match. I have to say, these two, uh, both uh, Judy and Benny Maru, have been battling. They have always this kind of position in the teams yes. and always trying to find which is the better. Of course, Benny Maru is in a better spot right now. But Gio is going to find that common grab back into it. Chao Hai is little, little by little going into oh, the corner. Yes, the but cross up. He is going to land all of this damage. Bring the thunder. And oh my god, the magic pixel! Oh, it still exists! He's going to and make Gio's it happen! He's gonna take it back! He's gonna make it no. happen! Ooh. Not like this! There's no life left on the screen, man! And Gio, there, is this a sign from God? The Cole, game, what is this? The game wants you to win, you are going to survive. The game said no, this one's for Gio. Incredible right stop right here. Let's see, pushing it forward. The big hands from Amanda are coming forward, but Gio is gonna fight. Yes, we're gonna see the Lauken going down into it. Turn the Koken. And this is the first time in a match that we've seen a clear lead, right? We They were fighting neck and neck so far, but <gasps> Gio has a clear advantage. Xiao Hai building on some meter here, but still, this oh, is a gonna big hurt. combo! This is gonna hurt, he has that opportunity to have this Oki situation going oh, for the fireball. Oh, this gets the jump in! What is going on? Shao Hai is making some mistakes. Oh! Gio is going to land the first victory. He can bleed. He Dude, can bleed. This may be divine intervention, man, because Shao Hai was there and ready for the DP. But the game said, nah. Uh. You took magic pixels, but there were no pixels in there. No, just magic from <laughs> Gio. Oh my god. Goosebumps already so far in this match. We expected it to be an elite performance, and so far it has been exactly that here. And Xiao Hai now has to pull from behind and show that that greatness is there. Incredible stuff over here. I hope Peru is feeling it, que lo esté sintiendo. The, under blood, the, it's a under volcano tops. ready to erupt, right? It's bubbling, and the job is for Gio to maintain that and leave that explosion for the end of the match, right? Because right here is where it gets really tight. Right here is when you see great players ascend to a god level, and Shao Hai definitely has that ability. 
Yeah, for sure. That he is about to get unleashed. Let's see where are we going. What is going to be the stage? Oh, we want to see it on, on, on the daylight. We're taking it out to the streets in the daylight, baby. Mm -hmm. we, we want everybody to witness this match, you know, with at lunch hour. We've got a witness. <laughs> exactly. We are going to see if you can move forward. He's, look at that. He's feeling all that gear, all that momentum is behind him. One and more. All of Latin America is behind this man right now. We are brothers right here. You can hear them. You can hear the noise. They are proving that Latin America is local here in Los Angeles. Are we going to witness a god in the making right now in this moment? Is Gio going to be able to do that? And opening up, Xiao Hai showing I'm still in this game. Yeah, I am not. I am the god. You will have to go through me trying to do something right here. Nice CD going forward, trying to catch some mistake. Oh, wow, come what here. a punish on that. The counter, and now Xiao Hai is bringing the pain. Look at that. He's saying, no, you are not going to make it happen. F uh, the Gio is fighting back. Look at this. He has the opportunity to go forward. He's going to stay on the same oh, side, but that's no. a big mistake. And the Commando what? Sambo failed. What? Game, what's happening to you? The game can't make up its mind. Yeah, come you on. Know, he got that, that fortunate cancel, and then Gio wasn't able to capitalize, and it gets comboed himself. Maybe he was, too, maybe he was still in stagger, and the grab wasn't able to uh, get him. So weird. But let's see, he is forgetting about that. He's looking into the future, going with the, uh, the bread and butter combo for Yuri. The Gio, grown with Ceviche, trying to bring all of that taste. But look at that, Shao is fighting back, and now his geese is feeling wow. like a complete guardian able to hit the overhead to get the OTG. And now Xiao Hai staying in control here, but Gio really has the big lead and can take some pretty big risks. So I wouldn't be surprised. And that's we don't it, gotta it. see the risk. That's how you want the best situation to go down for Gio. Xiao Hai again, getting pushed back into the situation. Okay, that's Yuri with 65% uh, health, one bar, Benimaru is complete and with two bars. So that's gonna be uh, a little bit of advantage, but wow. he's gonna land the big hit, and you know how this is. Mm. What are you gonna do? Oh, the Super Shirai kick. I'm going to go for everything. He's going to deliver a good advantage, a good, uh, sorry, well placed, well, an economic uh, combo. Yes, yes, yes. In order to keep that advantage in terms of resources and opening there, but unable to confirm. And uh, Xiao Hai is going to establish his ground right here. Some really key moments there, there for Xiao Hai having that ability to take that back. You know, and again, we're going here to the anchor position, Isla. So this is on Gio to come back from a situation he has been put into so far and gets the combo. And this is exactly how you want it to go if you're Gio. And he is not afraid of spending those bars, man. Maybe he has to be humble about it because he doesn't have uh, the many resources that Xiao, has, Xiao Hai has. Mm. But he is trying to do it. Another super Jirai kick to control the air. And now the pressure is on. Oh, he wow. saw the collider incoming. And now he's delivering the full damage. Unable to kill. Let's go. Keeping himself back into the game. You know, Gio is is doing the best that he can in this situation and was able to be a little conservative and now it's time in this last match to figure out at what moment I'm gonna explode. <gasps> wow, I guess that big opportunity for Gio. And he went for the reason. I like that, I like that. That, that it's talking that he has all that self-confidence, but of course, Xiao Hai is very dangerous right now. He has four bars oh. and he wants from side to side, but unable to confirm. That's rare from Xiao Hai. He didn't believe in himself in that situation. And now he's coming back, fi fighting the air-to-air -air game. Gets the control in the corner. Gio finding it out. Finding his way back out again into the neutral. But back into defense once again. Gets That's the raw punish. It, Xiao Hai no, doesn't get the full punish. On? He screwed up the full punish. It's an opportunity for Gio to make a comeback here. And it could happen with one touch the god is bleeding indeed only two bars now for Shao Hai. That was the he missed it. these guys are so nervous right now Shao Hai is freeing the pressure coming from peru from geo from the geo not only geo they won the geo he's going for a Shao Hai. one touch opportunity here coming up for geo both neck and neck once again geo's opportunity to take this match oh another great defense series by geo not allowing anything to happen right here. Chao Hai is going to pay with the same respect. They are really offering the most he can. Oh the my CD, God. another one. No, the break. Coming down to 10 seconds really close. Ah! One more hit of life. No! Where are they going to go down to? Chao Hai able to sniff it out and sneak under the covers and take that for himself. So close. Oh <sighs> my God. The stamina, the, the beats per minute that are just happening right now. And Gio has to be thinking, I got to make this big comeback. And Shahai still looking solid. The, the, even the game tried to go against you, man. There is something Shao Hai is... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> 
checking something in his controller. He was like, hey, 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 Close. that match was a little too dramatic. Let's go back to the buttons. Let's yeah, see that, what's going on in that situation. And I, I like know. it. Like, a champion like him, with that kind of experience, he knows that there are moments that you have to collect yourself. That yes. Go back, give a breather. And he's doing that right. And, and I don't like what Gio, Gio is showing right here. Like, he is thinking that... He, that was his chance to take it. He has to concentrate. He has to uh, keep his mind in the game going forward. Don't think in the past. Like you just push one of the greatest of all time to the to, last. To the very edge. Yeah, to the very edge. So you can do it. You can take it. Yet again, we're going into into the province, into the sunlight to see what those two, these two Look, can this do. Is, this is the final match between two great players. Let's get excited for this, because, man, this, we're not going to, we may not see this matchup again. These two are two greats going at it, and it took it to the very edge, like you said, folks. So let's get excited for this last match between these two. So fantastic. This is what KOF is about. We are living on the edge of our seats right here, right now. Make some noise, share this stream, bring more people. This is the beauty of fighting games shared all over the world by this fantastic game. And look at this. Xiao Hai began the game last time trying to go forward. And now oh. it's Gio, the one who's getting the upper hand. And Blue Mari, La Marea Azul, it's, it's turning out to be fan a fantastic open up for the Peruvian player. Yeah, the interesting thing about this matchup so far is that Xiao Hai has been playing from behind a lot of these matches. Ah! Oh no, and gets a big punish here. And you know, really, Gio just has to continue to play the game plan and stay focused, right? To give himself the best opportunity. Because so far, we've seen a lot of good things from him. Yeah, indeed. Oh, but that's gonna be it. He has the resources. That's gonna break the arm. Mm, give it to me. He can smell it, man. We're on the precipice. The volcano is ready to erupt if this potential victory were to happen to Gio. And the crowd is already starting to erupt and accept the potential fate to take down a god. 60% left for Blue Mary, and she's gonna cut that jump. This is going to be great because of the positioning. She has all of the corner for herself. Break the arm, keeping with the Oki semi situation. And he's gonna go for the common grab. He's playing great, Abe. He's making great reads. Ah, wow. Nice guard cancel rolling to the back. But again, Gio still with a huge lead here and with the mental focus, he could make this happen. Fantastic now, the bread and butter from Benimaru using two bars, but not, not enough to kill. One last chance, going for all the chip damage. Gio had to get out of it. He could have burned the, the meter in order to make a guard cancel, but he decided to get those resources because he has been winning this matchup. Well, you look at the resource game here. Xiao Hai is pretty far behind, and Gio could really explode in this matchup so far. And seeing as he's had most control of these entire matches, this is a very dangerous position for Xiao Hai. He is, as we say sometimes in Mexico, he's naked. He has taken a uh, encuerado, Bichi, trying to uh, remove every every resource from him. But little by little, he is winning that. The wow. command grab is the, gra the air grab is fantastic. Get into the corner with the guard cancel going forward. No, Xiao Hai is fighting. Very nice challenges so far, mounting up all the damage from a bunch of touches. Mm. But here, Gio able to, able to activate and take it right back. Really trying to slow down this match and take the speed in his own direction. Yeah, man, Chao Kai has been losing this matchup uh, every time, but now he has picked it up. Like a one, two, three, trying to get Gio out of this. But Gio is now being patient. Now go forward. Ray Antier over there by Chao Kai. Kwamba's own. He is, of course, a mistake. He has a mistake, but there were no, no resources meter. to cancel. Yeah, no Damn. Again, again, this is how valuable, how tight it gets, how valuable the resources become in these matchups because usually you may have had an opportunity to activate off of that or maybe potentially super, but that was not afforded because Xiao Hai, I mean, how many touches did he have in that match? He but now Gio's going to be able to take it back. Yeah, and not enough oh, yet. Oh, they didn't want to burn no. the juice on that. That's going to be, oh. that's going to come back and bite him because Xiao Hai is going to spend all he can here. No, he's going to also save some money oh, no, going the for classic. the drill. No. Oh. oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Again, those colliders never hit, never hit hey, Gio. Hey, considering that's not that bad, a lot, of, not a lot of time was taken off the clock, and this is pretty close with the advantage going on the resources for Xiao Hai. Last time Xiao Hai won uh -oh. the Isla matchup. Xiao Hai finds the blowback. That CD encounter is going to give him all of the screen and goes for the, the double overhead yet again. Con copia, he's gonna make it. Gio has to spend <gasps> the bar in order to get out of there. A throw that was super scary. Yes. Oh, oh what wow. a backdash! That's what it. a placement! Even when the game didn't want you to win, and Shao Hai is able to take this back after one of the scariest matches we've seen so far. Gio played phenomenally, put on a show, and we're gonna see him in the losers bracket. Oh shit! Congrats to Shao Hai.
This is great KOF happening. Shao Hai goes out there respecting his opponent, but yes, he is still over there. He is still on the summit. The upper echelon of KOF, very close. Feel proud for Gio, but still we have to find a way to reach that height. Like folks, I don't know, like, like how how much better can this get? And, and that's the scary thing about this tournament. It probably is going to get better than that with these matchups that are, are becoming so rare to see these people all rise to the occasion and play at that level. Wow, he was so close. I can't believe that one match against Isla, against Isla, that sliver of health. Ah, uh, it was so close. Shout outs to Gio, shout outs to Peru. Your man, your boy, su chavo, su niño. He is really doing fantastic job here. He will be, of course, on the loser side of the bracket. He still has a chance. But of course, if you want a chance to get amazing merch of the white, highest quality, you can, of course, go to the 10 Media. Uh, Shout online out to Tasty store. Steve, man. Yeah, look I mean, looking great in that. That uh, soccer jersey from Southtown, it's so cool. I'm yeah, going to yeah. get that for sure. Uh, you're going to see me using that in, in the next streams. That's guaranteed. Yes, the guys from Tenno Media always bringing fantastic merch. I, I know. I am wearing it, mm -hmm. and it's just great. Super comfortable, yeah, great quality, good, and beautiful designs for all your favorite FGC and KOF games. Yeah, folks, and while you're doing that, we can uh, you can go to break and go like look at it right now, man. I mean, again, we're going to continue. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Uh, we're going to continue these wonderful matches. We're going to get into, what is it, top 24. Uh, it's been so much fun, man. I, I have so much fun a, commentating it's a, it's with a, you. It's a rush. Seeing these guys play, mm. great so far, man. But we'll catch you when we come right back here at the World Championships for KOF 50. And we are back. Let Los Angeles listen to the KOF Familia. That's right. We are here. I am El Colt. I am with, of course, mi amigo, mi hermano, Meta Ave. We are having a fantastic time. So many legends delivering the best they can for us, for our entertainment. Aren't you happy, people? Aren't you happy, Abe? I'm so happy, man. I mean, we, we got off of, we went into a break coming off of one of the best matches we've we seen so that. far, man. Like, like it, I got goosebumps watching that, yes. you know? Yes, completely, completely. And there are so many stories happening right now, like the ones we are watching on screen right here. This is the road that we have been walking together, Abe. I mean, look at this again, who's who of some of the greatest players we've ever had in KOF history here. You know, winners round two, Tamago, Soa, ET, Endash, Lagia, Koopa, Paco, Mad KOF. Oh my God, like these people have all done so well in their careers, man. They're all champions. Yeah, man, they are, they are so committed into this game and they are so committed to take this tournament. And right now we are going to see uh, one that I just love to see, of course, that is no other than Soa. She is so fantastic. She plays yes. so refined. It's, she is like the most precise, precise of the offensive players. Yes, yes. She can go insanely offensive, but always keeping that perfect spacing. And of course, he's facing no other than the son of Mexicali, Tamago himself. He has, uh, you're, you're gonna hear a lot of stuff from Mexico, right there, right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has some, he has uh, some favorites. Uh, he's the favorite of so many in the crowd right now. Yeah, great, he has a fan base, man, yeah. Yeah, and we've had the opportunity to be able to experience Tamago's play over a longer period of time and see at what level that he can play. I mean, there was a whole point where he was just absolutely dominating in the tournament scene. Yeah, man, I'm so happy and also proud to we have this community built for so many years and some of our best players are also uh, women, right? It's so amazing to have them right here, part of our scene. Oh, it's, at, it's at the inspiring. Highest, at the, the highest level tournament possible, mm -hmm. right? It's so inspiring. Let's see, Tamago is, is choosing to start with Blue Mary, another Blue Mary, just back to back. And of course, Soa is starting with uh, his uh, her always classic Chris. Mm, she, she's playing all those uh, new face team, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she has been doing fantastic with them. Of course, only Orochi Yashiro has fallen into corruption right here in, in her team. And so far, this is neck to neck with those block black kids. Nobody is able to land a decisive hit or wow. establish a good offensive situation until Soa gets the turn. So much back and forth here, really trying to find 
what opportunity. It's still back and forth, knocking each other down. No, Like you said, no real control so far. Wow. Very, very nice mix up there from Saul, but Tamago's ready. Yeah, that's right. And oh, he he gets the opening, but didn't believe enough in it. And Saul gets another opening, unable to confirm. Now Tamago has the chance to deliver some extra damage, making the boy drink some plasma and breaking those limbs. He's still growing. <laughs> still a growing boy, man. Those Flintstone uh, tablets just ain't doing the job yet. <laughs> oh, but now the magic hands of Orochi Oyashiro are here, and so is such a killer with him. Let's see what the Korean queen can do right here on the corner, my dear Abe. Yeah, so far, Tamago's been in a space where it's like not really there for Soa to lock down and continue the rid. offense to be able to take control now. Let's see. Going forward, La Marea Azul trying to do something. No. Going, mm, breaking the arm. Let's go. Okay, Tamago is breaking the momentum from Soa. Each time she has a chance to take it, Tamago is really controlling. This is the boy from Mexico. He's cooking. He's cooking something. He is, after all, a chef in the real world. <laughs> yeah, man. And this is looking more like a barbecue, man, because there's definitely some high flames going out here. And Tamago is really, really showing, you know, Quite the meal for Soa to take down. I don't know if she's ready for it so far. <laughs> Again, you know, really working ahead here. Yeah, yeah, a complete character of advantage for Tamago. <clears throat> Looking very, very strong, but of course, Soa's Chermi, yeah, it's a complete menace. A monster on her own, uh, getting Soa out of the air. Great jump back in order to control the skies. Patience by Tamago, allowing uh, Soa to feel a little bit uh, safe over here, but with Super Jira Kick controlling everything and awaiting. Oh, what a great anti here over there by Soa. This is an extremely dangerous character with Meter. Um, she has really nice mix up, can it really explode on, on a character? And it's like, if there's gonna be a comeback that happens, this is a very viable character to do this with. Yeah, she can deliver so much damage with good reason. Now, Tamago got that perfect top in order to bait something from Soa, and he's gonna get the bread and butter for Benimaru. Oh. Now, come down here, come back into the ground. This angel is making you feel the pain. All right, the last opportunity here for Soa. Again, this character can make it happen, man. Don't let Shermi get that opportunity, man. Tamago's gonna have to really slow this match down and, you know, finish it off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Oh, the drama. Players are waiting. It's looking like uh, oh, Soa's buttons aren't working out right now. The humanity. She's throwing her hands up, looking confused, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's just We're, not We can working. watch them from here, guys, and uh, I think there is a problem in terms of technology <laughs> happening right here, right now. I think our... Yeah, a call's gonna have to get made. It's really unfortunate at this point because it's anybody's game despite that life being that way. Wow, this is a heartbreaker. Let's see what the decision from the judges. But of course, after all, we are doing this live, my dear Meta Evan. Sometimes this is uh, this can happen in a, even in the upper echelon of competition. Even in the most stable situations, man. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it, it is unfortunate, and it's just we've got to leave it up to the TOs to see what's going on and what the decision is going to be. Shout out to Chelsea and all of the production and TOing team over here at the SNK World Championship. Oh. So, okay. so we're going to double check the situation, but it appears as though we're going to give that one match to Tamago as do it seems like the malfunction was on Soa's side. Yeah, it seems like it. <clears throat> yeah, because you saw the malfunction. She was throwing her hands up. Like, it's really unfortunate, man. Like, there's, the, there's really nothing you can do about that. Like, the, the, the fates decided that it's just going to malfunction. And it's the thing, man, like... The peripherals we use sometimes they just fail on us, right? Yeah, I and mean, it was working perfectly fine in the in the last round, and then something just happened. The rule set it, it was not the decision of Tamago. That's how the rule set works. Yeah, uh, it's hard. A decision has to get made. It's uh -huh. it's it's never a, a nice one to make, you know. But unfortunately, that seems like that's what the situation's calling for. And you can even tell that Tamago is not happy about it. Like, no, no, he no. wants to earn this. No, we're competitors, man. Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to win this way, you know. And especially when you feel like he probably felt like he was gonna take it anyway. Yes. But he wanted to do it on his own. So and, and same thing with Soul is like that opportunity. Really, the way that the life situation was, there was an opportunity there for Soul to make a comeback. So yeah, he had very a, frustrating. He had a bar. He he only needed like two or three calls mm -hmm. in order to to get it. And of course, this is also going to affect in terms of the mental state of both Absolutely. players. Like, 
what they need to do right now is to um, uh, to really stop thinking about what happened and just move forward. It's a clean slate. Of course, you will be that one down in the competition situation, but you for sure can make it back. Yeah, it's, it appears like there's the maybe some translation trying to figure out what's going on so far. But yeah, you know, it's it, it's a, it's a it's a situation you hate to see happen. But you know, again, we will be able to move forward and play out the match. And you know what? Fortunately, we are still on winner's side, and whatever happens, we will have an opportunity to continue in the tournament. Yeah, it's, it's just it is what it is. It man. is what it is, and and of course the rules are already written like that. Mm -hmm. Like it's un very 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 unfortunate that this is happening to Soa, but of course we believe that she has everything needed to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it happened over there. Maybe it would have won her way, of course. I don't doubt for a second that it could be like that, but we are back into it. I think her control is working perfectly. I don't know if this is going to be a button check. It could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's let's see what happens now. Of course, Soa has already her team decided. Mm -mm. We have to check this off, my dear Abe. Yeah, I mean, Oof, what a big boulder to shake off for sure. I mean, that, it's tough. It's tough. So hopefully we can see, you know, that mental state get pushed to the side and really try to overcome this situation. Because, you know, Soa is a great player and also facing somebody that's really great too in their own right, Tamago. Yeah, man, let's go, let's go. Give some love, people. Give some love to these two great combatants. All right, yeah, getting back into the action here. We're gonna play this out. Here we go. Let's see, can we see the comeback from this Korean queen, A.E.'s own Soa, against, of course, TMG MDC Tamago. Let's go. This is not about a check, already looking like a real fight, and this is what we wanted. Of course, we said before, Tamago is getting that one on his favor, and the Commando Sambo is going to come out. I think Tamago is willing to keep riding that tie that he built before. But look oh, at this. Wow. Soa is bringing it back, and she wants to be on lead. She wants to. She, she feels hungry right now, oh, my wow. dear. Yeah, already got a pretty sick situation with the whip button into But he gets the advance guard off. Going to continue with the pressure. The always positive advance strike, but let's see. Going forth into it, going to extend with the plasma, going to break the jungle boy's arm, but still alive. Let's see how wake up goes. Oh, oh what a call out there from Soha, mm. getting that big punish. Unable to kill yet, but this is oh, like the next. Bait again. Come to me, he sa she said. Come to me, I'm going to jump it. Tamago falls for it, and of course Soa delivers the pain. She is back. She is fighting, and this is what we wanted. Yeah, we're back in the game here. Like uh, again, the, the mental state of the, that these players get put through, and still able to come out ahead is ridiculous. And Soa is looking very, very strong in this match so far. And now there, are, there is so many little openings that are hitting Tamago already in 40 percent with his. Wow. Maru. He's gonna crouch and deliver the pump. Talk to the hands, she said. And Soa feels so angry right now. She wants that point back. Look at that pressure from Soa. The amount of confidence that came out that erupted from that first round. And Tamaga had to burn that meter, just really put that on ice because, you know, it needs to ch chill out Soa right now. Soa la ingobernable. Soa is completely unleashed right now. Let's see if his if hero Rochi Yashiro will be able to maintain this kind of momentum. Of course, Tamago is trying just to chill down. Like, mm. wait, wait, wait. Like, this is too hot for me right now. I don't want to make oh. any kind of bad call. They one, two, three. Shitangari only hit for two times. And let's see if oh, so I was trying to read something or getting a little bit of bar out of there. What do you think, Abe? How it's, how are, what are you watching? So, so far, we've been able to see so really take a little bit more control over the match than Tamago has. Tamago has been able to connect, but really on little random spots. No real control yet. And that knockdown's gonna change things a the bit, no and the combo is gonna change stuff here. So finally, Tamago is able to take control, but he takes it, Sola takes it right back. Gonna burn level the meter. One, level two. Level one. one, but we're gonna get the Oki that is so cheap here from Oyashiro. Big opportunity for Sola to take it back. Oh, Josh, oh my God! He pushed him all the way to the corner and with the overhead, Soa is feeling herself. 
that is self-confidence being applied into gameplay. That overhead was big. Now Tamago has to fight with only Rock Howard. Of course, he has a lot of money right here. Three bars and nothing is going in Tamago's way. Even that EX rising tackle wasn't the, the, the what he needed. Exactly, and still in relative control. Ah! The advanced strike represented there from Saul gets successful, but misses a command grab. Tamago rolls through and gets a full combo. Oh, this is so close. Tamago with only one bar, so he's gonna have almost four for her closing character. Oh, Soa. So dangerous here. Soa is with almost four meters to work with. Tamago has to be patient and really put this match under control and throw it on his back because this up close is so dangerous. Oh, gonna get the activation. Kill, gonna right? burn the fat meter here. Mm. Soa mm. is gonna come ahead mm. in this mm. last round. The Cuddle of Death, let's go, and of course we are Dude. going to hear some naughty stuff on whisper on your ear. You're a very cute boy. Mm, he's Bro. dead! Ridiculous! How you can overcome adversity at that level after you took a match like that and really proven that, hey, I had that half-life, I told you I could have done it, and now I showed you. That's a woman full of character. That's the way you turn things around now tamago knows that she is facing he is facing sorry one of the best in the business she is so dangerous and he has to fight her yet again with all that momentum on her side let's see how el hijo prodigo de mexicali can bring it back and now he comes out swinging finally again taking it right back though saw so here control the corner ha has been able to get the really great reads while on offense doesn't get the punish on the roll though and now tamago whoa, whoa, right back so switching the sides again a little bit of a nervous play from two from the from both plays right now the spaghetti pasta is thrown all over the place right here because things are happening going forward reads the roll but unable to fully punish now tamago on the defense oh, oh wow what, a, what yeah. a scoop up that was from tamago Okay, oh, get checked. Perfect spacing over there. As always from Soa, going with the hunts, with the pump wow. and the grab to finish it up. The patience, feeling it, man. the patience there to see what Tamago has to offer after the momentum was ramping up so hard. Maybe felt like something was going to happen there. And in that little hesitation, Soa took it right back and closed out that round. Okay, now it's time for Benimaru to shine because uh, Tamago needs it. Uh, this, this Chris is super healthy still. Oh, ah, wow. the cross up. Great stuff, the, the Super Jirai kick in order to control everything. Now we are going to get delivered some plasma. He's going to spend everything. I totally aware, one, two, three, not enough to kill, but perfect to the moment. Oh, double overhead, that's the, nasty. The, the classic, that's, that's the Cochinas. classic. You know, had to, Tamago had to throw everything to get that lead back and get back into this match. It's so dangerous playing against Soa, because again, with that amount of resources that Soa has right now, Oyashiro just needs to get one jump in and it's party time, baby. But of course, uh, one of the good things about having Benimaru in second is that sometimes oh, you no. don't need so many resources to play with him. Oh, so no. let's see in the strategic analysis of what Tamago can do right here, right now. Great anti over there. Here we go, Soa. dude. Look here at this operation go. session. You are against the corner. You have no. to wait. Oh, mistake from Soa. Leaves himself open up for Tamago to take this momentum back. That was all Soa there too. Another, Another one. one. No, this is not what Soa needed. And what? Tamago is going for the no mix up, mix up. It's going to work. This is gonna be enough wow. one two three just enough oh. meter to close that out so it was in complete control of that it really could have exploded but tamago iced that situation i am i am looking at tamago he feels with a lot of self-confidence right now but of course Jeremy, almost five bars she is a femme fatale hit herself playing by another one oh come back into the ground by the by benny maru one yeah Going for the like one, two, three, Shitangari, my Ray. Already it's looking like a different Tamago here. I mean, very dangerous Shermie here, but gonna have to be very careful with the resource management here because we're gonna have to try to play into the last round with that little life. Let's see, one, two with the lighting cans, not hitting, going forward, maintaining the oh. momentum, one to the kick. This is gonna hurt a lot. She has the resources. She will take out Benimaru, Nikaido, out of the picture. No, are you gonna oh, no, no. He wanted to. that was scary. Wow, but it worked get for it? her. He, it worked for her. Woo. It's fine. But a little scary in the situation of how far the clock got to go down. She's not gonna get that much life back, but still very dangerous, very close to working with three meters here. So again, 
We're not out of the woods yet here for Tamago. Oh, gets a jump in. So scary, gets the activation again. This is gonna do really good damage. It's gonna come down to one more touch. Oh, he missed it. She missed it, and now Tamago has the chance to <gasps> make sure that his rock can shine. But he's gonna be oh so, so my dangerous. God. Oh, and that's he gonna gets be the it. Down a. That's gonna be it. Raging Storm, he's gonna take it. Wow. Tamago, what the drama. The humanity that we felt during all of this match. Tamago is able to maintain it. Shout outs to, to Soa. She's so, a fantastic player. Man, look at his hands. He's shaking so much. Dude, that, that was one of the scariest matches I've seen. Because you know, he's very aware of how dangerous that character is, right? And Soa has been playing those matchups so well that at any moment it could have been over for him. Yeah, man, it's such such uh, a storyline right here happening in front. Tamago is able to move forward, but Soa felt so dangerous during all of this match. I am sure she will have a great chance over there at the loser side of the bracket. Sadly, each one of these matches is going to leave us with that bitter taste, right? So mm -hmm. many great players have to go down into the loser's bracket, but that's the only way we can find who is the champion, the best, number one, el numero uno. Exactly, and so far, I mean, you know, so ever to come back from such a like mentally draining situation, like that, that's so tough and perform so well regardless of that. Like this is as real as it gets at that skill level, man. Like I expect a great loser's run from her. Man, 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 so many fantastic games we are expecting. And of course, another one is incoming, one, uh, two of those guys mm. who are considered to be part of that elite of the best players in the world. We're going to see from Taiwan, X Gears ET facing the Japanese legend M Dash. Like I said, these people have their own history. They're, they're etched in stone in the history of KOF. I mean, ET a champion, uh, M Dash a champion in his own right as well. And it's like we were going to see what two giants of the community are going to be able to show to us at that elite level yeah brought to uh, brought to us by sanwa of course m dash has been such a fan such a man like you saw him play in his first match he mm -hmm. looked like unstoppable complete power coming out from him and of course et he is no stranger for this kind of situations he is so used to play into these high level high stakes tournaments so man each one of these can be uh, grand finals in any other tournament i think really here what a great example of what et's been able to to show in his game plan is is that the endurance you know, the endurance that he's been able to be in a, the highest stressful situation. These long sets that have happened. You've seen him play out an entire set against Xiao Hai when he won that uh, EVO Finals. I mean, who can do that? That just goes to show you the depths of his ability. You know, and M Dash is just a phenomenal player on all sides of the game. So, you know, both very capable of taking this entire tournament themselves. Yeah, for sure. For sure. These two are no strangers to success and of course no strangers to that this kind of competition and those teams man i love to see isla so much so many so much representation from mm -hmm. the chilean beauty and oh, she's great man, man I mean, she's just fantastic now mm -hmm. mm. right there in the discussion of being the best character in the game and that she's going to use her as her second character um et is going to wait for her and and use it as an anchor, but let's go. Ready? Opening up with Clark Steel ET trying to deliver uh -oh, all of go. this sexy gameplay from these Clark. Oh, going with the big wow. hand and oh, the Argentina backbreaker. Let's go. Already very ready and, uh, and getting a really big advantage here. And you know, Geese is pretty good at slowing down this type of crazy mix of crazy game plan, but it's just not working out here so far for M Dash. Oh, he gets out of the mix of La Licuadora Sacabo, no mas envolvente. But so far, ET has been looking very, very strong against Sanguas Don't You M Dash. But the pressure is on. Look at that guard break. Oh, here we go. It was so close. close. He let it go. He you know, go. he felt something coming, but ET gave him nothing. So now we're back into the same neutral situation, and M Dash let it go. But sometimes you got to get that read on the opponent here, and maybe that's the investment that M Dash is looking for. 
most likely, but now he he gave up all of that screen. Oh, gets the opening. Would you know? Mm, up and down. One, two. Mm. Feel the manliness. Optimizing that situation, but a little bit of meter and was still able to close out that round. M Dash's game plan has been able to work out so far, but ET can explode at any moment. Take that life away as quickly as possible. Look at this. Oh, on the same side. M Dash is not allowing any kind of approach until M until ET cross him up, open it, finish it up with the bread and butter, and we're gonna have a very uh, even match right here with even resources being very very close. Let's see what Benny Marus from M Dash can do. Immediately backing up in the first round, again trying to fill each other out so far. Simple neutral getting played, getting some reads here, some exchanges, no real control so far. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Air to air. The cross up. Perfect defense by M Dash Badao. The Super Jedi kick doing some damage. Oh, and this is going to be big. Mm. Yeah, you saw M Dash explode a little mm. bit there with that mm. EXDP and finally put the offense on top of ET and was able to connect with that combo. Such a plus. You're saying such an unleash of power over here by M Dash. Let's see because. Kaidern, of course, is a menace. He has five bars. That's so much. So much to play with. Demasiada salsa. Can he Whoa. eat it all? And he's starting in the perfect way. Let's spend everything we can. Get a little bit of life back. Of course, I mean, devouring your soul. Oh, and the no. cross up on which I, I am sure people doesn't know. I got, I got, I got mixed. I, I get, got mixed. I'll get hit every time, man. You know, ET exploding on his own, finding the right opportunity to really make a big bet and get that chase down initially to get that first combo down that leaded into the victory in that last round. Oh, but look at that perfect spacing. Going back, receiving ET with a little bit of a mistake and uh, confirming everything out of it. They're staying on the same side. Oh, no respect! Oh. <laughs> you think you have a turn? No! No, these are the kind of bets you're going to see from these top players, man. They know when to take these big risks. No punish on the roll. That would have been huge for ET and definitely had the meter to do the damage to finish it. The roll. Oh, that was big. Such a button from M Dash. Canceling the activation, making ET to suddenly became humble, became of no money at all, and spending eight what? seconds of it. Oh, you're gonna make so many mistakes. I am fourth, I'm all for it. And M Dash is gonna get game number one. Wow. M Dash slipped away out of that situation. You know, and was able to convert a huge combo. What a bet that these guys are deciding to make those bets at what point they, they do that. It's and just it's fantastic, like, bro. It's just fantastic. Like, he is pushing ET up to the lattice, and there is not going to be change of characters or order. I do believe that Clark needs to be the change. Like, if he is able to control Geese in that game number one, in that mm -hmm. round number one, things can change. Let's see, because M Dash, look at him. He's feeling it, bro. Well, right now, I feel like what I'm seeing from, from M Dash is he's starting to collect a lot more data on how the match is getting played out. You see him be very patient at first, get some few reads here on ET, and decide when to put that pressure on. And when he's already opening up and getting that combo, we're already f seeing a situation where he is getting a really good read on the situation. You are complete right, because we saw a, most, a more passive keys before, and now he has decided to take the pilot seat and going forward with it let's see oh the, the big karate chop now he's here gonna go. open up et is coming back we're gonna see the full series right here middle side of the stage oh Ma another role like those if et is not punishing why is the, uh, will m dash stop doing that exactly and i like what m dash is doing here giving them a lot of different angles to look at never never staying put in a situation where et could get the read and m dash has been very successful in that first round right there yeah, that, that's the kind of control you want to see from your opener. That's for sure. And now Giz is very healthy, 70% of life. And he has a bar. And Isla will have to work extra time, extra hours to make this even. Let's see, one, two, you are in the Oki situation. Same side, trying to go for the reset. Now, it is still doing those hike bets, even in, in an unfavorable situation. Oh. He's going to open up, but unable to confirm that killing blow. Mm. Wow, and ET just really was all over the place controlling that first round. And Dash really had, like, uh, control the situation, but ET just got the offense going one time, and that was it for Geese. Amazing. Okay, let's see the back roll over there by Benny Maru. We saw M Dash playing this match uh, perfect, perfectly. Last oh, time, but no. we're gonna make those big gifts. 
And of course, ET is gonna open it up. Look at this. He found treasure amongst trash, and he is, of course, trying to maintain that momentum forward. M Dash is gonna say, No, I'm gonna jump with that uh, A button to make everything up. But look at the harassment and look at the guard bar. Yeah, this offense from Isla is top tier, man. I, I don't think anybody really matches this, this level of continued pressure that she can put on players. And M Dash is trying to weather the storm so far. But it is looking really tough. He needs oh, one touch. no punish oh! on that. He was a little bit far away to confirm. No, don't touch. Nice. The air to air. And that little by little is chipping his wow. out. And this what is going to be godly mm. play that was. Uh. To decide to get that run under right there. I, I know he didn't expect that because he got caught. Wow, what a godly play that was from yeah. M Dash. That's the kind of decisions that make a, a turn, a, a game turn around, and that's what Mdash is doing right here. Okay, the, the moon is out. We're gonna get a little bit of extra resources right there. Remember, when Hydern takes out uh, your soul and he's full of health, he gains meter, a little bit of it. And in the air to air, we're going to the final round. This is neck to neck. Neck uh, and neck, as close as it gets, man, on this last round. Only 50% more bar for Mdash in a matchup that has been very dominant during all the tournament. Isla has been able to control Hydern mostly, most of the time. But let's see what happens here when ET is fighting to go to the loser side of the bracket. This is match point. Yeah, and Endas closed it out last time because of a very fortunate jump out that he had to, that was able to combo. And here we go, another oh situation where he sees the stand C whip. Spending the bar, of course. We're going into the situation further backwards. He's going for the front again. This pressure. Great defense over here by ET, but he needs to take the, the, <gasps> the main it. character if position. If he finishes, it's go he's on loser, man. He is on the loser side of the bracket. M dash is going to take down one of the gods, achieving God whom he, Godhood himself. Yeah, and you were saying, like, he's looked ridiculous throughout the yeah. entire tournament and has maintained that status so far, even playing against one of the best that the community has to offer. 2-0 over ET, man. That is not very common to find. That is the level of competition we have here at the SNK Champ uh, World Championship. My God, and things are still coming for us. Oh, Abe. So great. I mean, I mean, we're getting into more matches where mm -hmm. we've already seen so many dramatic finishes, so many dramatic performances, and it's just not going to stop. I mean, we don't have the players queued up just yet, but up coming up next, we have Paco versus Matt KOF, which is like, what? How do we keep getting these back-to-back -back matches that are so no, ridiculous? No, 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 we are going for Lagia oh, Lagia against versus Koopa. Koopa. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Koopa, of course, one, uh, one legend that has been never unleashed in the states never unleashed in the international stage now mm -hmm. has the chance because of this event he was able to get his papers now he's able to travel around the world and of course i'm gonna be very proud because of course here it is here it is hey. in my heart always we are wearing that that skin i am all here for Cuba. you have been hearing people cheering for him of course Most lagia definitely. lagia is also a monster bro this is another one of those games just as we saw before with uh, with Gio and uh, oh my and Chao, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think this is so very similar. And what is next? Just the same. Yeah, and what's really exciting about this event, you know, since all these people have now this opportunity to come here and travel, that hopefully because of this event, it's going to offer even more opportunities down the road. Mm -hmm. So, so we get to see who will play today, but we may get to see more events where this is another opportunity. So again. The World Championship is just giving the opportunity for everybody to show off the skills that maybe some of us have known about, but now the world's going to know about it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Lagia, of course, another from the uh, Sanwa boys all the way from Japan. We just saw his teammate deliver a very, very uh, consistent victory. Yep. And Koopa, of course, is trying to fight a monster on that level. Oh, it's going to be great. Powered by El Poder del Mazapan. <laughs> Definitely, man. I don't know. I don't know if I would take that bet. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, a little bit of a, you know, the button check. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of it. course, of course. You know, <clears throat> take your time, man. You're on the biggest world stage right now. You know, find your positioning mentally. Focus. There is a lot of uh, fans from Tijuana. I wanna, I wanna hear Tijuana on the house. Now Tijuana. Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> they no, we're like you said, man. We're here in the heart and soul, you yeah. know. And, and when this matchup pops off, and you could already tell from the body language that we're seeing here from Koopa that this is going to be an exciting one, man. He's ready. Lagia's ready. Here we go. 
Oh my god. It's gonna be so great. Orochi Yashiro. Yo, she's like, but really no. They are they are playing with my feelings right now. <laughs> Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Get a Isla on board. Yeah, I mean, again, it feels it's a great honor to be able to commentate this event with you, uh, oh. Cole. I mean, it's like we have dreamt about things like this happening for quite some time Ten now. Years. Yeah, especially f specifically for the community and for the fans of this game and, and this genre of fighting games. It's just really walking into here, looking, seeing the people here, seeing what the venue has to offer, and then on top of that. The ridiculous amount of uh, level of play that we get to see here in person and for you guys at home to be able to take a big bite into what the community has to offer no and how much we have grown right this is this is the first time i feel that there is a real world championship for kof all brought by the love of snk to this community and the love back of all these players for more than 30 years we have been building this event and it all comes to this stepping stone mm -hmm. because this is only the, the this is just the start of something bigger and let's go because we are going to see a mirror match right here el repuesto let's see koopa playing with the the, the, the black leather yashiro and of course lagia with the original color koopa had a ridiculous performance earlier with his yashiro looking to be super deadly and just very ready with the reactions to take control of the match. Yeah, using that guard point in order to move forward. Let's see, oh, that backdash, avoiding any kind of risk, going for the reset into the grab, trying to maintain oh. the momentum. And now, Lagia is feeling the pain. This is a complete unleashed Yashiro against him, but he's fighting his way out, and he finds a head in order to get some breathing space. Yeah, trying to slow down the tempo here is a tall order against Koopa. Koopa will get that momentum and will hold on to it as tightly as possible. Oh, that was very dangerous, and but Koopa was more than ready. Little by little, Lagia is taking control of this match, wow. but he's going to make that cancel and the, land the damage. The creativity there to cancel that like that and to cover several options. It worked out for Koopa, and he's ready for different angles. But Lagia is looking to slow this down a bit and gain control in this corner. Mi fuerte es más fuerte, they are saying. Mi solido es más solido going forward. Great anti-air over here, 15 seconds off the clock. There is not, there's not gonna be much region, but Koopa lands the first hit. First blood goes for the Tijuana, El Beato de Tijuana, the Saint Boy from Tijuana, Koopa. This is a great opportunity here for Koopa to really shut this down. Again, Lagia is going to have to make some commitment here to try to knock out this Yashiro. And already, Yashiro oh, in, doesn't get the punish. That was so close. Patience over here by Koopa. Lagia, of course, is not going to offer anything. That was not oh, under hit. Oh, baby. But he lands it now, and he's oh. pressuring little by little. There is there is a patience in this offensive by Koopa. Look at him. He's not he's not overextending anything. He's living leaving the smallest gas for potential mistake for Lagia to make. And he's very careful about the approaches so far. He's Gets the run so up much. throw. Wow, that's amazing. Changing the timing a little bit. He feels like a hunter right here. Going forward. Oh, great what? overhead, but no cancel. He didn't believe. Mm. Wow, the conversion off of that. Pushes into the corner. Gets the break. 28 seconds on the clock. Lagia gets Yashiro out of there, but there's not gonna be a lot of recovery. Koopa in a good position right here with three bars and his Benimaru low and loaded. Yeah, lock and loaded is a really great way to put it, man, because the patience, the sniper precision that Koopa has been able to present in this match. Lagia hasn't really been able to shut it down. It. And now we got mm. the offense mm. exploding. One out of the chamber. Koopa is going ahead. Uh, uh, are you saying uh, he's standing his ground? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, what a joke. Yes. <laughs> Definitely standing his ground. <laughs> okay, let's go. Because, of course, Lagia is super dangerous with those four bars. Sylvie, Sylvie uh, is very, very dangerous. Oh. And he's going to just dash into it. After that, Dragon can whiff. Oh, getting the jump in. And this is going to be the full the full uh, bread and butter. You're gonna get all of the kit from Benny Maru? No, yeah. I Great like that, challenge. I there. like that challenge. Uh, Lagia has been playing very conservative so far in this match, and it's been to, you know, not really helping them out. But so far, that challenge has really pushed them ahead to give them opportunity to get back in this match. Let's see some uh, spacing, some neutral play over here by our two competitors. Nice jump in by by Lagia, getting the full damage over here that he can get. Not spending anything, going for the grab, but uh, Koopa is more than ready. One touch, he's gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Bring the lightning down. That's going to take it, the Super G-Ride kick. Mexico is on the house. Me 
that's that's also very important. The crowd here is gonna play a role on all the on all on all of the tournament. The the la, the Latino boys are playing as locals. Yeah, it's pretty one sided in the crowd right now. So this is gonna be a pretty nice buff to that community. I mean, these these folks are no stranger to to pressure to pressure hostile environments, whatever anything that that's possible that they can get thrown at. They've seen it before. But here in this matchup right now, it's Lagia gonna have to get out of this conservative play and really try to match that level or at least put some ice on what Koopa has been able to offer because that Yashiro has been doing so much work and so great. And even then with that pressure, uh, he's been able to leave the perfect gaps to be able to take it right back. And yet again, look at this, uh, the, you, you were saying it before, like the way Koopa is playing, he's trying to bait things out mm -hmm. of Lagia. And now again, those perfect reactions from El Beato, and now finding even that overhead with all of the self-confidence in the world. Mm, that's what you need to, to conquer a lady's heart, self-confidence. And right now, Absolutely. Koopa is really seducing me. Yeah, and right now, very fortunate conversions here from Lagia. It's starting to get control. Nice block there from Koopa. Koopa is Ooh. very ready so far. But he's down. Let's see, can he bring down? Okay, run up grab. Nice stuff. Oh, nice reactions over here by Lagia. But Koopa is more than ready to get him out of the corner with a little bit of attacks. Now Lagia is playing way more refined. I can see it. No confirmed there. He had the kill, but he let it go. And now what? Koopa, oh, he finds the hit. What? But no, no chance to, to deliver the finishing blow. But now it is. So close, man. This is so close. I don't know what to say. The speed that Koopa is playing at, I have not seen in a match so far. And he, that is a huge win for Lagia there. Because I'll tell you, man, this dude was on a sprint. This was like six gear here. And somehow Lagia was able to come out uh, on top in that first match. Because that was nuts. Oh, this is what Lagia needed to get a lot of damage from Benimaru. He has been a problem for him before. And now look at that. Almost 50% gone with less than a bar to expend. Mm -hmm. oh, Going to be patient. Mm. He rolled out of it, but Lagia was more than ready. Now Koopa is on the defense, and he it looks like he went to sleep. Somebody tell him that the match number two has started. <laughs> yeah, what a great advantage here for Lagia. Been able to finally conquer that. Yashiro has really made a big difference here in the second match. And the guard point is going to oh! be right there. I'm going to I'm gonna duck. I'm going to wait for your mistake. Lagia suddenly becoming the monster that we know he is. Mm -hmm. This could easily go in another direction here, and Koopa could really get uh, their bearings in this match with that much meter to be able to finish this and get immediately back into the Rio. But we're going to have to see it happen quickly, and Lagia is not going to let that happen so easily. Okay, let's see, because well, nice he went block. for the cross-up. Koopa was more than ready. Lagia went for the roll. Koopa tried to catch it, but was unable to. Five meters, don't take them with those home. Don't take those to Tijuana, that's for sure. Let's see, oh, the paint is rolling. Seeing a lot of patience we're not used to seeing so far. And finally, Koopa is able to convert and get to this reel. Okay, live coming back. A lot of meter to work with. This is looking very possible for Koopa to potentially take this. But Lagia has been playing a solid game so far. Something that you're used to seeing about the way that he plays and take control back. Yeah, and, and you can also see Koopa not uh, in a rush mm -hmm. to do something. But when Lagia made some mistake, he's of course going to take the chance. He's gonna spend everything for as much damage as possible. Going for the double jump, Lagia is more than ready. He has seen it. You oh! need to go for something, and what a jump in! Comes on the other side, a super fortunate situation there for Lagia, and this is gonna do some good enough damage and decides to hold on to it. And it's gonna get the frame trap That's there. It. That's and it's it. gonna finish. We are going to gain number three over here. Woo, Lagia shaking it up, bringing it to the next level. This is the type of match where you see where you have to feel like, all right, I like this challenge so far, right? Especially since La Lagia was coming from behind. So like, okay, I got my bearings. Let's see what you got to offer in the third match, right? In the final match, what are you gonna give me? What yeah, are we gonna right. do? And it, it's interesting because Lagia not only shot Koopa, he shot also the crowd. The crowd is not making noise anymore. Or are they proving me wrong? I, am I going to hear some cheers for Koopa? No. <laughs> Not so far. Okay, here we go. It's a little <laughs> delayed out there in the crowd. They're shouting out for Koopa, and here we go. We got to remember, a little, a little delay out there in the crowd. 
So yeah. frames, frames have been dropped. Hey man, yeah, a few frames, you know, we sacrifice what we gotta do here. But again, here we go. This is, this is a big point of the match. Who's Yashiro can come up front because it's it's made almost both matches so far. Yeah, that's completely right. And it was so close on that on that last match. Let's see, Koopa gets the first opening. Going into it, all the way to the corner. Now you have to deal with this. The overhead. Lakia is more than ready. Nice conversion, do not confirm over here. But Lakia is gonna fight his way out. Yeah, I was gonna say, with that fortunate jump in there from Koopa initially, I was wondering, can Lagia deal with this speed again? Because that's gonna make the biggest difference Ooh. here. And so far, he's neutralizing at what point he's able to touch. And he baits out the DP at the perfect range and is now gonna take control in the damage situation and all the way into the corner. Blocks the overhead, challenges again. Koopa's turning it back up. Is he gonna be able to take it back? No, back into the neutral. Let's see, because Koopa is trying to do something. He finds, the Lagia finds the hit, but had no bar in order to expand and deliver the killing blow. Oh, oh. Koopa made the read, but the execution was not there. The chase down wasn't there, just enough speed, wasn't quick enough, and Lagia has taken control. Chipping away, very close, and a far B takes it. Oh man, Lagia is really gearing up. He had control, uh, perfect control of that match. Now Benimaru, he has to be the key for Koopa to keep him forward. The Japanese hero is really playing very, very strong. This is poor Bush Bushido being applied right here. They never surrender. Oh, this is going to be what great up. trade. Great trade for Fantastic Koopa. Fantastic trade there this for is Koopa. Good business, I would say. Definitely. I mean, that goes as best as you want it to go if you're trying to make a comeback here and to neutralize such a great character like Yashiro. And I, and I actually really like this matchup for Benny Morrow because I feel like he's able to control the neutral a little better and Lagia is going to have to take a little bit more risk here. Let's see, let's see. Uh-oh, here yeah. we go. But once they lay down the buttons, it's on, baby. <laughs> Reels are cooking. Yeah. Oh, no oh, conversion. He did, he did not believe. The big sweep over here. Lagia with patience. <gasps> a slash that was very dangerous. No reaction over there by, uh, by Lagia. Working on that life just a tad bit at a time here, Lagia. I feel Koopa very willing of pressing buttons, my dear, my dear Abe. Just, aha, there it is. Gets the jumps uh, D into combo. Gonna burn the meter. Gonna is he gonna go for the EX? Because if he goes, okay, he doesn't. He holds on to it. Believes in the offense. Okay. Koopa challenges. Trying to go forward. Benimaru. Oh, he waited. He waited for something else. The slash is not gonna hit. Trying to maintain, he makes the opening, but did not believe in it. Little by little, he got pushed Lagia into the corner, but Lagia fights his way out. Great sweep over there. Oh, Koopa has to work on a miracle right here. Yeah, there's a lot to ask for when it's so dangerous. A real with Three that bars, much yeah. resources. Koopa has a lot to work with too, though. So if he could get to work immediately, this will be an opportunity to make a comeback. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt no. so much. And I would spend every single bar on this. Gonna have the opportunity, let's see. Gonna burn it? No, no. decides to hold on to, to meter man. It gets the jump in anyway. Why not? And this is gonna seal it up. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be more than enough. It's going to kill for sure. Ah, tournament. And you guys didn't see this off camera, but, <laughs> but Lagia took a big sigh of relief, a, a yeah, big yeah, exhale yeah, yeah. on that. And you know, just happy to get through a very great player in Koopa. Yeah, for sure. But of course, Koopa will still survive in the loser side of the bracket. Lagia is moving forward. He's looking so strong, man. Even after losing uh, game number one in such a one-sided way, mm -hmm. he's able to keep collected to bring it back. That's why these samurai guys from Japan are so strong, man. They have so great mental. The composure. Mm -hmm. you, you see it in that situation because Koopa ran the craziest offense with that Yashiro initially, right? He's having great reads, great reactions, taking every moment possible to take back. And still, Lagia was able to weather the storm and pull that one out and really find a way to win. And let's go because more legends are dropping into our stage. The winner from yesterday's tournament, last chance qualifier tournament from Mexico, from... Uh, uh, from Mazatlan, Sinaloa. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that <laughs> sleep. Yeah, of good, course, Chaos Reborn Paco is facing Mathkov from Korea. Yeah, you know... The legend himself. Personally watching this tournament, 
I'd say the most exciting matches I've seen so far were from Paco. Paco yes. is coming from the LCQ. Yeah, he's making us suffer a little bit more than we One needed. of the most exciting players, also because, you know, we're seeing this Dulong just wreck shop, mm -hmm. just wrecking dudes. You know, the mix-ups are too much. The offense is too much. And I have to see see what an expert like Mad KOF has to offer against this type of player if he's able to neutralize the clean, competent composure that is coming from Paco in this matchup. Yeah, man, it's simply so much uh, asking from that Dulong. Of course, he also rocks that beautiful and the best in my in my opinion, the best in the business in terms of Luong. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we're, we're just going with what the, what has been exciting. But dude, deeper into the bracket of the characters that he has, he's like expert level, the guy for those characters. Yes, yes. So it, it's also interesting because. Seeing as he's rocking Dulan in the point position, it's like it reminds me of way, way back. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the KOF 13 Grand Finals, where you saw Bala play against a Mad KOF, oh. also representing a cheap Dulan, baby, yes. and really dissecting that match. And now you have somebody who has equally at that level, if not perhaps even higher in that type of play style. Yeah. In Mexico, we would say a fierro matas, a fierro mueres. There you go, exactly. That's for sure. Makes a lot of sense to me, man. <laughs> yeah, it brings it brings some memories back. And of course, um, Paco, no stranger to this kind of high tension, high pressure situations. You can hear him, uh, him there breathing, con trying to concentrate into this matchup. Matt KOF, of course, more than ready. He has so much on his uh, shoulders. Mm -mm. Yeah, guys, this is an exciting match. I mean, I can't, I can't wait for this to happen. This is going to be a huge treat for you folks at home. And it's just like, man, I, I just can't wait. Let, let's see how this plays out. We have to, we have the privilege and of course the responsibility to give hype to this. So let's make some noise. Oh, the, the crowd is, is, they are very expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, we're going through the same thing yeah. that they are. We're, we're I, experiencing I, that, I, that mental. I am trying to scream because I am so nervous right now. <laughs> Dude, me, me too. The last time I saw Koopa play, I got goosebumps. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Let's see. It's going to be too long against Geese. And already Paco trying to play some distance in between them. <laughs> trying to find that opportunity of, uh, he loves to play in, the, in this way. Like the, uh, the uh, uh, flooring, uh, flooring butterfly mm -hmm. and, and the Sting B, that's the too long way to do the mix up. Great roll over there by Matt KOF and nice the counter, counter even better, predictable, he said. Yeah, that is so useful to be able to take them back into the corner and, and change the opposition here. And Matt KOF looking solid as always. Yeah, he's such a, a well-composed uh, player, right? Stoic mm -hmm. all the time, always finding it, uh, ways to get out of it. Paco seemed to have uh, some edge around him. Oh, but the Shatter Strike over there used as an anti-air and deliver another oh, possibility. what an option there from Matt KOF. Oh, Taking in consideration. Right back at you. Yeah, and right back at you. Again, this is the only type of composure you see to go back and forth like this from Paco. He has to jump over. Wow! wow! He did the neutral counter so sick all the way over there Matt KOF was so ready four counters in that match fantastic stuff from the Titan from Korea let's see what he can do against the beauty of Taekwondo no other than one but he's she's gonna get punished just like that all over the world the plasma is down Ooh, almost caught that rollback Paco hmm. there with his own combo that's it, it that's it she's gonna recover almost all health Mm -hmm. Maybe 100%. So this is still very, very neck and neck. Mm -mm. But Sylvie, Paula Paula is here to deliver some voltage, some plasma, some current. My dear Abe, she's wow. ready for the defense. Same so side. cheap. So cheap. Went on the opposite side, came back on the other side. I mean, that's as nasty as it gets. And Paco is really using the advanced guard to maintain pressure. Getting close to the guard break, and Matt KOF manages to get out. Oh, and he overextended, and Paco is going to take all of that advantage. You do, level two is easy enough to kill, I don't know, but I know that I want to be Sylvie right now. Step on me. Pisame preciosa. Yeah, Paco looking really, really good, man. Mm. Mm, and Hyder, of course, Pac, we know that Paco knows his matchup. Yeah. He plays Hyder himself. He, he was the tool to move forward yesterday as the winner of the last, cha last quali uh, chance qualifying yes. tournament. Oh! What a jump in. Beautiful. Big score there for Paco. 
didn't the chooses to no uh, no spend the the bar to extend the combo. Very interesting choice over here by uh, Kyle's reborn Paco. Take a little bit of life away, give a little bit back. <gasps> That was super scary roll. Oh, Ooh, just outside of range there, man. KOF with the bet. I mean, he has long legs, but come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Patience over nice here. Nice challenge. Look at that pickup from Paco. Mm. Masterful. And expanding everything. I like it. Maintaining the pressure, going for the grab. A little bit of a shimmy right there. No, not, oh, not for a second time. Matt KOF was more than ready. And he wants him to block. Maintain the pressure, but Paco is ready and wow. he rolls out of there beautifully. Now, I was telling you, this composure that Paco is able to display is on a whole other level despite Matt KOF scoring these big points here. Oh. Paco is still in there oh. with the advance guard. Not enough to oh, kill. But another it again. one. La Copia. He ordered it con Copia and he's going to land that crazy play. Paco feeling so much. He's riding that tide from yesterday. Momentum as a champion of the last chance qualifier and he's bringing a war down on Matt KOF. How deep it can go into the options of what's possible, right? Like, I was talking about before, about like seeing Lassit and how he was using a lot of the options in the game, the systems of what it has to offer. But you get another player like Paco, who plays everything at an elite level, also presenting Clark. that to you, it's so difficult to handle that, right? And especially in, in a very tense situation to throw that out, so crazy. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, my KOF started his uh, his game so strongly controlling Dulong mm -hmm. in a fantastic way, being a perfect counter for the mischievous, long limbed uh, uh, character. So let's see if right now the change in Clark will be the difference. Pac, of course, wants to maintain this kind of momentum. Let's see what happens. We have to witness them, my dear Meta Abe. Definitely. Uh, yeah, if, if by any chance Paco's able to get off on this first round, this is, could be a huge, huge problem here for Matt KOF. Now he knows that Matt KOF has seen those mix-ups, right? Mm -hmm. And he's more than ready with options uh, that only he has, of course, but it's going, oh, wow, that was a long hit, that's for sure. Patience over here by Paco. Matt Keo is feeling a little, a little more offensive this time. All dressed in blue. Very elegant to be, to, uh, to be sure. Mm. Oh, gets right in his face and Matt Keo F. Now is what's going comboed. to be it? Another roll. Paco is still mashing some those buttons. He doesn't care about. Of course, there is no super counter right here, but he is trying to make those wow. bets. Mm. Look at that aggressiveness he's going into. After a block screen coming in and putting on the offense, and now Paco scores a combo of his own. Gonna go into a mix up. Gonna get yeah. the punish on the roll. I'm ready. Not enough to kill yet, but forcing Matt KOF to go into the defensive mode and yeah, sweeping the leg. How dare sweeping you build meter? <laughs> How dare you? Are you trying to do something on there? <laughs> I no. don't think so. Let's shut that down. All right, here we go. We're putting in a pretty gnarly character here. Clark with a good amount of meter here is going to have to put the work here on Paco. Yeah, because that blue long is super healthy. Let's see, on oh. the same side, you are going to miss the scissor kick and Paco will have the chance to take you all the way to the other side. Oh, oh you are going to no. fall for it. You are going to get into the room. Okay, I, I will take you there. Mm. All the chips are falling in Paco's oh, favor. Delicious. And again, that it has to be at least four situations. And yeah, that's exactly how Jeez, you earn a stun bro. in that situation. Yeesh. Dual on Paco. Like I said before, if he gets that dual on off, this is danger mode for Mad KOF. Yeah, that's exactly happening right now. Because he was using uh, those unique traits of, of keys to control dual on, mm -hmm. and now those tools are out. And look at that, uh, Paco is almost in a 100, in a perfect situation with uh, dual on, and a lot of uh, healthy characters behind that. The wow. Shadow Strike is not gonna hit. He's gonna go for the EX Reka, extending the combo combat here, please. Back and forth. Oh, my oh God. wow. He, he runs for out of the way. What a smart thought, though, because it was like all that meter to potentially reversal. I'm just going to get out of the way. The way Paco cycles through these options is super Ooh. impressive. And now he's going into another opportunity after getting another mix up. Gets the oh, bait. Come here. I'm in your head. Estoy en tu mente. I am reading that mind. And wow. Paco is going to deliver a fantastic offensive series that's going to hit. Yes. And mm. slowing down what is potentially already dev if beyond a miracle can happen, and it's not going to happen. Paco, a dominating performance there after quite the <laughs> ride. Ridiculous. Uh, a ridiculous ride for Paco oh, so far, at, man. And he's feeling it so much. Fantastic stuff here. 
by Kyle's Reborn Paco posing for the picture, of course. What a great victory from the Mexican champion. And Look he's feeling it. That's so he's feeling cool, I dude. love it. That's the fire you need to push you forward in a competition like this. Yeah, so far with these elite players, I mean, Paco has looked on another level, right? Yeah. And nobody has had an answer for that duel on. Like you said, that Geese had the had the option, had the resources mm -hmm. to deal with a lot mm -hmm. of that. But once that's not on the table, Paco's cooking, man, and I, there's nothing you can do I'm about so it. And so smart for him that other other players would say, okay, Geese is being a problem, let, let me change the order. Mm -hmm. But Paco say, no, I can deal with that Geese, and with him out, I will be able to dominate Math KOF. And that's something you don't say easily, that you don't dominate Math KOF. Yeah, and if you want to learn some Dulan, look, Guys, we got we got 75% off on the Come Steam on. sale. Like, boot it up, run that video back, and be give, like, I can have a duel on just like that too. Give <laughs> it, give it to a friend, give <laughs> it across stream. Is is the moment, the perfect moment to jump into KF or bring your friends into it with that 75% off on Steam. Thank you very much for SNK for making not only this event but also this offer that is for all of you guys. Yeah, and here you go, folks. I mean, we're getting closer and closer towards the end of this uh, tournament. One step at a time. <laughs> yeah, one step at a time. Every match has been phenomenal. And, and, you know, it's, again, been such a pleasure to be able to commentate. This is such an honor to, to commentate for the folks at home, for the folks here, and to commentate with you, man. Mm, much love to the people. Thank you very much for being with us. All this ride, it has been just fantastic. And the best mm. is just to come, guys. Don't go anywhere because this World Championship is still happening. We'll be right back. And once more into the deep end, more SNK World Championships action coming at you live. And we're going to be going into that loser's bracket side. I am Raf with Rome. How are you feeling after all these crazy matches? I don't even know how to feel, man. So many heartbreaks, so many legendary players have succeeded and others have fallen. But them's be the breaks, Raf. That's right. We That's came, how it is. Came all this way here to put everything on the line. And we're going to see kind of the preview of how things are shaping up as so many matches back to back to back have just been going through so the situation is kind of crazy mm -hmm. as a whole right winner's side looking scary score oh versus Kofero Onesto Lassit versus Shaohai Tamago oh. versus M Dash and Lage versus Paco a great mix of Asia Mexico and everything in between literally everything in between and I want to take a quick second to talk about the LCQ players, Score and Paco, came here yesterday, qualified through the LCQ, and they are putting the players that have been qualified for months on their back, showing them that you are lucky I didn't go to that global or that regional tournament. <laughs> you are lucky, but now I am here. And as you can see, these are going to be some amazing matches, guys. The only thing you can find here at the S. WC and there's the loser side right there. Of course, Fresen not here. Toshi gets the dub, but we got to all oh, Toshi versus Geo. That's a Peruvian yeah. team kill. Inferno Kong versus Juan KOF. Another crazy match. Yeah, of course we got Pineapple and Mulk. Oh my God! And of course the wrap us off Kitsune and Sace MX. Just to get into top 16. Of course, guys, we will be rocking this from top six, uh, top 32. All up into top 12. Top mm -hmm. 12 to top 8 will conclude tomorrow. Yes. So as you've been seeing all day long, KOF action, and it don't get better than this. Absolutely not. It's just been a crazy road, but we're back to the loser side. So now mm. is the last chance for so many of these players who are coming up on deck as our first match is going to be Kitsune from France going up against Mexico Seis MX in a battle to see, I mean, who will stay alive and who will join the spectators? Yeah, uh, a battle you don't want to have. Both these guys traveled a far, far away, especially uh, Kitsune from France. Uh, even though he decided to pick Maxima earlier, it was a little funny. <laughs> questioning that, you know, but he's still here for a reason. And uh, let's see if he can take down Mr. Six. Yeah, Mr. Six, who has just been one of the strongest players all throughout in a lot of regional events. Well qualified here, but now it's just a two out of three match. Who can stay afloat and who? will just sink with the rest of those boats being busted up and ready to jump into it. As Kitsune, I love it. The stick just sitting on the on the table, mm -hmm. just have it off his lap. Stability, consistency. Not moving, staying still, like you said. I, and I like that about controllers. You can play them in multiple ways. We saw yesterday Chris K.O. playing on the floor, old mm -hmm. school style. That's right. Um, you know, we just waiting for somebody to play standing up. And the Maxima's back. You know what? This guy's on something. He knows. Maxima's back. Maxima's going up against the, ter the Tyrant. Isla, who has been a dominant force all the way throughout. Maximus got that big damage. He's kind of a little slow and not great ways to challenge when he's under pressure. And you see this pressure coming out from Sace. Whoa. Really heavy. 
Yeah, 2C challenging off already. So he's keeping the distance, doesn't need to engage at all. Maxima has a lot of guard points, like you said. Big normals, take some time to start them up, but once he can get them in there, it'd definitely be a great help right now, just getting swamped right now, though, by Isla. Yeah, big blocks, not a good hit for really either player until Sace finally finds that far C. It's a full mm. confirm, get that knockdown. And now just more pressure, no punish on the roll, but yeah. out of there. Almost a bad roll, anti-air checked in deck. This is, again, we were just seeing Maxima not really get a chance to be activated at all, right? The computer is shut down, if you will. Someone's got to turn them on, Windows 11. And all of that. Fires whatever's Ooh. in his system, making it tough. Even a jump CD counter hit, not much you can do there. And just still under duress. At least gonna end with like, you know, has almost two bar. One big hit could be a tide turner, but Sace not giving any any space for it. Oh, that was the chance right there, but a sick roll from Sace. 14 seconds on the clock. EX command throw from downtown. We can get the party started, right? Oh, overhead comes out. Big damage. It's it up. Command grab again, and the follow-up is gonna do it. Super. Kitsune brings it back. I'm telling you, brother. Super fighting robot Maxima. No. Let's go. Okay. This is huge as Kitsune stealing that back with just all the tricks in the book. Not a clean combo, but just it inches out and makes it work. Yeah, it doesn't need to do much, right? Ryu could just be that wall, that ever moving slowly wall. Uh, just throwing out hitboxes there for Maxima. Maxima has to engage. Does have access to a level one super. Well, not anymore. Spent the bar, but gets the punish. Ooh, okay. Nice reaction to the wall. Gets that knockdown too and try to get Q with it, but a wake up throw is going to make it work. Sace, thanks for spending that meter on him. I appreciate you. Buy me those luscious gifts. Oh, you're so kind. You're so nice. You spend all your money on me. What a tier three, he says. But Kitsune bringing in the ultimate tier three, Yamazaki. Do with that whatever you want, chat. Here he is. <laughs> nice golden coat getting opened yep. up. EX Tatsu. Yeah, easy lights. Level one for that easy knocking into the corner here. Going to set up some more great pressure as Rio just big damage and so much safe pressure so hard to deal with in this situation as kitsune is just losing so much life yeah just getting outplayed right now just big old buttons that's the real special man throw them out there so hard to engage on him and yamazaki is typically a defensive style character he doesn't want to do the moving but instead he is going to get blown up for trying to mash throw and wake up absolutely scary spot is safe running away with it the rio just doing what he does best inching forward making limiting all those options and movement ability and now it's going to be the geese who has plenty of bar and a lot of strength. I thought you were about to say the geese is least. Definitely looking least to me, right? And we're gonna get the yep, the final uh, Repukin into the Raging Storm. Lots of storms, lots of water. Let's see if he can drown out this Rio. All right, damage is adding up. Not a bad spot here if you're Kitsune. Nice done, Stan CD. It doesn't want to overcommit and doesn't need to. Rio will steal away your life like we might see right now. Oh, two bar Rio in the corner here. Doesn't go for any more uh, juggles. Just want to meet short and sweet, gets the grab, and now you gotta continue guessing for your life here. Oh, okay. Interesting setup there. Didn't see that. A little bit of a frame kill. And just gonna match that 5C. Will be enough. Sace is down. All right. Huge character down, although Kitsune. Blow life on the geese, and that's gonna be a lot of juice that's right behind his final character with the Chizuru. Doesn't mm. need much to seal the deal here. One solid combo will wrap it up. Kitsune has got to play this perfect. Definitely, but Geese doesn't need specials, man. He's got the best normals in the game, the best makeup, and we're seeing it right here. Is it confirmed? Okay. Yeah, sweet trades. All those trades for Sace working good, but Crouch D all day, every day. All day, every day net right now. Nothing but net. We might see him get that score. Already dropping her down to 50%. Sace unable to find an opening, almost with punish there. And yeah, no answers to that Crouch D. Yep. The trades work out, and it makes it even where Sace can get a kill, hit the finish. Ooh, Ooh. spooky stuff. Oh, no, that's punished. No, too far. Didn't get it. But the forward B goes over the low normal. I like that. Make him guess. Guard canceled. See, that was a check. That's what we call checkmate mm -hmm. in the fighting game community right there. What are you going to do? What are your options? None. Zero. You die. That's right. Chess had it down already where you're locked in and you're wrapped up. Kitsune fighting back valiantly, but it was just from behind all the way through. Even taking out the first character with the Maxima just didn't give him the leverage that he would be hoping for. So right back to character select. We're going to be swapping out a little bit. Yamazaki didn't really get to play. 
but let's see if maybe he gets to be unleashed here. I think as now Katsune is going to swap into. He's looking. Yeah, I think I, the Maxima, I really, I'm going to question him after the tournament. I'm going to hold his feet to the fire. What's with the Maxima pick, my G? And now the Ginnitz pick, cycling through the cast. Ginnitz, a very, very strong character. Got buffed after his, init his initial release. Gave him some good damage. Updated some of his buttons. Standy, a very, very annoying tool to just use. And we see that he's opting for just a defensive style as a total, like looking at all his characters. I mean, we'll see how well that works out as we have characters that just really control the pace on the side of Sace, and we saw how well he did it all the way throughout. But now, Kitsune, taking a thought, making mm -hmm. sure we're locked and loaded, thinking, uh, figuring out the order. That's going to be a big part of it, because doesn't want mm -hmm. wants to leave Geese at the end, but now Yamazaki with really no bar. How can he inch his way to getting those sequences where Yamazaki gets the poison, gets the hard knockdown, gets that life lead momentum, but without resources? I, I like the idea. I mean, his 2C is very solid. He gets counter hit. He goes into up snake strike. Up snake strike in general is fast enough to catch some of Isla's jo uh, jumps where she wants to be. She wants to be in the air at all times. B snake strike is good just to kind of hold her down on the ground, but you always got to be looking out for that stand C. So it's just a matter of will he be able to outspace her, keep her at bay, or, you know, Amanda and Isla, pun intended, get her hands all over him. All right, here we go. Game number two now. Kitsune's tournament life is on the line here. One more loss will seal the deal and send him back into the stands. Oh, yeah. Man, you don't want that. Come all the way from France to go 0-2? Well, got to buy, at least. 1-2. and two. <laughs> Here we go. We take those. We take those. Absolutely. It looked good on the start, GG. Hey, the opponent didn't make it. So Were I'm they scared? Mom. Who knows? But I'm, hey, I'm telling my mom that, brother. I'm telling mom I got to buy. But here we go. We might see this go bye-bye. Okay. Another tick throw. Yeah, the respect there. Recognizing just going to down back, get those free grabs and the more pressures. Katsune is now just really hurting here. Ooh, punish. Oh, yeah. it's not fast enough. Definitely a little bit too slow. Okay, max range punish. Very, very good. Are we going to stomp, put her closer to the corner? No, goes for a setup instead. All right, like that frame kill. Gets the command grab. Big damage incoming here as Katsune now in full control. Safe, playing it patient. Gets the cross-up. Nice block. Yeah. yeah. That was a very, very decent block and a challenge. That's going to be it. That kicks the sand up and says, nah, get that out of here. Full control. We finally seeing uh, Yamazaki get the damage in and get things going. So that point swap looking good. How do you kick sand out of concrete, though? I'm, I'm a little confused there, brother. That was crazy. Where did that come from? He kicks really dang hard. <laughs> kicking very hard, huh? Tech throw. We need to see that more and often. But there's the EX fireball. She stays inching and inching closer and closer. Corners locked down. Like, Yamazaki, one of the rare characters that has a long range attack like that, that builds the bar even on with. Mm -hmm. But getting some meter here and there, the CD pops in the corner, and great guard pressure here from Safe. Needs one more hit. Take Yamazaki down. Okay. No challenge there. Let's see, Safe still uh, down a character. Definitely don't want to give up too much health here in this situation. Kitsune going to be a little bit more reserved right now. He's got two bars, run down that clock. So if Rio does win, he doesn't come back with as much health. Yeah, just Wade hasn't really done even any attack. Is just inching it away and let the clock run down. I mean, Safe wants to play it far away. That's fine. It works out in Kitsune's favor. Ooh, oh, Wade, the big boot to the chest. Gonna go level one. Get the stomps. Run that clock down and advantage. Kitsune kicks more sand. This is what I think of you, right? At the beach, just bullying Safe right now. Literally, man. Kicking your, kicking your sand castle, taking your lady. Just a brutal character, and right now looking to take Sace down. Okay. But Sace is gonna salvage that drop of health. The real is not long for this earth. Yeah, a lot of value could soon have got out of point character and a big swap. Another genus. Oh, you pronounce it genus? I do. Okay, no, that's cool. I thought it was Genitz. I thought it was go nuts. I think everyone has, I mean, everyone looks to go nuts. Yeah. And as KOF, they're fighting valiantly as Kitsune now in a huge lead, two characters up. Mm hmm. Definitely the, the the big thing for him. Hopefully he can close this one out before Shizuru gets started. I mean, has need to. Plenty of EX tornadoes already available. A big damage that can come if he plays those cards right. Gets out of the range of Shizuru, which is difficult. There you go. Makes the space. Ooh, Here we go. Okay. Yep. Coco Desca. Desca. You want some Coco? I want some Coco Desca. But like some, there it is. This is where Guinness shines at best, just being so annoying. Has a lot of options, evasive options as well, with a teleport that can get over stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just chilling. Has, you said he's playing defensive. Really run the clock. Ooh. Gets the juggle. There's the teleport. Snaps it up. Goes runs in. But nice safe, just rolling backwards, getting that space back. Very good. Yep, and right back to the zone. Let's say some X finds his way in. EX overhead. Yep. One up and throw. This is good. Guinness doesn't have the best reversal options. Try to get a Shatter Trek in there, but hit it before the armor activates. Nice hits his safe. Starting to run away with this. Doing what he has to to keep Chizuru in, uh, in control. Okay. 
Nice of and no finish off the two ways. We are guard canceling. Nobody wants to be in that corner, bro. Get me away. Mm -hmm. Trading places, swapping around. Nice tech throw, Kitsune. Oh, gets past the Kokodeska. No tornadoes here. Oh, he winds up jumping off of the teleport. And a quick confirm, Kitsune right back in the action. Just when you think he's keeping at bay, Edith teleport flying in from downtown, finds the quick arrival and a big jump in as Kitsune ties things up one to one. And now the next match decides who continues on in the loser's bracket in this top 24. Clutch, clutch stop. I mean, it's been crazy all day, guys. I know you guys at home are well fed with these matches. I was, I was telling our co-commentators earlier, I'm like, it, it's almost like a cheat code, right? That mm -hmm. we are able to watch this and witness this. Like, this is something you will not see every day. Just the best players. Oh, of course. Screw the world, the galaxy, bro. I'm sure if there's K1 players on Mars, these guys will cook them too. Hey, Super Galaxy Wrestling. Antonov knew what he was bringing to the table here as the best in all of space across the galaxy. Milky Way's finest. I can go for a Milky Way right now, actually. Absolutely. That might be nice. We should do that after. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll figure that out when we get there. Oh, Game yeah. three. These matches are keeping me well fed, so I am doing great. And now, here we go. Kitsune or Saints, who will move on? Let's run it. Big coach for both <laughs> point characters. Just realize that. Yeah. Everybody dressed for the occasion. That's right. Hey, this is the championships. You don't, you don't bring... You know, you're worse for wear. Hey, you gotta go out in style. Nice, nice. DP. That big challenge. So safe. Gonna be maybe a little oh, more aggressive. Oh, okay. A lot more aggressive. Okay. Reading your roles consistently. Good stuff. Gets the taco a little bit too high in the air, though, to follow up from it. All right. Nice crunch says he. But mm. safe in full control until one bad jump. So all it takes. One missed time hop or jump or anything. Takes them down. Hop CD. Such a good tool from Isla. Of course, you can say that about all of our options, right? <laughs> yeah, they all work out well. And right now, Kitsune just trying to build a little bit of bar, keep this space, but Seis now with full control, gets the punish on the rollback. Yeah, one too many rolls. Kitsune, uh, Seis and Mex, I should say, is definitely picking up on the bad roll habit from Kitsune. Yeah, I mean, and this aggression's coming out too. Like, okay, you want to play defensive, you want to hold back and sit back. Just going to run you down and make you either spend your bar on guard cancels or just make you guess for your life. And here we go again. Full steam ahead. Oh, good challenge right there. Going at that double hit in 2C. Goes for the reset, stays in front. Great block from Kasune. Not many players can do that. Double hop CD after the counter hit. Nice shatter strike off the wall. Got to make it count here. Yep, spin it. I agree. Goes right into the rumble. Ugh, rip that off. That's fake Balenciaga. That's not real. <laughs> rip that off right now. Dang. Jump it. That's it. Okay, Kitsune making the most out of it. Getting a lot of life back. Use a lot of resources, but now Sace going down to that second character. We saw how well Genitz handled the Rio earlier. Yeah, we can see if he can run it back here. Out of resources this time, but not out of options. As you can see, that tornado, just a massive, massive hitbox. Just like that jump B. Good Lord. Yeah. And like Rio not having like anti fireballs outside of the level two super can potentially blow up a Coco Desca. Nice. Gets the low level one. Catch out the damage. I do agree with this actually. Spending your resources as soon as you get it. Rio, do not keep him alive. Get him out of here as fast as you can. You're always one random jump in from an EX, to, uh, EX punches to win, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Look at this full control. Coco Desca again gets the knockdown. More pressure. Whoa, that could have been it right there. Block on a cross up, but a little too high. Gonna get the throw instead. Nice. Extends it here. How much are we gonna spend? Just the one bar. Okay. Yep. That's fair. Nice safe jump setup with the stand with the hop CD. He blocks. Oh. Nice. Close. It could have been huge. Kitsune still with the advantage here. Has one bar. Oh, trying to teleport out the corner, but Sace throwing out some hitboxes. Nichols and Dimes with the record. And to the super confirmed. Kitsune, one more round from advancing. All right, saves down to their Chizuru. All that stands in their way from being in the crowd versus staying up on this stage. As Chizuru back to put away the monster that has been causing so much trouble throughout KOF. That's one half bar already gone. There's three meters here on Saves. That's the biggest advantage they have right now. They got to make this quick. Definitely can do this really rel relatively fast, I should say. Goes for the cross up there. Good blocks again from Kitsune. You can see the Shizuru experience. I remember this character was giving a lot of people trouble, but you see her a lot more common these days, breaking the guard and breaking his chances to win in this. But let's see. Let's see, Raph. It's all down to Geese, but all this meter on Sace's side means one touch equals the lockdown equals huge potential damage. 
Big jump though! Kitsune full sending it with the jump D! Gets the knockdown! No, not gonna go for the pickup there, interesting enough. Not even the X keeps the bar. Yep, gonna save it, and that's fine. Always oh, got the max mode on deck for both characters there. Ooh, there, there it is! is. Should have had a V8 into max mode activation. Mm. Final Rapukin, OTG. No, oh. stay in the corner. Interesting enough, he built the bar in order to do the OTG, but I don't think he wanted to do it. Still, any one rec, any one hit into EX Palm will finish the job here. Sace oh. has to be careful, finds the hit, goes all the way in. Oh, all the way in as we're gonna SDM, lock you down. But again, Geese does not care. Can still use his meter for guard cancels just like that. Gets out of the corner. Go away here. 5C, just looking for a button. No, no maximum cancel from, from Sace. Pull back. Ooh. Oh, no, he committed. Thought he saw a jump. Thought he saw anything. Kitsune not flinching and closing it out at the very end. This man, Kitsune, has been holding back, defending the entire time. And there is no surprise that at the end, he kept that defense on lock. Sace went all in, threw it all on the line, and it did not work out. So unfortunately, eliminated here and now at the SWC World Championships. But big ups to Sace, playing with his heart all the way through. Valiant stuff. Hard indeed, man. His corazon. Always a big fan of Sace. Thank you for your performance. You know, enjoy the rest of the show. But Kitsune, man, that dude, he's on one right now. Definitely waking up, getting his second win, closing out. But my man, Kitsune, I'm going to need you to stop picking Maxima, all right? Stop picking Maxima, bro. Just going in with your other characters. But jokes aside, very, very strong players, both of them, and an exciting match as we're going to keep this tournament rolling on. Absolutely, it was just phenomenal back and forth there. And that's the, that's the nitty gritty where we are right now is we're just getting further and further into this loser side of the bracket where like the weight of everyone's choices is so heavy. Yes. With the, the amount of mistakes you can make and just the strength of all the players who've gotten this far, right? These, they've, they lost in the winner's side at some point. Mm -hmm. They at least won one match in some capacity for most of them, right? Yeah. yeah. So it just shows that you know, they can win. They feel it, right? They're not 0-2. They want to keep going on. Mm -hmm. So we'll see who can continue forward to these extra hard matches that are making it into the top 16. And we're lining up our next match. Yes, we are. We're going to be getting Moke going up against Pineapple. This is going to be another exciting matchup from the loser side. One of these players will be going home again. Very, very long trip out here. Uh, so if you go 0-2, going to gonna be a little sad, Raph. You know, of course, these players are all getting paid, which is great. But you want to be the king of fighters. Of course. You want to be the best. You want to be the world champion. That's right. And I mean, someone's dreams got to get crushed. Them's the breaks. That's it is. We have yep. win there's winners and losers here. Yep. A S and S and Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here the mighty rule. <laughs> Sick stuff. But right now we're going to say, oh, lower in the chair. He said, I need proper eye level. I need to see the top of this monitor. I need my eyes at the length where I can see the meter optimally. I like it. I want to see if he can go shorter, man. Lower, <laughs> lower. lower. I, I mean, want to he see can sit on the floor. He can sit on the floor. That's fine. <laughs> I just want to see the top of his glasses. Let me just, just give me forehead. <laughs> just give me forehead. That's all I want to see. No, this is a, a fun match. Like, yeah. um, pineapple winning good early on in their yeah. first round, making it to that next phase and doing a pretty good job of it. But then, like, Moke losing his round one match. Mm. Well, so, you know, would maybe be a pick that many people would not have expected. Yeah. To be this in the losers bracket that early off that first round, but won their first match in loser side. Going up against Pineapple here, trying to continue on that big, the hard journey of mm -hmm. coming down from that side. But, like, you know, Pineapple, big opportunity for a huge upset here. Going up against Moak, who, again, has to, can't make any mistakes, cannot take anyone lightly. Oh, the Shune players are eating themselves here. But, like you said, you know, it, it's interesting enough to call it an upset because... Pineapple is a very, very statuesque player. Like, he's been doing this for a while. Me and Aru talked earlier about his yeah. history in KOF 14 as his arena main. And, like, he's good. But Moke's KOF 15 season has just been that much stronger, right? Yeah. So, like, it can be viewed as that. So, and uh, I think the betting man, if I were a betting man, most people would say Moke. But absolutely, we could see Pineapple take this. Like I said, I mean, like I said, even if it's, like, a small upset, even if it's small, right? I mean, they're all work-half players. End of the day. Anything can happen. Yes. But it's just, you know, you look at fantasy brackets, you look how people, like, would write things up. Mm -hmm. You know, Mocha's up there, so we'll see if he can just keep that positive energy. I mean, he's been all smiles. He's having a good time. Everyone's just vibing. Yeah. I mean, look how comfy <laughs> Pineapple's looking right now. Yeah, definitely having a good time. Gonna do a little button check, guys. Bear with us, but thank you guys at home. Hope you've been enjoying the action thus far. It's been so much k today. I am, I'm just so happy, bro. I, this is one of those things where it's like, 
you know, you, it doesn't hit you till you're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I was thinking about it all week. I'm like, oh, I got to fly out this week and I got to fly out. The day of, I'm like, oh my God, I get to talk and be a nerd about all these guys being good KOF. I mean, uh, you could do that at home for free. Yeah. But now we're here on this wonderful balcony with all these amazing people out in the stands mm -hmm. having a wonderful time. And that's only here at the SWC World, SWC 2023, excuse me. For sure, yeah. We're in the year 2024, but half of these players qualify. Actually, oh, yeah, majority, yeah. majority of them qualify yeah. in 2023. That's why the slogan is there, guys. But yeah, I'm so excited for the future. This game, this recent patch they had, where honestly two patches ago, uh, even though we did get the dual on patch, we yeah. more so just focused on him and fixed some bugs. But this is definitely the most balanced version of the game. It is super exciting, super hyped hey. to play and watch. So, yeah. you know, I love I love to see that we're getting this like huge diversity of characters here yeah. in this SWC. Keeps evolving. Players evolve, the roster evolves, the games continue to evolve, and it's such a fun spot to be as we're going to have a, two great teams, Geese, Shunei Genitz on the one side, then Shunei Isla Kukri is Mokes. Anchor has always been the Sandman. Mr. Sandman. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. That's fine. We don't need, we don't need to get the MCA, so we're, we're fine. <laughs> that know. works out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tensions rise as we're loading into the match. Both players looking extra purple as they're about to get the face-off beginning. Geese versus Shune to start things off. I got to hand it to you. The yeah. handshake at the start, and Shune and Shune's wins out. He really did try to handshake him, too, with the palm. That's insane. <laughs> Good stuff. Gets the low confirm into the palms there. Talk to the hand, says Geese, because he's stuck in the 90s. All right. Early pressure here. Shune stuck in this corner. Not a lot of wiggle room, especially with no meter. Yeah, problem with Shunei, not really a character that has good, uh, like, just reversal options. Not until he gets, like, level one super, so he's got to hold all that palm pressure. Uh, and the chase now. Why are you rolling, son? Okay, Pineapple doesn't get the full combo, but still in a great spot here. Is now we're just going to block corner to corner until. Ooh, rare footage of Shunei's jump D actually crossing up. Finds a sweet spot with the wake up close C into the big boot. Just hop for D. What an angle and what a start for Pineapple. Yeah, starting off ready, man. He said pineapple does go on pizza, bro, and it goes over your body, Moke, as I'm cooking. Hey, he didn't say that. I said that, guys. You didn't but, say that. But he might have said that in his head. You never know. Well, I'll think, I'll think it. If he heard you, it's in his head now. But now, pineapple with a huge lead with the geese. I mean, we've seen the power of Isla. EX in the corner. Pushed far enough away. No problem, but that's bar spent. Mm-hmm. Jump D, locked down in the corner. Yeah, getting opened up by the stagger pressure. Mo looks like he's going for throw text, but Pineapple has not shown that he's going to do it yet. That's the scary part. Geese with the best light pressure in the game. All those standing lights, crouching lights, are special cancelable, so it just means so much. Great defense as Moke is having difficulty opening him up, but a throw's coming through, giving Moke the life lead, but has to finish this quick. That was a little cute little setup there. He did jump D real close to the ground, looked like he was going to go high and stay on the ground. That was a weird situation, but you know what? Moke's going to take full advantage of it. Right. Gets the hook to no can kick, finishes the job on the geese, but now the tall road continues as now the shoot A for Pineapple comes out. Oh my god, this is the dream SNK envision, right? The two mascots on the stage here at the World Championships. You love it. Yeah, throwing hands. Pressure here from Pineapple in full control. Oh, nobody home for that shatter strike. Wasting some barb. We got three bars though from Pineapple. Oh, there it is, he got it that time. Opens him up. Gotta make a count. Nice neutral jump. Bates out the button. Big damage from Mook, who was running away with it. Oh, give him the hands into the SDM. Gonna advance cancel that one. I like that move so much. Yeah, absolutely stellar. One too many neutral jumps in his face. Yeah. So catching that super, cashing out. Huge for Pineapple. Has plenty of time to build more bar. Yep, here comes Kukri. I'd say the premier character from Mulk, this is the character I would first recognize for him. Gotta watch the ankles though. Getting broken down like Allen Iverson. And yeah, the tough part. Oh, the air dash EX. Keeping the string up and Pineapple getting all this extra credit. Oh nice. my god! Watch your head, my dude. Take the hoodie off so you can see me. Right, one more mix. Anything from Pineapple can finish it. And just keeping full control. The run out with the card cancel, but the jump <laughs> CD kicked them apart. Pineapple takes a strong game one over Moke. Bro, that Shune went nuts, bro. Like he was calm and collected against Isla. Maybe he was a little coy, a little shy. Then he saw Kukri, he's like, I hate you, bro. Just started going in. Mix after mix, literally kept Moke on his toes. Just get, I mean, uh, Pineapple on his toes, opening him up constantly. And, um, 
Oh, no, I'm getting confused. Sorry, yeah, that was okay. Pineapple yeah. that won. It's because of the way the screen is. Yeah, but, but it's funny. Pineapple did win that, and he was reeling back in his chair as if he lost. Oh, he was big chilling. Yeah. He ain't real, and he's he's flexing. You think, he you is think, you just think he's like, cool? I'm, not, I'm nice. He's thinking like, I look at this man, how he came through with the, with the hoodie, right? Look how calm and how much he's flaunting, how chill he is. Mm. And he's carrying that through here as he's one game away from eliminating Moak and advancing further into this loser side. Looks like that can happen. Went back to character select. And we do have a switch into um, Uxional. No switch at all. Sorry, I'm getting confused. I'm sorry, guys. It's the layout. This is it's tripping me a little bit. I got to <laughs> figure it out. But we're going into game two regardless. Pineapple hot off the presses there. That was an incredible first game. Mulk really does not want to go down this way, so he's going to change things up if need be, but it might be too late. And already, yeah, seen the key starting out huge because he had an advantage of just having the better buttons. Those air normals really working so well, and there's the incremental damage, although Mulk finding some quick hits, getting some pressure here, but Pineapple back to this neutral where he feels really good. Nice trade. Look at the health already. Again, another trade working out in Geese's favor. He's with a little bit more life this time. Nice. Smoke with the pressure here, the CD, but the punish. You did not cancel, so now you hold this. Goes right in. Pineapple looking to wrap this up as quickly as he can. He's locking down Shune. There's that trip. Ooh, escape. Double roll just to make some room. Moke has a lot of work to do here. Still with the meter as a big possibility. Trying to open him up, but again, both these guys play Shune. It's going to be hard to open up another one. We do find it, though. Crack them open like a bottle. Let's see if he can keep the momentum going. Tries to go for the fake high into the low yet again. Pineapple had a scout it. There's the hand and the open up with the low. Yeah, very nice. Big sequence. Moak needed every little inch that they can take, and they found that road to get the Shune mirror match. And let's see what Pineapple can do here, as we hadn't seen the Genus before. So yeah. now let's see if Moak can bring out that last character. See, the Shune was indeed cooking. Guard cancels out. Oh, wow. Safe from the EX Blowing. Oh, no. Moved out of the corner with that uh, close heavy. And big damage from Moak is inching forward. Nice throw. Needs another throw. Yeah, Moak looking up right now. I like that blowing up the throw attempt again. You've been seeing that all week, and everybody's just knocking down, full jump in your face. That's right. Both, uh, every player just going on as much offense as they can, and Moak, no slouch here. His time is starting to go down. And there's a DP, done enough to finish the job with the chase down. The fist bump said, nice try, guy. Heavy fist bump indeed. We'll track you down. He's like, give me that fist bump, bro. Don't leave me hanging. Mm -hmm. All right. Pineapple cooking a little bit here. Let's see how he can do with the Isla now. That Moke is starting to, get, starting to get some momentum. Look at the, the respect between the both players. Nobody's fully committing up into that jump and the jump back C. Nice. Gets a two piece, but no biscuit. And the fadeaway. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, actually, no, fortunately, because Isla is throwing already, but Hafare does not special cancel. Oh, okay. Oh, gets the air dash, but Moke finds a grab. Another one getting kicked to the curb. Oh, okay. Nice EX overhead. That's where the DP doesn't spend the additional bar. All right, great layer. DP comes out. Big chance for Pineapple here, but Moke sitting pretty. If he can find his way out of the corner, one more solid hit. Bring out Ge Genitz and make it count. Looks like we might be getting there, Raph. Yup, with the instant overhead. That's the thing about Shune. You saw he got a few hits in those strings, but with Shune, you, it's like you're almost playing in the future mm -hmm. because the way all of his man, like maneuvers work, you have to be thinking three steps ahead. And sometimes your opponent, you're thinking they're gonna block the whole string and they don't, they get opened up, but you haven't planned for that so you don't hit them. All right. Yeah, all the layers on layers here. Now Pineapple down to that last character. is Moke trying to tie things up. One to one, but it's five bars. There's the EX Coke with Eska. Level two, and watch her health just disappear. Your health is gone with the win. Uh, snap your finger. And bow. What a religious man. What a religious guy. Just always, you know, letting you know who he believes in. And uh, right now, Pineapple trying to believe in his 2-0. Can it be done? Or will Mok, uh, Mok, excuse me, be able to make this comeback? We'll see, Mok threw away one bar at the end there. Still has four, and that's huge damage if he finds it. But oh, the teleport Whoa. getting stuck, and what a conversion as the sand pillar denies it. And he's doing the, 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 the motombo. Not today, not today, sir. Bowing out graciously. Kuki's not gonna let that happen. Sand versus uh, earth versus wind, if you want to be real. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the elements here. One bar, time to guess again. Oh, that was cute. And look at this pressure. That's forcing Pineapple to use some resources. Ooh. Needs to find a hit and find it fast. Teleport out, but teleport right back at you. Enter the Sandman oh. with the drop. 
That was actually insane right there. Look how far he is getting off that tornado. Just throwing it out in neutral, clipping him out of the air. And this is still a good situation for Pineapple. 50% done. Says in front. He's actually dead. Moke is eliminated. Pineapple will advance and move on to the next part of the bracket. Absolutely stellar performance. Laughing and smiling his way all the way into the next phase as Pineapple is just stalwart as ever. A, fa a fantastic finish. But please, you know, big ups to Moke. Biting his heart out in this loser's side and putting on a wonderful show with his amazing team all the way from Japan. All the way, man. Definitely one of the guys who's had a strong season. And like we talked about, again, it, it might have been an upset, right, in, in the visual of, like, you know, looking at... Uh, like looking at brackets, looking at like their seasons, but no, Pineapple can get it done. He showed you all day today. The guy is talented, always has been, always will be. Moke, thank you for playing as well. I know it's not the results you wanted, but you know, it's the world championships and, yep. and you gotta be you gotta be ready, you gotta be on point. That's right. That's always the hard part, right? Heartbreak is gonna be all the way throughout here as these players have just been putting it all on the line as they want a chance to make it to that big Sunday finish. Yeah. That's just gonna elude a handful of them, but you know, make sure you show them some love always as they have come out here and there's plenty of more KOF action. I mean, throughout, not just this weekend, but in the future. So, you know, look forward to them, you know, bouncing back. Like me. <laughs> well, don't, don't bounce back, Race Oh my so God, be yeah, no, we, so we gotta do this shit. We, no, no, no. no we're, we're more bouncing, guys. No more bouncing. But we will be bouncing into our next match, so that'll be the last bounce. But it's gonna be Inferno Kong and Juan KOF. Someone's run is ending. Another, another two players that I, I, in my heart of hearts, I wish they could both keep going. Uh, I wish that can happen. But this is not a competition where everyone wins. So, it is what it is. I mean, they're all winners in my heart. They got this far. They won big events to qualify. True. Fair enough. So in the end of the day, I mean, they're all amazing warriors, and it's just been a treat to really see them, you know, make their way through, especially like, you know, a player like Inferno Kong mm. from the UK with just a very unique team and just nothing short of just all of this um, energy and positivity, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. having fun with the game, doing their style and making it this far. And then Juan, just another just super solid player. Oh, having yeah. great results, good consistency, and just always a treat to watch. It's going to make this electrifying battle to see how well Huang can match up over the big bodies from Inferno Kong. I feel like in every matchup you watch Inferno Kong in, he, he has to always be the underdog. And not in his skill, but because of the characters he chooses, right? Sure. He's playing one of the most non-traditional teams in KOF. Uh, Antonov, uh, again, he's like the probably the only Antonov that's ever gotten a top eight ever, right? Uh, at a major event. Okay. Then you got Dinosaur and you got Rugal. Very strong characters in their own right, but not really as traditional. And you look at Juan, and Juan's like, yeah, bro, I'm here to win. I'm gonna go pick Rock. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick Geese. Yep. I'm gonna go slide Isla on the team. I'm, I'm here to win this, you know? And but not to say that Infernal Kong can't. Oh, of course. I mean, gotten to this point so far, had a big uh, win in the first round of Winter Side, and is continuing on their terror using his character that he likes to use. He's doing it his way. And that's always a big part of it, right? Because you fully believe in what you bring to the table, and it's gotten him this far and will continue to push him far, no matter the result. Easily, man. Character expression, doing it your way. Things we love to see when it comes to fighting games. And uh, you can see a player like Inferno Kong. I mean, it brought him to the dance. That's right. So it was the right choice, and I like to see it here. Oh, we're going to be swap uh, swapping in Rio this time. So no geese for now. Might bring him out if he needs him. I like the I like the idea with the Rio, right? You have a, big, a character that can really punish players from being over aggressive or trying to find something there. Yeah. And there's going to be a point against the Rugal. Rugal with so much good zoning tools, great fireball and great um, ability to kind of control, but Rio doesn't care about that. Rio can parry anything and everything and just really deny you that space control and that control that you may, may be trying to go for as you slowly get pushed to that corner. So we'll see how InfernoCon can navigate this point war and see if they can find any advantage to put things in their favor. Sure, for sure. Let's lock it in, folks. Here we go. Juan Kof contra Inferno Kong. Here we go. UK versus Mexico. Matchup you don't get to see too often, and it, we're in for a treat here in the loser side. Yeah, lots of first matches. I mean, that is the pleasure of being here, right? So many first-time matches in this tournament, even yesterday in the LCQ. Yeah. Players you would never, ever be able to get to see duke it out. But here we go. Oh, we're taking it to the stage. Home court advantage for Inferno Kong. Are you trying to get something moving here? How do we, how do we start at the round? Both players just trading a little bit of hits. There's the I-beams. My man said, hold these Roto I-drops, brother. 
But nice. Juan getting that pressure going in the okay. corner, but nice with the button press and just mashing out. Yeah, Perfectly good timed. And then the big boots with the jump CD. Yeah. Such a funny animation, uh, the jump CD from Rugal, but it's a great tool instead. Oh no, right over the fireball. One, one good jump CD deserves another, and Inferno Kong still stuck in this corner. Doesn't want to risk it with the cutter. Oh, I like the pressure right here. Mixing in the little parries there. Look at the guard. Bad roll, no punish. I think he thought he was in front, but was not. Did not cancel. Ha ha ha, the reflector comes out. Still a big lead for Juan, who just continues to apply it. Forces the bar out with the guard cancel. Okay, gets the low confirm. Not going to spend any extra meter, but that's okay. Tries to open up again. Oh, okay. the extra pookin. Keeping this not in space, but there's a parry and the punish. Not no quite. punish at all. Gave it to you on a silver platter. I guess you're not hungry. Never mind, I lied. I'm coming back for seconds. Nice. Cutter, anti air, ready to go. Infernal Kong finally catching out one huge jump as Juan gets a little too antsy. A little bit too anti indeed. Isla brings herself back in here so we can close this out as fast as we can. Tech on the throw. Ooh. And chase down, taking it to him, and that makes that a quick work of Rugal, but at least Inferno Kong managed to get that first character down when it looked a little rough, and enter the dinosaur. Well, that's an old-looking dinosaur, bro. You all brown and everything. Good lord. Hey, wait, wake up, Crouch C. Just snipe it up again, and then catch her landing. Nothing huge from it, but, you know, that damage adds up. For sure. Tries to go for the back A. Maybe scout out the air movement. Oh no, the walk of shame gets opened up by the 2C confirmed. And we're gonna cancel right into super. Alright. Nice cross up. Big damage incoming. The dinosaur extinct once again as Juan not giving any chance. And that's one way to deal with these big bodies. Yeah. Big meaty men make for big hurt boxes, unfortunately. But let's see if Ant uh, Antonov can reverse the hurt box, use his hitboxes to his advantage and uh, secure this win for Inferno Kong. I mean, it's all one touch here. Inferno Kong is just living with this character to find one big hit into huge damage to Antonov just as an anchor. So scary because one mistake means so much. Okay, moves forward, good pressure. Oh, okay, I like it. A little bit of a tick throw situation. Trying to bait out DP so much, but Wonkov's defense not giving it to him. Nice punish! That is so good. Recognize the timing. I wonder if we're gonna go into climax here. Nope. He's gonna go to Super. Oh, he's gonna spend it all. That's a dead Isla. Um, or not. Getting cute with the setup. And then the feint with the pound run up gets that slop and sends Isla packing. Holding onto that bar, Infernal Kong in a in decent position, but the four bar rock can be scary. That one power up into just more momentum. For sure. It's a command throw, yep. Always gotta be looking out for that. He has two versions. One is a hit attack, the other a command throw. Oh, the cross-up jump B1 KOF. Perfect spacing on that. I would dump it all, man. He's going to dump two. You know what? That's fair. Next okay. confirm means you win. Nice. Just jump crouch B. Try to beat out any kind of DP because Inferno Kong with two bars. One EX DP can be super scary and bring him back. Oh, we built the resources. Whoa, the, the seismic waves dissipated. Excuse me. I didn't think that was going to uh, drop. Okay, full sends it. Maximum is already activated. Gets the knockdown. We're blocking. Ooh, wait a minute. No, we're not. Oh, mate! This is a big combo. Not gonna hurt. Uh, not gonna kill, excuse me, but we do get the meaty. Throw, nice. Catching on the back tech. Oh, then, oh, oh my god. Oh. Where are you blocking, sir? You're not. You're dead. Yeah, those, nice setup from Juan. I mean, that's a huge answer. One thing against Antonov is just going for run up. Any crouch piece can really push your hurt box down, make those DPs whiff. Because the scariest thing you got to deal with with Antonov is that wake up EX. The, the vertical macho is one of the scariest tools, but you cannot use it liberally because characters can bait it out and make him hurt for it. Not that uh, Infernal Kong was really banking on it, but Say is just showing how much he understands and respects dealing against Antonov so he doesn't throw away by making one mistake. Yeah, for sure. You got to respect Wong KOF for having the character knowledge. Antonov, not a popular pick, but, you know, it looks like he did his homework. He was ready. But here we go right into the game two. We did see Inferno Kong looking a little nervous, you know, um, and it happens. He's on a big stage right now. First time in America as well. A lot to take in for the young man, uh, but, you know, I can definitely see him turning this around. All right, we'll see. We're in the corner, but the jump CD gets out of dodge. Hasn't found a full confirm yet, but there's the EX. There it is. I call that the B-boy stance right there, the way he posts up on him. Here we go. 
Nice. nice safe jump setup. And a really good turnaround for Inferno Kong here. Looks like he's found his confidence, Raph. Yeah, it all takes his momentum a little bit, goes a long way. And now Rugal sitting in his, on his throne, reigning supreme, supreme with those big boss powers. Nice snipe with the eye beams. 2020 vision. Yeah, he needs to see the future right now. Isla trying to get a hit in. Okay, right out of the range of the forward B. Let's get the second hit of it. Again, anti-air with the eye beams. Keeping full control. Oh, oh no, yeah. anti with the DB. Mark is gonna get a full combo here. This is good, pushing uh, Rugal straight to the corner as well. And neutral jump, just putting on that pressure, knowing that Rugal's tall, but there's the call it again. Oh no, that move only hits. Uh, on the ground from that angle, so gets opened up. Juan KOF taking advantage of Inferno Kong's mistakes for a second time. Yeah, two two small mistakes turned it all around, like you said. And now see if the Dino gets to play here. Had a rough go of it against Isla earlier on, and already there's the whip punish into a knockdown. Okay, all right, I definitely agree with that. Put her in the corner. This is good. Make it count. Make it count indeed, and he does. Gets the power driver. Set up time. Meaty stand CD. And it's using those normals super effectively. There's a crouch seed, a lot of recovery. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a really good option against her. Maybe in the corner it would be, but the back A, definitely the right option in this case. That close D into the, the, the bringing her down could have finished it off. A little more damage left from the table, and now Inferno Cog full control to tie things up one to one. Oh my god, look at this right here. Reminds me of Garo Mark of the Wolves. Both these characters are bad in that game. What are you talking about? King of Dinosaurs wasn't in there. Oh, you're right. My bad. As now Rock, he looks like the Tzoc guy, though. He looked familiar. I don't know. And Rock just going to town. Hard spot here for Infernal Kong. Needs to get some damage. Finds the counter hit into the corner. Ooh, you go with the big fight. The fake eat. Go to Mash and wake up. Trying to feast. Oh, I'm going to grab you, brother. Why are you standing there? Jurassic Park time. Another again. one. All right, what do you got? Go back in. Back in. Oh, that would have been. Back in would have Wait it out. Farsi. Just chopping away, trying to find a little something as now Juan starting to inch forward. Oh, finds oh. to confirm. Very, very good. Max mode should be enough. Oh, he getting every move in there. He said, yo, look at every single special I got, bro. Yep. And now it comes down back to the Antonov, who's coming through with two bars. Juan can't make a bad jump, one far D, and that's a wrap. You have to be extra careful how you approach this character. And there's the hit, and there, oh, oh. no, I didn't finish, but it's okay. Yeah. Hey, it's, yo, it's what was that? Yo, busting out the tech. Try to go for the throw a little too antsy. Walk off with the read. Right, gets out of there. Makes a hit, but has to respect the DP. There's the crossover. Nice guard cancel. And oh. the overhead. <laughs> tippy, tippy top of the alligator. Yo, the, the wing tip shoes. I can't even say what it is. Caught him with the tip of the, uh, the crouch D. That was very smart stuff right there. Great range. Great uh, presence of mind right there from Inferno Kong. Yeah, I mean, spooky stuff. That Having the range on that, like this this character, you gotta remember, Antonov only has a, a crouch B as like his real low. Yes. Like a stand A, stand B does pretty good on its own, but like crouch C is only an overhead. Mm -hmm. It is slow, it is funky, but it can do the job in those moments where you think you are far enough away that you're A-OK, -okay. but just like this, the magic that he did, seeing the uh, Kara cancel off of the EX punch, mm -hmm. which leads into the OTG kick off the ground. And that's just those small things that an Antonov player, an Antonov master, has understanding of and getting those timings down just beautifully. Legitimate chef's kiss, right? You could say that. Just knowing his yeah. character inside out, every option at his disposal, Ooh. where he's at on the screen. And we did see Juan Clough go to Duel on pick. I can't believe I'm saying this, Rap. If you told me that Duel on was going to be a problem character in the SK World Championships two weeks ago, I would have said, You're crazy. You know something I don't know. But clearly, here we are. Hey, I am crazy, but even I couldn't have predicted this as we have two amazing Duel ons. We just saw Paco on the winner's side, and now we're seeing Juan KOF bring it out in our third match here. It is elimination point. Who will move forward as it'll be Juan KOF from Mexico or UK's own Inferno Kong? Yeah, the only player from the UK, right, left in the bracket. Definitely wants to stay alive here. Uh, does Inferno Kong came a long way. Same with Juan Kof as well. Both won it. They fought very hard for this. I want to see who won it more. All right, we'll see. 
We'll see who's hungry. We'll see who's going in. The hands are moving. Inferno Kong is miles a minute. Yo, his and hand. let's go. <laughs> his hand's looking crazy. Let's do this. Mugal versus Dual Lawn. Oh, yeah. Dual Lawn, like an anti zoning zoner. All these tools to really punish you for trying to play this full screen game. And already under pressure here is Inferno Kong back into the corner, but the jump CD makes its mark. Definitely does. Goes for the cross up jump beat, and he finds it. A splendid jump in for the song Splendid Evil that you hear in the background right now. Great pressure. Nice. Eye beams. All the clarity. And Juan is just taking so much damage. Mm, yeah, this duel on might not have been uh, in the oven yet, but he did cook right now with that EX Genocide cut off. All right, there we go. There we go. Inferno Kong, full steam ahead. The character swap didn't work out. Threw away a slot almost immediately. And now back to the Isla, having to deal with almost a full life Rugal. Nice cutter, stopping the extra pressure and calling Quan out for trying to get overly aggressive. Okay, I like it. Stan CD, get the corner control. Gonna scale quite a bit. CDs scale a lot more in this recent patch, but damage is damage right now. And we need to get this first character out of here. All right, beats the feint. That was the, the fake cross up into the low. Nice throw. Big choke throw, and there's the jump. Nice. Level one to the wall. Yo, to the window, to the wall. <laughs> hey, the jump, see? The God Press. The God himself. Yo, his move is called God Press. What a God. Look at this lead Inferno Kong has. Juan trying to just inch their way forward and find some way to maneuver in. Gets a quick hit. Level one super. Mm, knock down again, spin kick. Tries to go for that setup again, but Inferno Kong is uh, he is in there right now as he gets the DP confirmed. Minos. And we are up two characters preserving the bar. Juan Clough down to his anchor. So far, looking like the dual on pick did not work out, and he might be out of momentum. We'll see here. I mean, in Pro Kong, any extra damage can be so huge with the one bar. Oh, there's the punish, but no cancel on the far C. Mm -mm -mm, no cancel at all. Goes for the status strike. There Good go. punish here. Yep. And this is fine. Get the kill. Nice. That's the start of Rock's big comeback. This, this character has seen so many huge battles throughout the course of KOF 15, but now the big purple dinosaur stands in his path again as Inferno Kong got rid of this character pretty handily in game number two. Nice with punish, here we go. Yeah, very good with punish there. Rock Howard, one of the blessed far C's in the game, despite the nerf still can get it done. That did 50% damage. Oh, big jump though. Inferno Kong finding some room. 2C, what are you jumping for? Nice challenge to save stuff. Infernal Kong inching their way in. There's the CD, but the trade, we're slapping each other around. Oh! Guard point from the throw. Just Jurassic just. Park time, time to guess. Okay. Oh, EX, big damage to this corner here. Get back in there. Back in the corner. Oh, he took the bait. Infernal Kong with the setup. One more situation here. Time to guess yet again. Gets a safe jump. Look at the string, and another with Punish. Juan KOF bringing it back down. It's Anchor versus Anchor, 1v1. Somebody's getting eliminated. Let's see who it is. Right. Antonov with the three bars. One mistake will end Juan KOF's SWC run here. Inferno Kong waiting. There's the slam, there's the hit. Cannot get touched, Ooh. and that's no. Oh, no. OK, it's fine, it, fine. Yeah, I think you definitely could have got OTG with the super there. Well, it's an input error, yeah. One more. Oh, oh jump in again. You are not gonna hug this man. Wankov's got the reactions on deck. Deja vu, spent everything that he has there, but the roll away. Here we go. There it is, Vertical Macho, and that's gonna be a wrap. Inferno Kong eliminates Juan KOF with the big DP. Can't even believe it, and said, <laughs> that's Antonov, baby. Yeah, look at him flexing the muscles. The UK god right here. Thank you so much, Inferno Kong, for your amazing play, but Wankov's tournament run is over. He will be joining all the other players who have been eliminated so far. And uh, man, what a run. What a tournament run by both these guys. Oh, absolutely. Just putting everything on the line, playing their hearts out as everyone else who's on this stage has really showcased just the strength of the worldwide warriors here for King of Fighters 15. And it's just been an absolutely stellar showing from everyone. Just seeing Inferno Kong really bring it out and really show up in this big event. And he's just having fun doing his thing. And it's just no big deal. You see him flexing, showing off, because like this is what he lives for. He loves to show you all the power of his characters and of himself. So I'm excited to see what more Inferno Kong can do in that loser side.
Sure, he's got a tall, uh, you know, tall order ahead of him as he will continue to go through this bracket. Um, but as we have all these other players here, I mean, we are still going on, folks. One of the greatest things about the World Championships is that every single match gets streamed. So nobody gets underrepresented. That's true. Everybody gets watched. You get to check hey. out all these players. So And that they have all these great videos to just come back to and relive. Mm -hmm. Like, if I get home, I'm just going to put this back up and just watch all these matches again and again because it's just a masterclass of mm -hmm. just KOF and it's been so much fun and I appreciate all of y'all who are watching here everyone hanging out with us on the stream wherever you're from I hope you're enjoying the show and thank you for being a part of this amazing weekend so celebrating KOF and SNK oh yeah but looks like we got another match coming up here it's gonna be the Peruvian team kill that's right the Geo going up against Toshi so I didn't get a chance to see uh, I went out to go eat earlier okay but uh, the Geo fought uh, uh, Shao Hai. Yeah. And I heard it was like, I heard it was this close, chat. I can't wait to watch the VOD. I heard it was that close. Like, literally anyone could have won that. So, hey. know, no surprise, though. Again, again, that's the level we're here at. And that's just the scary part. You never know what can happen. And we mm -hmm. saw, you know, Toshi play earlier, lost yes. to Sua in the, the first initial rounds, but mm -hmm. gets this one win to get to this point having the fight the person from their other person from their country who qualified yeah. which makes it difficult but it's going to make a treat because they both know each other they both have played each other yes so that player matchup is really going to be featured here and it's going to make it even more exciting for sure like i mentioned earlier uh toshi qualified because the geo won two qualified uh qualified events beating toshi in grand finals at one of them yeah so they're both here both representing their country two of the best to do it unfortunately Someone's got to get eliminated, Raph. Hey, that's the hard part. I mean, again, it's just a tough road, as we know. They all know what is at stake, especially yeah. here in the loser side. Any chances, any little things can slip away. So they're going to put it all on the line for you all. And I love it that, you know, we have the Geo, one of the few pad players. Yeah. You know, you, you see, like, you know, you see your lever list. You have your, your sticks and everything there. But now the, the Geo playing on pad, and that's no small feat. No, not with the at amount all. of actions you got to be doing in KOF, but hey, whatever's comfy, whatever works, get in this chair all situated. Wants to be able to play perfect because again, he plays with his hands, you know, more in his lap. Mm -hmm, Tries mm -hmm. to be as comfortable as possible. Don't want those. Don't want the the armrest getting in the way. For sure. And uh, like you're saying, you know, you can play any type of controller, guys. Like I know a lot of people think, you know, oh, hitbox is like the best right now because of the the, the, the advantages of like I guess execution. But no, I mean, listen, there's champions and and multiple games that use pads, sticks, you know. Uh, you might see some weird controllers, right? People bringing out like, uh, oh, that's what a Guitar Hero controller one time somebody was playing. I was hey, like, you're nuts. Whatever bro. works. Yeah, whatever what, works. It works for you. It <laughs> makes it count. So. Whatever works. We'll see. This will yeah. play out really, really well. We're getting everything just set up here. Yeah, for sure. Get the tension going. We want to characters select. Getting our squads all put together is Toshi with the unique team, the leading ladies. Got the Kula, Mai, and the Ooh. Athena. And now we're seeing what the Geo's considering on picking here. In this oh. matchup. Interesting, not picking the Yuri. Maybe say, oh, we're going Sylvie instead. Yuri might be saved in reserve. Maybe there's a matchup discrepancy here. I mean, the player matchup again. They know each other's tricks and they know what they're bringing here. Blue Mary Isla Sylvie. It's so it's ladies' night in this match here as the Geo versus Toshi to see who continues on and stays alive at the SNK World Championships. Let us go. Let's do it. A nice little thumbs up, a little bit of respect. Locked and loaded, Rome. Here we go. Let's do it. Peru versus Peru. Toshi versus the Geo. Yo, the Not Geo. Not just Geo. Yeah, the, the Geo. G you got to put the the, Exactly. Right? The. The it's, one and only. It's like not putting the hyphen between Spider-Man or putting the underscore between Rome himself, right? <laughs> got to get it in there. Can never neglect. Oh, man. So round start. Blue Mary versus Kula Diamond. Kula Diamond, yeah, making her way back to the stage. I think Toshi's the only Kula. Tamako does sub the character, mm -hmm. but good to see her back. It's been a while. She's missed a few patches. Yeah. There we go. Early start here. Toshi racking up a little bit of damage. Just trying to get that bar, and here we go. Ray spin. Back to the corner you go, and it's just been the Geo not being able to really get the play or find any hits. And she's getting open up consistently. Toshi's doing a really good job locking Geo down. Cutting off that side of the stage. Jump D. Wonky hitbox catches that. The DP is so minus. All the time in the world to confirm. Yeah, big damage here. Bringing the Geo right back in with the throw. It's going to work out. And now Toshi just needs to throw or a DP. Finish the job here for round yeah, one. Definitely one thing. There's the ice breath. Let's see if we can get a hit. That jump D, though, such a strong button. Good guard cancel blowback. 
Walking down, looking for a chip, perhaps. It's Toji. Oh, no, anti-air. That's huge. Mm. That refund made it all worthwhile because hitting Shatterstrike, you get half a bar refunded. Was able to use the EX to close it out with that huge anti-air. The Geo takes the lead. For sure. But well, we did see uh, this Athena from Toshi earlier do a phenomenal job in the matchup against Sua. Want to see this character come back? Yes, you are not jumping in on her. Shining Crystal bit for days. Yeah, absolutely stellar reaction. Catching out and evening things up really quickly as Toshi is staying in a good spot. Virtually even here. Full life on both sides and the meter is just like right there. Got that right. Like a ball. That was so smart. You definitely you can tell that was like a player versus player thing, right? Knowing uh, Toshi's jump patterns. He goes for the maximum, gets the relish in it though. Salvaging the last bit. Got to even got a close C on the walk back. Finds a hit. Doesn't have the meter to make it work much bigger, but it's such a huge lead as the Geo is just continuing to run away. Although there's a grab, oh. there's a cross up, make it count. Oh yeah, this hurts. Athena in the corner does so much damage. Look at that. That was literally a bar and a half, Raph. Dang, a good spot. Doesn't have the lead still though. And there's a big jump and the quick lows is going to finish it as the Geo is going to bring out the Mai as Toshi's down to her last character. My Shirai Nui. I'm seeing this character. Don't don't see her as often as I'd like to. Hey, but they're here on this stage though. Oh they're yeah. They're part of this finals, and really just trying to take control. As you know, Mai has great mm. projectile, some solid buttons to try to punish you from going in. But Isla's already in, and it's making it count. Time to guess yet again. Spray can on the floor. Watch your feet. Thanks. Top CD. And oh. the double jump again, catching out as Toshi's trying to punish the Geo from uh, hopping over the fan. Yeah, Geo's just doing a, a phenomenal job. This is going to wrap up this round here. And Geo taking the first game. Yes. But yeah, Geo's been doing such a phenomenal job at just knowing when Toshi wants to engage, wants to short hop or full jump in, using that extra air momentum she has by kicking off of Amanda to stay a little bit higher to get the hair to air situation. Yeah, everything there is just, again, playing it superbly, recognizing just the matchup and the situations and just keeping it at their advantage. The Geo on full is all, you know, all in. Yeah. Has just revved up his engines in his looking unstoppable beer as Toshi now has to really muster all her strength I'm to sorry, keep it I, in here. I had to laugh. My man is hydrating, bro. He is drinking that entire bottle of water. You got to play the game, dude. Put the cat back on it. Put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. Don't get put it on the floor. You might actually hit it, Get man. it out of the shot. Uh -huh. Oh, you get out of the shot? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. It's okay. He <laughs> doesn't know. All right. All right. Enough time to think and get ready for game number two here as the Geo with the lead and now Toshi. Tournament life on the line. In the life indeed. Toshi's reactions, look at that again. Yeah, you're not jumping. You can tell Toshi is just an O2 player with how fast they play. And another DP attempt. That's three in a row. And the fourth one, no good, but still finds the hit in the EX race spin. Oh, They're gonna yeah. get some great damage here in this corner. Solid damage. Very, very good. And we saw this kind of like last time, right? When Toshi started off very, very hot. Uh, the Geo just making those necessary comebacks. Stop jumping. Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Because one time it's going to work. And that's the time that matters most. But right now, Toshi's saying, nah, Ooh. what a trade. Definitely okay, not there. We get the 2D. Oh, my God. The ankle clip from that far. Bust out the taser. Get some good damage here. But it's still the lead for Toshi. They're trying to jump back. There's the punish. Big sweep. Oh, my God. Not again. Back. The command throw. I'm telling you, Raph. It's, oh, my. No, no, no. No slide is going to connect. Not the chip. Using the real counter to go through the ice fireball. And Geo with the comeback. All the way with just a barely little bit of life. What a tough spot. As Toshi's anti-air and control was so strong, but one chance let Gio bring it all the way back in. All done with Athena here, trying to get rid of Blue Mary as fast as possible. Nice cross up. Good block though from the Gio. Oh. And the magical arrow is yeah. not strong enough against the magical girl herself. Yeah, it doesn't have that big of a horizontal hitbox to go from that range. A character like Nakaru could clear that. Sure. Maybe Kyo, yeah. but not Mary. She's going straight up. All right, Isla's back in, and she was the star of the show in game number one. Easily. Okay. okay. This is good. Interesting combo here. Might scale quite a bit from the command throw, but that's okay. Damage is damage, like I like to say. Good stuff. Good spot here. Yeah, Toshi in the corner, though. Has to be careful. Has a meter to get out of it, but a big hit is the Geo's going to cash out, and this is going to be a good uh, momentum starter. Good block. What was that laugh? I've never heard that <laughs> so clear, bro. <laughs> She's just having a good time. Yeah, she loves it. I'm, if I'm top one, I'm having a good time too, right? All right, nice jump CD. The cross up too, but the Geo's defense 
on display here. Finds the run under, activates that quick max, and now level one extra credit available. Yeah, not gonna be dead, but another guess will do it here. Goes right for the spray can for the chip. The run up 5B, just a great option covering that air to ground. She just fell on her foot, and that was enough. And now it's just the Mai by herself to keep Toshi alive. This is the Geo. Isla and Sylvie are standing in Toshi's way to keep her SNK World Championship dreams alive. Gets Ooh. a quick hit, doesn't capitalize on it, but at least doesn't want to spend too much. Maybe he can find one thing and get rid of Isla fast. Oh yeah, Mai's got some great one bar damage. We literally just need to find the open. DP's through the pressure, through the fire and flames, literally. Big DP, double cross up, no full combo. Looking a little harder for Toshi, gotta get this quick hit and get him the flight back, but oh, the trade, not a good spot. I do like Toshi, okay, we are gonna land with the hop CD. I was gonna say, I do like Toshi going for trades though, yeah. because it forces the character out fast. You do that enough times, you're gonna recover that health coming into this next round. Yeah, looking really good here. Up against the Sylvie, finally, Sylvie Paula Paul is out and about. A tricky matchup between two really interesting characters. Nice guard cancel in the corner. Finds the jump Ooh. C and Matt. Big damage incoming. Massive, massive, massive. 12 hits. One more of those and that'll do it. It would definitely be it. Good blocks. No, not going to check the plus frames. It's the missile. Oh, too far. Oh my god, that could have been a max mode. Gary Stuff has a chance here, but there's the jump C. And that's going to do it as the Geo takes it over Toshi with Big cross-ups, and Sylvie Paula Paula sends it home, and unfortunately sends Toshi home, as she has now been eliminated here at the SWC. But she played extremely well, and she put it all on the line. Wonderful stuff here. Thank you, Toshi, for really showing the strength of Peru, just like the Geo. Oh, for sure. Geo definitely, definitely no Geo didn't want to do that as the crowd is giving them respect, showing it. The two uh, fellow players from the same country, they're training partners, if you will. Unfortunately, that's how the brackets line up. Somebody had to go home. Yeah. Uh, Geo's going to continue, uh, going to continue in this bracket. Toshi is eliminated. But guys, we want to talk to y'all about something real quick. You know, y'all been watching this KOF 15 action. But how about y'all play this KOF 15? We got a big sale right now on the game. That's KOF 13. Oh my God, I was ready for that one. But we're gonna kick it over to you guys real quick. KOF 13 global match. I mean, I've been playing this game. Me and Rasp been, been doing some commentary elsewhere for it. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's KOF 13, baby. This is the game yep. that got us in. That's big, a huge KOF game. Super fun with rollback netcode available on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. So check it out if you love just great KOF action with beautiful hand-drawn sprites and so much fun to be had there. All right. Beautiful sprites, beautiful characters, all that. And beautiful commentators here, as we just had another great run of losers matches, but there's still much more to happen here at the SWC. But for now, myself and Rome are gonna take off, but don't go anywhere. More matches on the way as we continue on to see who will be crowned the King of Fighters. All right, guys, we are back with more KOF 15 action here at SWC 2023 Grand Finals, and it's the final four matches going in the top 16. I'm excited, Aru. It has been completely bananas it the has. entire evening. It really has. I mean, I've been watching some of my favorites, you know, take their take their ugly L's, and uh, it feels bro. really bad. It feels really bad, <laughs> yeah, bro, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're getting to that point in the tournament where, like, all of our favorites are, you know, having to fight for their lives, right? So, you know, you, we saw uh, Mad KOF go down in a very spectacular fashion to uh, Paco's duel on, which is something that I've been nervous about since I saw him running sessions with Sason Mex in the hotel lobby. I'm like, you know what? I don't think anyone's ready for this duel on for the rest of the week, and he might end up getting in the grand finals picture. But who knows, right? It's that kind of tournament. Yeah, the way the way Paco's been playing, it's truly been exceptional. And uh, yeah, I mean, Mad KOF as well. It's uh, Man, as a as a fellow Korean, you know, I gotta <laughs> yeah, say, hey, I man. gotta say, I hey, feel brother. I felt a little I felt a little twinge of something like, watching uh -oh, him lose, you know. My so. country man. Yeah, right, <laughs> let me, right, right. Let me console you. Yeah, I know. All the, everybody up front was uh, you know cheering their heads off, you know, while uh, Paco was winning. But me, I was kind of in the back crying, you know. Oh so. uh, yeah, well Spencer's showing us this lovely graphic that is showing off the rest of top 32. We are moving on to the top 16 tomorrow morning, but we still got four more matches you see right there. Mm -hmm. We've got. I believe that's Mad KOF versus ZJZ. We've got Koopa versus Violent K. We got ET versus El Rosa and Sua versus Dai. That's right. And Sua versus Dai is actually the match that we have queued up for you guys right now. Both players are seated. They're getting everything set up at the moment. And uh, if you guys missed it, I mean, Sua had, uh, man, that oh, was that another. That was a barn burn by, by heartbreaker, definition. Man, heartbreaking loss. 
Uh, you know, I, I, I'm aware Sue has many fans, and I'm one of them, of course. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm one of many, huh? <laughs> one of many. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I would like to see how this goes. Dai, of course, uh, trying to make a name for himself out here, and so far he's been doing pretty good, man, pretty good. Uh, I actually, um, I don't remember. I, I think I did commentate one of his matches earlier. That's right, I did. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the guy, he's got some stuff. He's got a lot to prove at the moment, and uh, it is going to be a very tall mountain to climb, I think, because Sua has been playing exceptionally uh, this weekend. Well, the best thing, the best news for Dai and Sua is that their evening ends after this match, That's so right. they don't have to look at ZJZ or ET in the face after this later mm -hmm. on, you know, unless they want to. All right, looks like the players are getting into it. All right, Sue, of course, on player one side, uh, rocking her usual team of the Orochi characters. Dai playing Rock, Blue Mary, and Yori Yagami. I'm liking the Blue Mary representation this weekend. You know, uh -huh. I mean, can, I've been singing the praises that she's been a problem since uh, version 1.0. Obviously, there were stronger characters, but I knew that eventually she would just kind of find herself back in the discussion for top tier or just competitive queen, basically. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's a character. Uh, Roman and I we were discussing this earlier, how she's basically never been bad in this game. Never. Yeah. Uh, one of those biggest strengths she has is very unique to her where her hurt box just shrinks it's as soon as she goes tiny, airborne. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chris kind of has the same thing going for him, and his hurt, his jump CD shrinks it even further. That's right. And I guarantee you, Sua loves that about him. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Sneaks in the down B. You're going to see that a lot from Sua. Very, very adept at using those down Bs and canceling. Nice DP. And she's been doing it from max range. That is scary. Exactly, it's actually yeah. pretty far. Dude, she's, she's such a master space. Look at that. Using the down B to low profile gets a full combo. It's automatic for her, and mm -hmm. that's what puts you in the, uh, the grand finals picture. You know, you got to be able to be automatic with your game plan. Sue has been the most automatic player I've seen uh, so far. I think she's been completely dedicated to what she's trying to do in the moment. That's right. Nice. Che another check with the down B, and Sua looking pretty dominant with the Chris. It looked like Dai really couldn't get in, get, couldn't get anything started, and it was Sua dictating the pace the entire time. Yeah, Dai right now kind of on his heels. Got the Blue Mary coming in one and a half bar. Whoa, wow. what a challenge. Okay. See, he knows, like, all right, I can't let you zoom in on me like exactly, that. If I yeah. let you do that, you're never going to respect me. Oh, man. I, I feel like he was a little too high to get a combo. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Managed to catch Sua doing something there. Can't believe that was a close C. That was so far away. I, I, I'm, tell me about it, bro. Ooh, okay, good response. Nice, nice. Okay, okay, nice response from Dai. You know, taking that next character immediately, and he's going to get basically full life. Actually, yeah, it, it, literally full life on that Blue Mary back. Yeah, they're running high octane right now. Mm -hmm. Put to the gas pedal, no brakes. And here comes Orochi Yashiro with three bars. Uh -huh. Let it rip, baby. Oh, my goodness. All right, and everybody knows by now you get a setup after this, the 50-50 left, right. You can cover the roll option as well if you're, if you're sharp, and Sua is nothing but sharp. Or you can just empty jump grab again. That is true, yeah. Yuck. Very dangerous situation, but Dai actually fought out of it very effectively, and oh, oh my goodness, no. got a little too crazy there, expecting, I don't know, maybe a button of some sort from Sua, and Sua did not bite. I mean, maybe, like, uh, Dai's observed her being a little bit wild, likes to take to the sky a little bit, but just that one time Sua did not take the, wow, okay, I like the response there, not a lot of damage there, but at least you maintain the momentum. That's right. But is momentum going to be enough? Okay, has another chance here. Yo! Wow, okay. He wasn't ready, but hey, what a gamble, right? Nah, not that one. Got a though. little too crazy there. Not that one, brother. All right, Diori coming in with one and a half bars. It seems like Dai has been perpetually working with one and a half bars per character, and it hasn't really made a difference uh, in terms of how his offense is performing. It's either performing really well or he's getting steamrolled. Yeah, yeah, he's really kind of like a hot and cold uh, player, it seems like. Oh, oh nice. My God. That looking like KOF 14 exactly, there. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm actually happy that there's a Iori that's willing to do that because, yeah, sure, it costs two bars, yeah. and you're not going to get 14 damage off it, but God dang it, man, it's far D. It is. You got to represent it every once in a while. You got to let, let them know you'll do that. Exactly. I guarantee you, Shao High's thinking the same thing. Uh -oh. oh, baby, you got to calm down. Yeah, I mean, he thought he had an anti-air there, but a little bit too far, I believe. And now Sua going to cash out, yeah. uh, going to spend it all, I suppose. Yep. She did the level two, so there's only one way to go. And it's not going to kill, but uh, that's one touch territory, possibly. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe two. Oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. One, right. one there, clean yeah. hit will do it. Nice. Mm, and throw one, one more throw. throw. Yeah. Oh, that she was stopped a, blocking there. That was a very brave match. No meter for EX there. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Another chance. Disengaging to neutral. 
All right. Offensive guard cancel. Oh, and the down C response from Sua. Tremendous. Very, very nice. Keeping calm. She knew eventually, you know what, this guy's a Yori. He's going to hop CD. Mm -hmm. You know, why wouldn't he, right? I mean, that's the party starter, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Every Yori I've seen since the beginning of time, hop CD, her box disappears, counter hit happens, you got the world in your hand, in the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, looks like they're both uh, just going right back into it. Yeah, I think they probably didn't see a lot of things that they didn't like in that last uh, exchange, and maybe Dias thinking like, you know what, if I had just made one little tweak in the secondary battle, I think that goes my way. Really, so, all, it, all it takes, sorry to cut you off, but I feel like um, I think he was just doing a little too much like oh, the DP. Yeah, or right? maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, that didn't feel like he was actually playing the game. He was more or less trying to see if Sue was a, as a wild one. Right, right. He was, he was playing a different game. He was playing, uh, he was rolling the dice. Sometimes you got to do that. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Listen to us. <laughs> I mean, oh. if it works, we don't know what we're talking about, Exactly, right? exactly. No, the man's a genius. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, okay. Lucky break there for Sue getting to throw her uh, out of the corner. Oh, man, over that little OB. Got to be careful. Chris, one of the best characters at anti-airing with the little B. Mm -hmm. And jump arcs are so big in this game, like, it's really hard to gauge when you're going to land. Absolutely, yeah, and every character is a little bit different, too, so just another yeah, thing to keep in mind. Yeah, the arcs are all different. That's right. Doesn't hurt that when your opponent is, like, tiny as heck like that. Uh-huh. Nice. Caught him standing up in the middle of the string. Not enough to kill him. There it is. Nice. Again, catching him standing, I believe, uh, scared of a throw. I mean, she did get him once with the delay uh, wake up and then threw him on his own wake up. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe he's afraid. That, that is embarrassing, too. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But sometimes you just, you just gotta let it happen. Uh oh. That close C whiff, but he did not have a button ready for it. Nice down C. Dai has been really good using the Blue Mary down C to kind of get himself out of trouble. It's a very, wow, wow, the meaty. Very nice. Catching Sua on the other side. Dai now evening it up very quickly with this Blue Mary of his. Yeah, I, I think the Blue Mary secondary is where Dai is going to live and die on. You know, That's he's right. going to get two characters or one and a half characters, and he's going to feel way better going into the anchor battle with Yori, maybe with two bars. Nice anti-air there. Dai looking ready, looking sharp. Oh, got to uh -oh. be careful there. Yeah. Sula showing, you know what, I've got great reactions as well. Absolutely. And now, yet again, we're seeing the, sa the same situation. Orochi Yashiro, 50-50, stays wow. in front. That was so dirty, bro. He's got one more chance to live through this match. Otherwise, uh, a full health Orochi Yashiro versus... Oh, my goodness. Sua Our... said, you're going to hit me with the advanced strike? Uh... Not on my watch. I got you. Just watch. Cold-blooded. Now, Sua, like you said, a full health Orochi Yashiro against yeah. Dai's final hope in his tournament run. Demoralizing, man. It kind of is. Especially, <laughs> I mean, Orochi Yashiro, this character snowballs so hard, bro. Like, if it had been, like, Shermie with full health and secondary, I wouldn't be that feel too bad, because I know that she has to uh, cool her jets about certain things. She's make, there's some looks that she's looking for. Yeah. Orochi Yashiro, he's forcing the looks. He's making things happen. Exactly. And he doesn't care what happens to him as long as he gets that grab. And he is getting them right now, bro. Look at this, another super. That's one of the strengths of this character. He does not need a lot of meter to be a very threatening presence. Not at all. Oh, man, that ship death, you're out of here, sir. Wow, blistering performance from Sua. Turning up the aggression. <laughs> and she she loves the camera, the camera loves her. Absolutely. I, no wonder so many people all around the world enjoy watching this young lady play. <laughs> the queen for a reason, bro. Mm -hmm. With the skills to back it up. Yeah, very entertaining streamer is uh, Sua as well. Yeah, you know, you see a lot of uh, KOF community members constantly retweeting her clips on uh, on social media, mm -hmm. and each one of them get, like, crazy interactions. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. and I mean, that's more than most KOF players get in, like, a month, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I drop a Shune clip and nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you don't you don't got the charisma. I, you know what, it's true. <laughs> I, I ain't built like that, so. Yeah, yeah. Hats off to Sua. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so uh, up next we see uh, we've got ET coming up to play against El Rosa. El Rosa, man, El Rosa still in the building, surviving with the King of Dinosaurs intact. You know, sometimes we've seen El Rosa uh, make a business decision when it comes to King of Dinosaurs. Yes. You know, maybe like I don't want him uh, holding me down for the time being, so he might switch to a stronger character. Yeah, maybe At least a Clark, his mind. maybe a Shermie, exactly. you know, something like that. 
but he's been consistent today. Yeah, he he's has. been holding on to the King of Dinosaurs, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is his his event. Maybe this King of Dinosaurs carries him all the way to the promised land. It's possible, yeah. This has kind of been a surprising event in that we're seeing a lot of, like, uh, you know, quote, off-meta characters yeah. doing doing pretty well, you know? I mean, uh, we're seeing a couple of KOD representatives. KOD. Fox, Fox uh, representing, like, Maxima and stuff. Like, what yeah, in the world? Yeah, absolutely, man. It's been really fun to watch, and especially at this echelon of play. Exactly. Uh, it's, once again, cementing that the meta right now is kind of in a healthy place, right? It is. Because a year ago, we were not seeing these characters <laughs> in this scenario. Hey, don't remind people, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I just, I had to be real about it, right? <laughs> You're giving them PTSD. How, how many times do we have to talk about this on stream somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I kind of miss those days as a Cronin player myself. Yo, hey, you, you can know? still play them, man. No, I'll, I can't. What are you what, talking just, about, bro? Just got to work a little bit harder. Hold the corner, okay? What are you talking so you, about? So you need to hold somebody in the corner. I am get so damaged, sick okay? of you, Hellfire. I'm, I'm just I'm telling so you. sick of you. Yeah, there, I'm so there, sick of all of you in, in the chat telling me the same thing. There are things that you have to do to win the game sometimes, right? And you definitely can't talk to me about being patient because I'm a Joe player. We've earned our spot in history. All right, whatever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say. All right, the players, it looks like they've sat down. They're getting set up still. But, I mean, uh, both these players, who, uh, do you remember actually who beat ET to put him into losers? I actually do not. Uh, there's been so many matches going on yeah, today. and It's I've all been, been a blur. You know, and one, one of the uh, the big things that I'm enjoying about this event is that there's so many people here that are just here for KOF because obviously we're only here for KOF. There's a lot of people to talk to right now, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of interviews going on. A lot That's of people right. are asking questions, and I have to answer them to the best of my ability. It's so. been a very crazy weekend already. Uh, dude, and we still got one more day. Think, like, seriously. <laughs> and tomorrow's going to be even crazier if you think about it. The stakes are even higher. Oh, my you God. Know, more, more people are, you know, eliminated, so more people in the crowd watching, making noise, all that stuff. You well, know? the crowd's been great. Man, oh, the crowd's yeah. been absolutely going bonkers uh, the entire day. So hats off to the crowd for sure. Yeah. All right. So it looks like both the players are uh, selecting their characters now. So I wonder which iteration of El Rosa's team he's going to go with. Looks like he's going with the uh, the Sylvie version. Okay. The, the Sylvie has been consistent yes. on his team as of recent. Uh, I've been I've been playing him on ranked and on uh, casual matches and. You know, when it's not the Hinako, it's the Sylvie, and the mm. Sylvie been a problem. So. Yeah, no, Sylvie, of course, one of those problematic characters. We just saw Geo up here uh, before the break, uh, putting in, you know, mad work with the character, as you might expect. It's a jump C, man. Like, that oh, thing starts man. out on one side, ends up on the other. You're I'll like, you know what? She it. can have it, all right? Sure, I mean, she, she deserves it, yeah, I guess. I, I, she had a pretty rough K with 14. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, players have chosen the stage. Getting into it, this is loser side action. The loser of this it's has to go to home. Just shy of that coveted that, that, top, that top 16, 16 position. The Sunday spot, brother. That's right. And what an upset it would be for uh, you ET know, to you go know, down. Yeah, I mean, you're real. You're real talking right yeah, now. Yeah, no, seriously. I mean, like, I, I think El Rosa would also um, agree. Uh, that I, I love the guy to bits, but ET is one of the favorites coming into the tournament, right? I mean, he is Evo champion for a reason. Yep, yep. Round one. Ready? Go. Wow. Down C trading. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, ET running with the point geese. Which is this is probably the most straightforward top tier team we've ever seen uh, uh, ET play. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, let me let me just pick the strong stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, he kind of did that in a, a previous year as well for 15. But we know him more as like, you know what? I've got a Clark, I make that character yeah, work. Exactly. I've got a Diamond, I make that character work. But in 15, especially now, he's like, yo, Geese is good. I'm picking him up. I mean, like, while we were talking about that, he basically just played textbook, you know, Geese, KOF, uh, and Al Rosa. It was just like it was hard for him to get anything started because those buttons, they were just placed perfectly. All over the place, man. And, you know, King of Dinosaurs got some great buttons as well. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? This man's IQ is gigantic. That's something, you know, he's seen before. He's like, you know, you're probably going to guard point me here, but I got two bars, so I don't got to take that. Nice. Kind of a spacing trap using the... Oh, no. That is probably not what he wanted. Yeah, I got, El Rosa's got to get right right now. Okay, okay. okay. Nice, nice. Mm, I like the, the attempt. That, wow. Oh, oh, no. A little too far. Didn't get the run. And he's going to lose all that max mode, That's too. so unfortunate. And you see ET also not throwing fireballs after the first one. Aware of the danger of the EX, uh, you know, dinosaur jump. Up two characters, too, right now. I got to say, ET kind of playing like he upset about something. I mean, the man's in losers bracket. Hey, that's definitely a good reason <laughs> to be upset. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay, the frame trap. Oh, no. El Rosa, I think we're seeing a little bit of nerves coming from him. Yeah, I'm not sure that was supposed to work in the first place. I think he was just auto that, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I, what? 
So I saw M Dash do that a couple of times mm. earlier, but I think he was doing it by accident. Obviously, ET with a a little bit of razzle dazzle behind that uh, air command counter. Absolutely, yeah. And now it's looking like a very dangerous situation for El Rosa. I mean, we've got very little life left. A little less than 300. Okay, finds the hit. Oh my goodness. The spacing, okay. Found a hit, but nothing. Look how surgical EZ is, man. My what goodness. That? Everything with a purpose. Exactly. I mean, I, the, that entire like final five, 10 seconds of that round, it was literally just ET picking the perfect spot to stand. El Rosa kind of like, kind of flailing almost and just playing right into El ET's hands. Yeah, uh, that, that's never where you want to, that's never where you want to be. Um, and I know that El Rosa sometimes enjoys the scramble because if he gets that one hit where everything starts clicking, yeah. uh, the opponent usually has a hard time recovering from that. Yeah. But uh, ET just never let it get to that level. Exactly. Clearly. No, I mean, it, it felt like he was just in, in total control of the situation at all times. Um, but like you said, I mean, uh, the guy, uh, El Rosa, he, he, he lives for the scramble. If he's able to, to create those situations, um, he, even the best players have to guess, yeah. right? And the funny thing is, E.T. kind of known for a scramble uh, or two himself. That's true. And That's true. Um, I'm not saying he purposely, oh, boy. Okay, the Ramon. So this is a character We're that... We're seeing every character in this SWC, bro. I'm telling you, man, like, this is definitely going to go down in history as the most diverse KOF 15 uh, top 32 in history. Yeah, seriously. I mean, if you, if you count the LCQ, we also saw, like, the Billy Kane from Peter Earn. It was oh, like, yeah, we're seeing dude. a lot of representation of all these characters in the game. I guess he's just wondering, like, hey, do you got any data on the uh, Ramon, you know? And, I mean, it's it's E.T., so probably, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this guy plays everybody. Yeah, I mean, these guys, they, they're always, like, random selecting, playing, like, long sets yeah, with each other. Man. It's crazy, bro. But then they play the character like they've been playing them for, like, 15 years. Mm, that's it's true. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, I see no drop-off and when him and Shao Hai do it. Exactly, yeah. It, it's like, um, it's different out there, it's, bro. It's, it, I, different. That's, they play a lot of KOL. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I put the Sylvie up front. I like that. I like it. All right, right now, uh, El Rosa learning that the Geese does not have to take that setup. Yeah, I mean, the fireball game, um, it's not going to get you very far, I feel like, against the Geese. Ooh, okay. What a catch. Nice, yeah. Oh, no, gets thrown out of his own offense. Too close. Nice check. Very nice, very nice. All right, has an opportunity here to make something happen. El Rosa taking full advantage. Nice DP through the trick yet again, and nice punishes the whiffed uh, Rekka series. So more importantly than that, he was like, dude, you're leaving me too many gaps. Mm -hmm. And I know where those gaps are, and I know most geeses like to just commit to that like it's a true string. So that's free DPs all day. Yeah, he said, let me just wiggle the stick back and forth a couple exactly, times. Exactly, right? <laughs> maybe one of them was an accident. like, oh. Uh oh. Okay, but no punish. Got, oh my goodness, wait, maybe. What baby. is happening? Yeah, going to that well a little bit too frequently now at this point. Yeah, you're about to eat a lot of damage over that, too, and hopefully you're not going to get tilted that you throw so many DPs out. But El Rosa, a professional player, definitely can recover from a bad, bad situation as well as anybody else. Absolutely. Has an opportunity here, made it some breathing room for himself. ET just trying to whittle this character down without taking too much damage himself. Mm -hmm. Nice defense so far, but that guard there game, it there is, it yeah. goes, yeah. He knew that El Rosa was not going to try to spend meter there, so he's like, let's go for the guard break. Yeah, honestly, I think it was really wise not to spend bar on, like, a guard cancel, because, like, any errant poke would have killed him in that exactly. situation. Oh, wow! Nice! We're but seeing the, the online Sonic, gimmick! The Sonic Pack is special, bro! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, oh, beats the, the close C. What you know about this Ramon, ET? Uh-oh. Got and him! catches the roll! Hello? Where are you going, baby? Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Okay, got a little like, bit too crazy. He said, get me out of here! <laughs> oh, no, wow. That was a very dangerous roll, but again, escapes. That's a good jump, CD. He knows that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that trade. He, he knows, knew. like, if you stick something out, we trading, baby. That was beautifully done. The crowd coming alive for El Rosa right now. All right, now we're seeing that Hydra on anchor four bars, but man, you gotta trade buttons with this Ramon, who some of, some of those buttons ain't bad. He's probably got one of the best far, uh, stand A's in the game. Yeah, definitely some of the best uh, A's in the game. His stance or jump CD isn't too bad either. Yeah, as we see, it trades with. Whoa! Interesting. I interesting. don't know about that. Oh, that might be a wrap. That's a lot of guap. It sure is, man. I don't think he's gonna spend it all. We shall see. You know, opt to save it. Okay, nice challenge. Okay, hasn't burned the EX flash kick at least, but still, El Rosa did pretty good with the surprise Ramon pick. You know, Ramon did his job, like you said, and we got this, the Orochi Yashiro coming in with darn near two bars. Yeah, I mean, that is more than enough. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
This is how, this is how it starts, bro. And like, El Rose is gonna say, you wanna get weird, we can get weird. Mm -hmm. Has to time the safe jump properly. Whoa. Oh, mistimes it, unfortunately. That does get rough sometimes. No, oh, he no. didn't even do the EX version. Okay. Ooh, he didn't know he had that. Didn't think he was gonna hit. All right, ET said, I wanna set this down now. We do not wanna go oh. to a game three. I've got one extra bar. Here comes the climax. Okay, no, goes for this. Two. Okay. What's up he, next? He gets a better setup after this. I ah, think that's one. Ah, gotcha. All right, goes for the 50-50 now. Hey! Oh, and e, er, El Rosa failing to block properly. ET moving on 2-0. But man, El Rosa kept it very close at the end there. Yeah, man, like one touch really spelled doom from El Rosa and then ends up in the 50-50. Like, that's not how you want to end the, uh, the evening mm -hmm. after El Rosa, so. Yeah, yeah, no, that was really, uh, really wisely select selected combo, you know, the, the, that ET did at the end. Um, ending your combos with that, with that hide and grab. Yeah, that oh, gives him a 50-50 so, afterwards. So powerful, so powerful. So that was really, you know, world-class level decision-making, if I do exactly. say so myself. Exactly, like, like most hydrants would probably just go for climax there, exactly. thinking they were going to get the kill, and if they don't get the kill, they're like, well, what do I do after this? Exactly, I've yeah, they're back to playing neutral. Yeah. And you don't want to go back to neutral if you can get a 50-50 situation. Not on oh yes, bro. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that too. Oof. You spend all your meter on that, you can't even guard cancel no more? Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. All right, so up next, we are getting our... Uh, next set of players seated. Help out, tell me about these players. Man, we got Violent Kane versus Koopa DTJ, man. Two of Mexico's finest imports getting ready to throw down for the, sp the chance to be in top 16 at SWC 2023. And, you know, I knew these names would appear here in some form or oh, fashion yeah. uh, when this tour began. Um, but uh, if you told me they'd be fighting for top 16, uh, and loser's side on this day, I'd be like, dude, sign me up. I'm trying to be in the front row. Right, right. It's almost inconceivable that two players of this caliber, uh, one of them is not going to be able to make it to the final Sunday. Bro, both of these guys, like, living legends right now. Yeah. Uh, Violent Kane, um, just the world warrior traveling all over the, the, the globe. Right. To spread his name and uh, fame and strength. And KOF. Yeah. And Sam Show. And Sam Show, too. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, the guy, he's just like an incredibly talented player. But you know what? So is Koopa. Koopa, the way he qualified, he qualified through one of the most grueling, grueling yes. brutal brackets that I've seen, uh, winning, I believe, it was Thunderstruck uh, and in, in, in spectacular fashion, too, like very convincingly. And, uh, you know, we're seeing, uh, we saw earlier, he beat, like, you know, the likes of Mok, very, very strong competitor. Yeah, that, 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 that was insane. Right. And uh, my hat's off to Koopa for his competitive spirit and mm -hmm. just staying solid and consistent the entire time. I mean, that's just not easy to do. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to go wild and say, let's see what he thinks about this. Mm -hmm. And Koopa just never deviated from the game plan, and it paid off for him. Yeah. So, very exciting player to watch. And I honestly couldn't think of a better matchup right now, right here, than Violent Kane for him. Yeah, I mean, we got a couple of Mexico's finest here playing up against each other. A bit of a shame, as I said before, that one of them has to go home. Uh, but you know what? That's just the way these things go. You know, usually you see a matchup like this and you want to tell the audience, get ready, it's about to be a wild one. But mm -hmm. honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, honestly, I feel like... Uh, <laughs> I, if you if you have if you force me to get uh, to bet on this match, I uh, I'm uncomfortable. I would be very uncomfortable. I would be sweating bullets the entire time. Sweating right now, boy. You right. These lights is hot, <laughs> but this action's about to be hotter. Absolutely. All right, we got Yashiro up front going up against Kyo. So yeah, I mean, uh, we've seen VK uh, swap the kill in and out sometimes uh, throughout the day. Yeah, he was running the um, um the rock instead. The, the rock up front, yeah. Oh wait, no, he it looks like he's not running the Rio this time. The Rio is what he swapped out, I believe, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, there was also an earlier match where he swapped out the kills. So sometimes, I mean, it, it must depend on either the player matchup or the, or the character matchups, you know? Yeah, and I, I mean, he plays all these characters at a high level either exactly. way, so it might just be how he feels, you know? Yeah. And I don't know if he's got much history playing Koopa, at least as far as his weekend goes. So maybe sure. he just likes the look that he's getting uh, with Kill up front yeah. and uh, Rock further back. Yeah, we shall see. Against a road, against a regular Yashiro, so That's they're right. both gonna be swinging. Mm -hmm. See both Spacing right now. each other out. Yeah, a lot of respect on the field right now. Exactly. Nobody wants to overextend. There's the first overextension. Now you're in the corner. How are you gonna get out of the old man? Oh, he no. drops it. Unfortunate. Max damage punish using the close D starter. All right, VK getting clean, getting tuned up. That's right, using the delayed string to catch him, uh, trying to mash or jump or something. Nice patient defense, though, from Koopa. Oh, yeah, nice. very nice, man. Finding his range on top of that, and super for super back at you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Very, very close 
as it were. And, and they, oh, no. Oh. That could have been so big. That could have been the round. Okay, and he finds it anyway. This is such a great round because they pushed each other back and forth between the corners the entire time, man. This is exactly how I would assume this first match would go. Yeah, I mean, they're playing like, you know, well, they're playing chess. They're not, they're trying to like feel each other out. You know, <laughs> yeah, that exactly. So. It's like, if I get the hit, we're going to the corner, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, the Benny Maro in there, nice secondary. Air, air. I was gonna say, Violent Kane is so good at using the uh, the kill jump C. A lot of other kills, I know, I don't see them represent that button that often. Um, I think it's because they usually want to look for the cross up or the 50-50, but That's I right. think the jump C always gonna hit front side. But because of his jump trajectory, mm -hmm. they don't take they they discount the fact that it it fakes out people visually. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Nice and finding a combo during all of that. Oh, but drops it unfortunately. But still, I mean, Violent Kane looking very strong at the moment. Commanding Whoa. lead. Okay, run up down B. Yeah, run up down B, sometimes that still works. That's not a very popular approach. Whoa, no! Oh, wow. Hey, you know, sometimes it works. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the Mexican reset, oh. I guess. Oh, my goodness, the jump C like we were talking yeah, about, man. man. I think we saw a lot of this at ECT that when is he correct. was doing the jump C, and people just kept getting hit by it because they're thinking, like, his trajectory totally makes it look like he's about to go behind him. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It, it looks kind of, uh, I mean, it, it, when you're playing, it's, it's more deceiving than it looks yeah. when you're watching, you know? Like, he might as well be full jumping at that point. Mm-hmm. Oh nice my. again. The he got the confirm off of that, brother. He hit from like the top of his hop arc, bro. That's crazy. The jump see is cracked, bro. <laughs> it sure is, bro. Nice. Okay, finds the opening with the down B. This should be it. Yes, sir. Koopa keeping himself alive, but man, the Rock and the Yori still left on Violent Kane's side. The Rock coming in with the three bars too, so possible. Well, he, he might install. He might go for damage if he gets the touch. Who knows? But. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of resources for the kid to play with. He once again, Koopa not too eager to step into a bad situation. That's oh, nice down C. A lot of trepidation with that offense. Yeah, I mean, uh, VK is one of those players. His defense is very strong. So if you get too predictable with your approaches, you are going to die. Oh man, drop the EX elbow or the EX hard edge there, but gets it back with the EX grab. Okay. Very nice, and now Koopa on death's door on this first game. That was a beautiful block on the cross-up. Oh my gosh, missed the, the whiff punish. I think Koopa might be like, hey man, how come I'm still alive? You're gonna let me fight a little bit more. Let's see where this goes, but I'm not feeling too confident. Oh my goodness. So the way I see it, I feel like Koopa's playing a little bit too, like, a little too conservative, a little too, like, reserved, you know? It's he entirely was, possible. Yeah, you know? he, it felt like he was kind of letting VK dictate the pace, let him do whatever he wants. And, uh, you know, that's not what we want to see out of Koopa. Koopa is... We want to see him go down swinging at the very least, right? A absolutely. But, you know, once again, VK definitely known for if you're going to give me the... Even for a moment, yeah. the, the momentum, the yeah. driver's seat, you're not getting the keys back, bro. Exactly. Like, it's over. Exactly, yeah. So, so it's difficult to to force yourself to kind of leave your comfort zone when you're playing against a guy that can capitalize on your overextension so so effectively, you know? Yeah, and, and if you want to take it back, that means you have to hold on to it after that because he's also going to be continuing to drive all over you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Or also, there's also the possibility that Kuba's thinking, you know what, I just wanted to see how much I could let you think you had, mm -hmm. you know? Maybe now in this uh, second game, new new team. Yeah. Uh, so we got new outlook. Shune. Shune Benimaru. Shune's definitely got to be aggressive. He cannot play defensively. Exactly. Oh, the Ash. Okay, Ash Crimson coming to play. A little bit of a hybrid situation going on here. Uh-huh. All right. I'm thinking point Shune. Yeah, most, I would, I would guess I so. I don't see why it would be anything else, yeah. All right. So Shune is going to come out swinging. He has to. He definitely yeah. cannot afford to go on defense, especially against Kill. Yeah, so uh, when I was, again, I, when I was talking with VK a little bit earlier, he was worried about um, somebody, Shune, I forget who it was at this point. It was the first match that he had to play. I think it was Pineapple. Yeah, it was Pineapple's Shune. Oh, Pineapple's Super Shune is, is It's so it. good. Love yeah, it. he plays so fast. And if Koopa can kind of recreate that magic, then, you know, uh, VK might be in for a world of trouble. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I've seen Shune play all, all all weekend so far, and I'm, in, I'm impressed. And I, I also am impressed that they are getting away with a lot because mm -hmm. they are using the EX dash off of the jump C or jump CD also quite a bit. There's a gap there. You can definitely poke out of it. But, you know, that's not the first inclination of the opponent. You know, they're that's like, right. oh, what's going on? Exactly, yeah. I mean, he moves so quickly, it's hard to 
to know where your gaps are. Mm -hmm. And see right there, that dash right there, that's a window for Violent Kane to press a button. That's right. Uh, Koopa gleams that for a long period of time. He might be able to get away with that. Oh, wow, Chase pressure. the back dash. That was beautifully done. And the counter hit conversion into the full EX up kick. I think he might lose his character, man. There's not much that Shunei can do from his position. Okay. Oh, that wasn't even a punish. That was just a good press of the button. That's right. Great challenge. That diagonal dash there, I'm not sure if you're going to get anything off of that. Has to be careful Whoa. again. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, uh, VK is just looking for those hops. You have to... Okay, nice. Got to get a little risky fight. with his... Yeah, oh, that's... Yeah, you, he's you ready can. for it. Yeah, mm. Pineapple hit him with that earlier, bro. He's already <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the attempt, but yeah, I'm like, sure. oh, it is definitely too tempting not to hit a button there. Uh-huh. All right, nice. Just trying to space them out, you know? And Koopa was a little aggressive there, but he was like, all right, I don't want to get too aggressive because I just lost a character, and I'm basically dealing with a fresh kill again. That's right. But you know what? Uh, he found the hit somehow, and uh, it's looking pretty good all of a sudden for Koopa. If he can find another hit very soon here, he'll get a lot of that life back, if not all of it. Yeah, this is going to be very important for him to end this right now. 43 seconds left on the clock. Uh oh. He's not going to get it all back right now, but it's going uh -oh. to be, well, it was going to be a significant amount. Help pockets. Is this going to happen? I mean, that's. Uh, Oh, no, no, I don't kill. He, he's gonna take him out. He's gonna take him out. You sure? You get... sure? You sure? How about it? Are you sure about that? My goodness, Violent Kane. This man is too clutch, bro. I am. The sweat's in my eyes. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was looking at. Listen, as soon as he got that hit in the corner and got the knockdown, I was like, you knew, uh -oh, you knew, uh -oh. I knew too, but I was like, maybe. Yeah, you wanted, maybe. you wanted, you had hope, you know. I want to believe. But yo, Ash Crimson, having to make a comeback between three characters, it's gonna be such an uphill battle. He needs to use that meter. Uh, very frugally to make this comeback. Homie's gonna need six bars, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, by the end of it, if he makes the full combat, he'll probably have burned through like seven, eight. Most likely. Yeah. Oh, oh great God. challenge from Violent Kane. This is patience on his part because he doesn't have to play this like this. Exactly, right now. exactly. Yeah, forcing Ash to have to rush down is uh, not, definitely not his comfort zone. No, oh, he doesn't want to spend the meter on the confirm. I mean, I get it. I get but I'm it. Also I get like, it. Dog, you may not get another chance. Nah, but I, he needs the meter to make the full comeback. You know, he's planning he for his future, but he might chance, not get the chance. Though, you're right. Man. Uh oh. Oh no! So much damage. He gets the hard knockdown yet again. A, this is a nerf. Oh, and the EX command grab to take it. Violent Kane with the pixel kill, clutching it out. Two rounds in a row. What an incredible player! I just wanted him to take out the kill. That's all I asked. Oh him. my goodness! I just wanted him to take out the kill, but he couldn't do that, man. This character, this guy with this character, Violent Kane. What nerfs? Uh, Who cares? It's Kel Kusanagi, baby. That's true. I mean, he's been one of the, uh, you know, the, the standout kill players at least here in the West for the longest time, and we're seeing why here. That was an absolute masterclass of Kel Kusanagi play there. Uh, always impressed with Violent Kane's play style. Um, Koopa, can't wait to see more of him in the future as well. Um, th but this will be the end of his run at SWC 2023 as Violent Kane adv advances into loser side of top 16. Yeah, yeah. Punches his ticket, ticket to Sunday. Yeah, I mean, such the, the coveted Sunday spot, you know? We're already in the arena, too, so hey, man. <laughs> yeah. No, this venue's beautiful. You know, it's oh, great. I love it, man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what more can you say? VK is pretty good. <laughs> VK is pretty good. Everybody here is pretty good, man. Everyone it's here is been, pretty good. You're right. It's been like, I mean, we, we do get to see this pretty often, the kind of tournaments that we go to and that yeah. we get to work at. Yeah. But to see it condensed like this is just like, it's so new. Yeah, there's it's so, so much fresh. talent. There's so much talent uh, crammed within this 32-man bracket, you know? Yeah, I, so. I, I'm loving every bit of it, you know? Mm -hmm. And we got more talent on the way because it is time to oh, man. Put, put bid goodbye to another living legend. To one of two the Evo, Evo champions. champions oh, you know? my gosh, Oh, my bro. lord, bro. Okay, so uh, in case you guys are not aware, we've got Mad KOF, Korea's own, on the stage, and his opponent is going to be... The first KOF 15 EVO champion. That's right. ZJZ DJZ, man. from Taiwan. Going to be a barn burner. I want to say the first SWC KOF champion also? And the KOF 14? You might be right. I think so. You that was so right. long ago. <laughs> You're right. That. It yeah. really has been a while, huh? Yeah. I'm old, man. I, uh, seems, yeah, I know, I know. I, I've seen so many championships. I'm <laughs> like, dude, we're, we're, it's a blur. Yeah, right. All right, but the players, they're getting set up right now. Mad KOF earlier when I was watching, um, he lost to Paco, and it was... Oof, it, it was no, that, that second game... It was hard to watch. was rough. <laughs> it was hard to watch. It looked like he was... It, it, it looked like he was on tilt, you know? Like, he was making a lot of risky decisions on defense, 
betting it all on a lot of reversals, that type of thing. It looked kind of like frustration. I was talking a little bit with uh, Matt KOF actually, um, you know, mm. uh, in the player area. I was, I was I asked him at the beginning of the day, I was like, hey, uh, you ready? You ready? He's like, no, nah, I mean, like, I don't think so. I didn't sleep very good. The jet lag got me. You know, I woke up four times in the night, so I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm not liking what I'm hearing, you know? You know, that is also a element of international play. That's right. Uh, and it hits all of us, you that's know? Right, if that's if right. it's happening here, it could hit the overseas players, and it happens to the Americans when they got to go overseas to compete over in other people's properties. Um, but you, you got to be ready sometimes. That's and true. Sometimes the bracket ain't going so smoothly. Sometimes, you know, uh, things get delayed. Sometimes there's a preclusion in the street. You may not get to the venue in time, man, but mm -hmm. you. Oh, but take a look at that. We yeah. got uh, the Clark. Coming from uh, Mad K.O. right off the bat. I was wondering when he was going to pull the Clark out. Man. Yeah, right? This character definitely was built for this season. Yeah, so he did switch to the Clark um, during the, the set with Paco, right? But the Clark did not do anything during that ah, set. Man. So hopefully hopefully we get to see a different a different Mad K.O.F. Clark. I mean, the one that we're used to seeing, right? Well, I think if anybody's going to give him the chance to get that motor running, it's going to be ZJZ because he's going to say, you got to come to me all, all day. I mean, uh, at the same time, though, if he can't get anything started, that, yeah. you know, if you can't get any wind in your sails, which, you know, ZJZ is very, is very good doing. at avoiding that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's, it's again, it's kind of a clash of styles and uh, both these guys at the pinnacle of the competition. So uh, such a shame to see one of them, you know, have to fall off at this point. It's actually so funny when you think about it, because when we first saw Matt Kaywev doing his thing on an international stage, yeah. it was with king and 13 that's right you know and that was like the best zoner in the game that's right that's right and he doesn't mess with zoners anymore i guess maybe hider him but mm -hmm. all right finds the throw djz in the corner nice catches him mashing nice dp though yeah mad ko right now just saying i want to make sure that you are aware i've got great buttons i'm using them correctly nice punish that is actually very difficult to whip punish like that this is a sharp mad ko that's right Oh, wow. whoa, that's still, cr that, wow, I yeah. thought he punished. That's what I thought, too. Nice, the jump back to the fatal. Oh, actually, just that was a neutral, neutral hop. He was just checking. Mm-hmm. Well-placed buttons from Mad KOF, taking the first round convincingly against the ZJZ Benny Maru. Yeah, I mean, Benny Maru definitely, uh, I, I anticipated being more of an impact in that situation. Mm -hmm. uh, for, oh, for nice. Wow. The empty hop into low. Mad KO was not ready for it. This is how you know you're at high level KO, right? Because if you're playing online and mid, they they're, they're mashing, mashing throw. They're mashing that throw. That's right. <laughs> so they don't even need the conditions to get people to stop doing that. Uh-oh, man. Nice. He said, where are you going? Dude, this containment is just so oppressive right now. Okay. Has to burn the bar to get out, but ZJZ, I'm sure, is breathing a sigh of relief as he gets to put on his own offensive pressure. Oh, wow. Great spin roll. A, spin a bar on that EX trying to just hold the pressure down. That's right. And now Matt Kiff looking to run away. He's like, yo, you got to come to me, bro. Oh, oh it might be enough. No, I just want to spin the meter. I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know. No. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> he knew. What a beast. We saw another, like, ridiculous parry uh, from Matt KOF in the Paco set earlier as well. This man's reads are just on, on one right now. He says, ZJZ, you're a simple man. I know exactly what you want. <laughs> <laughs> the ball to do that to a <laughs> fellow Evo you, champion, exactly, right? Exactly, man. Look, I know your game book. That is crazy. Woo. Well, that's why we love to see that kind of stuff here. Oh, wow. Finds the hit with the hop B. Right set? Okay, I like the block on that situation. But at the same time, the ZJZ to zero, possibly in danger of taking another hit. Oh, would you spin a beat? Spin a bar on that. You know what? Whatever. The geese is gone. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. That geese has been posing such a problem, and he gets most of that health back that he lost. But again, it's going to be so difficult to make this comeback. But you know what? We've seen so many Chizuru anchor comebacks uh, this weekend already. She's such a great character for that position, man. Like, I have, I'm, I'm sure everyone has a hard time fighting a Chizuru uh, in their life. She's definitely a lot of people's demons. That's right. But, like, the nature of her game plan makes it so that it's very difficult to get clean hits on her. So you have to really scrap to find them. And, when, and she's got the perfect game plan for when she, you're getting desperate. Exactly, because yeah. Her, her if you downby, her party, oh, mm -hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this might be the perfect character for ZJZ, honestly. Yeah, seriously. You see Matt KOF, he's at a loss kind of to yeah, find he, the opening here. Those buttons are just too good. Exactly. Uh-oh, wow. yeah. You see that over, over jump there? Th that down C is really slow, but it's active the whole time. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Super? the counter hit. No, he okay, he can do saving it the bar. Might want to 
Nah, he ain't, he's all right. He knows he's going down to the anchor battle. Oh my goodness. He wants to Whoa! Wow, the bait too. Beautifully done. Matt KOF, he kind of like, he got, he got a little desperate there, right? When you're when you're that low on life, it, it almost always comes out, That was right? definitely a tit for tat situation. Also, oh yeah. Oh, you want to command counter my DP, huh? All right. <laughs> all right, still the life lead oh, in nice. Matt KOF's favor and a better character to play the zoning game against uh, ZJZ's Chi Zero, even though she does have the reflect on on deck. That's right, yeah. But if he if he managed to force that Chi Zero into the corner, he gets, gets to start his offense. Oh my gosh, had the opening, but he did not believe. Ooh. Nice. Oh wait, I thought that was almost godlike. If he had done level two, maybe? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, if, if he did the other super, that might have worked. All right, just get him off me. Nice DP. ZJZ's right. defense coming into full effect at the moment. Yeah. And you see, uh, again, like, full screen, baby. he's just yep. not able to get any clean hits on this Chizuru. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Now you're sealed. You got one more touch to your name. Oh, my God. You did not want to be in this situation. And just like that, ZJZ snatches victory from the jaws of defeat. Oh, my goodness, man. Heartbreaker for Mad KOF. He had it. But that Chizuru just... I it, so it's, slippery. It, it's always the Cheezeroos, man. Yep, like, you yep. think everything's going great, then that Cheezeroo get on screen, you're like, oh, she's just going to hang back the whole day, and I, I got the life lead. This I'm is saying, great. Dude, the game plan <laughs> the game plan is just so strong. I mean, 15, it's so difficult to get those hits uh, cleanly on a character like Cheezeroo when she's playing, you know, from three quarters full screen at, mm -hmm. at all times. And then, you know, once when she has an opportunity, she goes in and she starts poking you with those clones, and it gets all crazy. It starts adding up, man. Yeah, man, your, your frustration maxes out, and, like, you start doing some stupid stuff. Do doesn't doesn't even help that most of her normals look weird mm -hmm. like her, they look like really silly yeah, so exactly. like, I really got hit by that far D that <laughs> looks like it hurts <laughs> exactly yeah nice all right. all right we're gonna have to see a repeat performance from the keys oh. and we're starting to see it already he's gonna need to go up three characters man I don't know that cheese room is scary and he's also it's also being controlled by the most unfun man to play in <laughs> <Caleb> history <laughs> yeah definitely a very stifling play style the Ooh. wet blanket jeez you ain't lying Nice roll out of the situation and the down C trading, but Mad KOF certainly happy about it. Gotta be careful. Any oh, touch from Biddy Miles could be big. Beautifully done. Mad KOF making a little bit of an error, misspacing that fireball. I oh. think he thought it was almost over. He's like, let me just chip him out, but uh, Biddy Morrow, I mean, rather, ZZ had, ZZ had other plans. That's right. Gotta be careful jumping in like that, too, because we've seen that ZJZ will start throwing them DPs out, and all of a sudden, it's even! That is plus, and actually, Mad KO, if I saw him press a button yeah, he, there. Yeah, he definitely hit a button there. Interesting, interesting stuff. Maybe I, he just didn't believe. I mean, that, that was definitely like, oh my god, I don't care what's happening. Mm -hmm. Hit this button. And now the Clark, a little, uh, a little cautious. Uh-huh. Nice air to air. Wants that air to air so bad right now. That's the perfect way to wrap up this round and exactly. get into the secondary. Nice DP though. ZJZ recognizes that's what he wants. And wow, run right into the right Jin King. Great confirm from ZJZ. Clark's only want one thing and it's disgusting. <laughs> that's back though. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no, it's two things. We got the command grab and air to air. Exactly, right? right yeah. yeah, it's two things, two things now. <laughs> no, but Mad KOF managed to end the round before the 42 second mark. And going to get a lot of that life back, and he really needs that to, man, look at that Isla coming into play. Now, this might be good because she's got to be in the air most of the time. So maybe an air, maybe he challenges with the air-to-air -air A and gets the EX tackle. All of a sudden, the momentum's in his favor. Ooh, okay. this is going to be big. Yeah, finds a big opening, catches him trying to jump, I believe. And ZJZ, yes, okay, going to cash out here, gets the, the hard knockdown. No, oh, my I don't know, goodness. Buddy. He just knew. Okay. What? Wait, okay. I think he thought maybe she's landing in the front side, might catch with the Frankensteiner, but uh, nah, ZJZ was always gonna go behind him. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, honestly. I'm not sure if that was a great option in, in, in any case, but either way, Mad KOF, a champion. Who am I to, to, to question? Yeah, you know, he's always playing from a position of power. I'd never count this man out in any situation, uh, even against ZJZ. Ooh, caught him jumping, though. No. Yeah, you know, for the longest time, when I was watching um, you know, the events leading up to this event, I thought Mad KOF's Hydran was Possibly the best in the world, right? Like he was—he he demonstrated complete mastery of this character. I, I think a lot of people started playing this character because of him. Exactly, honestly. exactly. No flash kick. Mm -mm. Had no charge, I believe. Probably not, or didn't think he had enough. Maybe didn't want to spend a meter. Okay. Oh, okay. Finds a hit, but again, he's going to need to wrap this up very quickly. If that if that timer goes below 30 seconds, it makes the, the comeback easy that much harder. Not going to be a lot, but he's got four bars, so that definitely helps. Once again, going for the EX cross up slash. Nothing, nobody home, though. Nice, nice. Not enough to kill. That's going to okay. do it. Okay. Oh, but again, the timer went right below the 30 second mark at the end there, and Mad KOF not getting that much life back as a result of it. 
and the Chizu didn't have a reason oh, to stay away before. Goodness. She definitely does now. <laughs> I forgot about this character, man. As soon as I saw her, my my heart sank. I can't imagine what Mad KOF is feeling. Full screen pressure, baby. What? The cross up, DP'd. I think, he, I think he micro stepped that backwards too. He might have forced a cross up situation. Mm. Wow, he wanted the guard cancel there, I believe. Nice. All right. Anti air. Oh, That's too far for confirmed. That's unfortunate. Yes, indeed. Spacing out. This is kind of the spacing that both of these characters like. Oh, oh nice. Sneaks okay. it in. Okay, that's big. That's big. Yes, cashes out fully. Wants the damage. Now, ZJZ has the life deficit. He's going to be. He's going to have to go in. Yeah, one more touch is going to do it, but oh, she's got two bars on deck. Oh, wow. What risky this roll. Guy. But again, <laughs> two bars on deck is so dangerous for Teaser. Now, one oh, bar the and trade. the trade. Okay, Mad KOF keeping himself alive, taking care of that Teaser that was posing such a problem to him in the last game expertly. Does he feel confident about that ending, though? That's the question. Ooh, I don't know. You know what? You got. You can't think about it, though. <laughs> After it's done, on to the next game. You just need, hey, man, follow your own advice sometimes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You yeah, got me. Absolutely, man. Mad Caleb has to move on into the third game. ZJZ has to move on to the third game. I guarantee you neither one of them sees anything in those, either one of those two games that they would change for the world, so they're going to go right back into it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, this time around, I think Mad KOF's Geese is going to need to do a lot of heavy lifting yet again, as we saw in the first game, if he wants to continue over his fellow EVO champion, mm -hmm. ZJZ. And now, once again, I predict it'll start off strong with the Geese play, but ZJZ may find Benny Morrow's sea legs yet, especially once he gets that first bar. Nice down C trade, though. Whoa, wow. air throw. Beautifully done. Nice. Catches the back dash. And the momentum's shifting now. You see that one slash to oh air throw definitely took goodness. the wind out of his sails. Exactly. Okay. With the front side again? He expected the cross up. We saw him walking forward for the split second. I mean, I'm going to look at this tape later on, and I feel like he just dropped down vertically at the end there. <laughs> it did feel like it. He got that fastball. Yeah. Didn't matter though, ZJZ finding the way to win that round, putting the geese out of the building, and that's the last time we're gonna see Mad K with geese until possibly the next game he appears in. That is true. Okay, great DP. Not letting Mad KOF get offense for free. Two bars now on Mad KOF's side. Anything can happen. Oh, nice, man. another DP. You cannot just hop willy nilly and at I, this man. And I think this was a game plan that ZJZ was trying to run the whole time, but Matt Caleb just wasn't giving him the looks. Yeah, look at him building that meter from full screen. Look at him mm -hmm. whipping those Yado kicks. It's so frustrating seeing this as Clark, you know? Some Mark of the Wolves player right here, man. Yep, yep. Is that Benny Morrow or Kevin? <laughs> oh my gosh, just running into everything from this Benny Morrow. It's just a wall. So lame, bro. Oh man, the sweep. I don't know. Whoa, oh, okay, we gotta okay. make that count, brother. Wait, no, but he did not uh, use. Oh, and you did spin the meter. Yeah, and he didn't do the, the normals to, to start either. Ah, Could have killed. That's, that's rough, man. Oh, and he loses the car. Oh, uh, man. Buddy. Yo, the, the hide and reverse OCV is gonna be a tall order. <laughs> Yo. Sheesh, against ZJZ, who's so content to sit on a life lead. If Matt Webb can get it together right now. But I think ZJZ needs to make a horrible error. Yeah, that is not it. That you know, we we did see it earlier, though. We saw when ZJZ was playing earlier. I forget who it was, but he was, uh, you know, uncharacteristically starting, trying to start offense when he did have the life lead. He would be a little over him. Yeah, he yeah. was. I don't think that. I think that's over now, though. It's I think possible. He's, I think he's definitely comfortable where he's at. He's got a two-character life lead, and he's like, dude, you got to play the bane of your existence in anchor. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. We're seeing a better defense coming from Mad KOF right now. He's, he's you he's know, he's kind of locked in. He's whittling down those resources, though, man. I think this was ZJZ once going in to the anchor battle. He's going to hold on to one bar. Perfect ground for the Mad, for the Mad KOF hider. This is actually very doable now all of a sudden. That was such a convincing round. Mad KOF fighting for his life at the moment. Remember, the loser of this is eliminated from the tournament and does not make it into tomorrow's finals. That's an expensive battery for T-Zero, though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, okay. Like ships in the night. This is how we're playing it. Got him. Okay. There's the air. The Hail Mary gets the hard knockdown. What we got here. Not even dealing with it. Don't wants no parts of it. That is a big win, actually, for Mad KOF, getting him to spend the two oh, bars. Oh, he went for that. Okay, she still gets to act independently. <gasps> Uh -oh. He's still had enough resources for that. That is horrible. And he's man. back in the corner too. He has to take all this pressure. Oh, and you see this containment. He's not getting out. Oh, CJZ's got blood in the water. He's smelling it. Uh oh. Again. Getting cracked. 
Got no meter for guard cancel. Get off me. Beautifully done. Okay. Still anyone's game, really. But Mad KOF, it's going to be so difficult. It's going to be a tremendously legendary play that has to take it for... Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Found the wall! Oh my god. And the EX clone from downtown sealing the deal for ZJZ, punching his ticket to the Sunday finals. Sniped him out of nowhere. That's what this character does, man. Like, she just has an answer for the neutral situation, especially when you are not feeling very confident about that life lead, you know? Mm -hmm. So... That's ZJZ. I, once again, I think that character, perfect for him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every time, every patch, it feels like he finds a character that he's able to play that game plan with, where mm -hmm. he just, like, runs away constantly and forces you to make errors trying to chase him down. And he's just, like, he's just always an expert at doing that, you know? And you know what's scary about that? That's how he won EVO in 2022. So, I know... He hasn't been as present as he had been since then in yeah. the sphere of KOF 15. I mean, to me, he had been. He made he made top eight at Evo 2023, obviously. Uh, but uh, that makes me feel like, yeah, this guy's definitely a threat for Grand Finals all the way through. Because yeah. it's really hard to play against him. But Spencer says we got that bracket for tomorrow's ready to go. Let's get that up there for the people, Spencer. All right, so we're seeing the loser side first at the moment. We see ZJZ, who just qualified. He's going to be playing up against Ooh. Violent Kane. Good luck, Violent Kane. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. And the next match, too. ET against Sua. What a heartbreaker, man. Ooh. I love both these players. going to be – I mean, all these players that are left, I love watching all of them. These will all be good matches, absolutely. And uh -huh. I don't think there's been any bad matches today, but these are definitely going to be stuff that get clipped, studied, reviewed for a long time. Absolutely. So uh, continuing on, we got Peru's The Geo uh, going up against Inferno Kong, representing the UK. What a W for Inferno Kong, man. I know, wow. dude. He played so well against Juan KOF. Uh, up next, we've got Pineapple up against Kitsune. We're seeing a lot of diversity as far as like the, the nations that are represented, so it's really nice to see. You know? This is the very international tournament, man. Very international uh, World Tour Finals. KOF is a very international game, and this is a perfect representation of that. And now we got the winner's side. we got score on the winner's side of top 16 versus Kefetl on Nesto. I'm calling him Lyak because I always mess up that <laughs> pronunciation every time. Lyak has come through to make it to top 16 on winner's side. Lasted versus Shao Hai. Shao Hai, after oh meditating goodness. for 48 hours, <laughs> walks right into top 16 winner's side. As you might expect. I totally expected it. Tamago versus Imdex. That's going to be good. That, That's going to be good. I am looking forward to that one. All these matches, man, they're all yeah. so good. Uh, and, of course, last week. Lagia versus pa Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> we so, are being spoiled. <laughs> it's interesting to see both the LCQ qualifiers Still in winner's side. Yeah, when you get that gas tank behind you after mm -hmm. winning LCQ, sometimes you ride that all the way to the top, brother. That's right. And another graphic showing um, visually kind of who's on the winner's side, who's on the loser's side. So we've got an incredibly stacked top 16 for you guys tomorrow. Uh, the broadcast is going to be starting um, at 11 a.m. local time. So be sure to tune into that. Yeah, no, it's going to... It's going to be absolutely wild. But uh, what's also absolutely wild is that we got some buttons for you, I believe, man. Look at this right here. Free fight stick button and poster for the first 150 people each day. That means 150 people tomorrow. If you're in the area, come on through. You get posters and a button. And I've been signing these bad boys all day. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So uh, come mess me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, I got, the, I got the Iori button today. I'm so happy, bro. If they got a Cronin, I'm trying to get that one, Dude, too. I'm telling you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the kill poster's tight, though. Uh, all the art looks so good. But, but yeah, I, especially the kill poster, looks, it goes hard, bro. Oh, my. Well, baby, I love it, man. Yeah, come on out, dude. We'd love to see you. And that's going to be it for us, though, I believe, right? We are done for the day. Mm -hmm. There's more KO15 action tomorrow. And we'll be back with to cast more of that as well as with these other. I got I got to give up for the other commentators so far. I know the week is not over yet, but man, what a great job everybody's been doing here. The staff, the teams, everything, man. Avalon, shout out to you guys. Shout out to the community, man. Dude, we can't do this without you. And we'll see you on Sunday.